Welcome to Ultimate Autographs. You have found the internet's best live break room featuring signed sports memorabilia and autographed sports cards inside the most exciting mystery boxes. If you're new to breaking with us, we can help break it down to make it as easy as possible to understand. First, head to the live break page and look for a series that suits your interests. Most of the series will have eight spots, which represent the eight NFL divisions, but other sports breaks or mixers may vary. If you purchase one spot, that means you have a one in eight chance to win an item at an extremely discounted rate. Then click add to cart to purchase your live break spot. Once you have completed your checkout, tune into the next available live breaks broadcast on Facebook, Twitch, or YouTube at 7 p.m. Central Time any day of the week or 4 p.m. on weekdays along with 2 p.m. on weekends. As you watch, you will see your name appear on the screen. When your specific break begins, your name will go into the randomizer and will be randomized a specific amount of times based on that evening's dice roll number. Once the randomization is over, the list of names of people that bought into that live break will be matched up with a specific division. If the item that is pulled from the mystery box matches your division, congratulations. You just won an incredible piece of signed memorabilia that will be shipped straight to your door. Want to guarantee yourself an item as opposed to testing your luck? Most of the series that you see on the live break page can be purchased under the mystery box tab of our website. Those boxes can either be shipped directly to your door or opened on the air before being sent to you. While you are there, make sure to sign up for our Signature Points Club. This exclusive club earns you points towards specific discounts, signed items, or exclusive events each and every time you buy at ultimateautographs.com. Your breaker for tonight's show. Oh my God. Who likes long walks on the beach? Candlelight dinners in his Patrick Mahomes jersey. The best quarterback in the world. Oh, there Patrick is. Mahomes. Yes. And staring at the messy posters over his bed, it's Common and Chef. Hello and welcome to Ultimate Autographs. I'm Common and Chef here with Daniel Farrell. Ready for a big show tonight? We got a fresh diamond series in the room. All the headliners but one still out there. We're pairing one and one with the old series. But we're almost all the way through to the new series. Uh, too many breaks away from fresh minis. Already got new jerseys in the room with great headliners. And one series in particular, guys, that is full of heat is the one in four. Oh, yeah. We have an incredible Justin Jefferson, ripped speed flex, half LSU, half Minnesota Vikings. We got some of the best athletes across all sports. Giannis, one of the best basketball players. We got baseball legends like the big unit, Randy Johnson. We even have the king of the north himself, Jon Snow. Oh, yeah. Or Kit Harrington. Uh, you know, that's the actor that plays him. A lot of great stuff. A lot of great stuff to get into, Daniel. I am fired up for a big show. Uh, how are you doing on this a wonderful, wonderful Friday night? I'm doing pretty good. Just, you know, do, 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 trying, very happy to do some breaks tonight, and uh, hopefully it goes well. Yes, I think so. Uh, we're going to have a blast. A big weekend of sports this weekend. Daniel Farrell's Packers That's taking good. on the Niners. Uh, we have the Buffalo and Kansas City game is probably the biggest one. Ravens, Texans. Uh, we have the Lions and the Bucks. A lot of fun. We do have a Mike Evans Chrome Flex in that new Diamond series uh, for the Buck fans out there. Uh, let's get the show started. Oh, this would be nice if my mouse isn't under the little table here. Looking for two virtual dice, six or higher on the dice roll. Uh, Diamond says, Chris, we got a Niners comment in here from Chris. Uh, looking for CMC. Uh, so, uh, a lot of good stuff. The old Diamonds have DJ Moore, by the way, Kyle Disler. Uh, and they also have uh, Stefan Diggs uh, in the old Diamonds. Four boxes left. Uh, so, we'll get the show started. Two virtual dice looking for six or higher. Six and a three. How about nine on the dice roll? That is in honor of... Uh, Nick Foles, baby. I call it the Nick Foles number. Uh, heading on over to the Wheel of Names. Uh, let's see what we're chasing tonight. Chase item of the show. Uh, we got ourselves. How about this? Probably the best break in the room, box for box. The diamond Ooh. helmets. Uh, my favorite is probably the one in four because there's a lot of unique items. But if you're looking on sheer value, the diamond fillers 
are more valuable than most headliners in most of our other series. A lot of value on an authentic helmet, especially the ones we have in this series. All big names in the diamonds. Uh, so that'll be the chase. Uh, that is our one pre-fill is the diamond helmets. Uh, this is one of the old diamond helmets where we have four boxes left. DJ Moore and Stefan Diggs still lurking out there. Two top 10 receivers in the game. Uh, two guys that are, you know, a little bit underappreciated apparently here yep. in the break room, Daniel. Because I love both of those guys. Uh, Mr. Diggs, Mr. Moore, uh, phenomenal guys. Oh, so, man. wild, wild west. Uh, get us started here. Diamond single, number one. Go ahead and drop me a box number. Uh, let me know what you guys are thinking here. David, Chris, Michael, Chris, and Dan in the diamond single box break. It's going to be a fun series. I can't wait to get into that new series by itself. Uh, that's when I think it's really going to fly, Daniel, when we are fully in that new series. Uh, should be flying off the shelves, uh, these diamonds. That's kind of what I'm thinking. Uh, fly, baby, fly. The UA Live breaks. Yeah, hopefully. You know, I mean, Diamond Series, especially it being the chase, you know, it uh, you can never go wrong in this series. The best series in the room always, I'd say. Yeah, agreed. Uh, Chris, you've got three spots. Yes, you've got this one right here. I'm trying to finagle the sheet. Uh, to look nice and good for you, man. But you do have three spots. You have that second to last spot in this break. Uh, question is, do you have a box number, good sir? Uh, that is the big, big question here. How about a box number? Wild, wild west. Oh, you know what? This is how I can get these names in here. I got it, Daniel. What's it? Oh, I'm just talking to myself, you know. Uh, he wants box four. Thank you, Chris. Let's do box... Four. Actually, we don't have four, sir. So, numbers are scrolling. A psych for Daniel. <laughs> 15, 23, 24, and 29 are the numbers left in the old series. The Wild Wild West. Uh, so, hit me with one of those numbers. Uh, those should be good, sir. Otherwise, I'll go to the wheel. Uh, but this is going to be an awesome, awesome break. Uh, we'll see if we have Diggsy or more here. Uh, Chris wants 13. Uh, we don't have 13 either. We do have 23, though. That's what Chris and Johnny Pop want. Uh, the CMC number, 23. I'm guessing Chris is a Niner fan. I'm not sure. Uh, we do have Christian McCaffrey in that jersey series, by the way. Uh, the best running back in the National Football League. Uh, Mr. Christian McCaffrey. Uh, he's an absolute beast. Uh, if I'm being honest, you know, my personal pick, I probably would have gone CMC for the MVP this year. I would have well. Uh, that's the well. way, it, you know, the MVP race works. They got to give it to a quarterback. And not only are they giving it to a quarterback, they tend to give it to the quarterback with the team with the best record. Because yeah. for me, Lamar Jackson, great player. Not even the most valuable quarterback for me personally. Yeah, I would say. Uh, so, But that's how the way how that award works, man. You put up a big record, you're a big-time quarterback, they give you the MVP. Uh, so let's get these guys thrown in here. Nine clicks uh, in our randomizer uh, for our first uh, diamond break, the Wild Wild West. And McCaffrey is actually coming off an injury. I think he is going to play. Yes, he is. Uh, but uh, we'll see just how healthy he is. Uh, that Niner-Packer game. The 49ers are such heavy favorites to make the Super Bowl. Uh, it's like, I think they're probably more likely, for me, I would take the Niners versus the field. I don't know if you're a Packer fan. You might be confident over there. But the Niners, I think the AFC teams are a little bit tougher for me than the NFC teams. I think San Fran is kind of a step above the rest over there in the NFC, whereas the AFC, uh, I think the teams are a little bit more evenly matched, the ones that are left. Yeah, I would, uh, I would say. But in a one-game scenario, Daniel, you never know. Well, you uh, know, That's why we play the games, right? Packers had no business winning that game on, on – well, to many people. Yeah. I, th I thought they'd win. I picked them to win. But, yeah. Um, yeah, no, it, it's a miracle they're here. And, you know, it's it, it, the pressure's on San Francisco. Yes, it certainly is. Uh, so, John's got the NFC North. NFC South is David. Chris in the NFC East. Uh, by the way, John's got that DJ Moore spot. 
Uh, Michael NFC West, Chris AFC North, Chris AFC South, Michael Alonzo in the AFC East looking for Diggsy. And we got Dan Scapetta out there in the AFC West. Uh, Dan demands Scapetta. Uh, so let's see what we got in the very first Diamond Box 23. I call it the MJ Box. Oh, yeah. Do we have a Chicago guy in 23, DJ Moore? Certainly could be. Now, that could be a fun little coincidence here in the break room. Uh, the first diamond of the show, hopefully the first of many. Oh, yeah. Oh, okay, 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 Daniel. I thought it was Stefan Diggs, but it's Thurman Thomas. Oh. Uh, the 1991 NFL MVP, Hall of Fame running back for the Bills. He knows a thing or two about Super Bowls, played in four oh, of them. Uh, they came up short, unfortunately, for Buffalo. That's the AFC East. Michael Alonzo with the Thurman Thomas. I was thinking to myself, Daniel, I'm like, well, here comes Diggs. Then uh, it's not Diggs. It's actually Thurman Thomas in the AFC. It's a little fake out right there in the mystery box. Nice hit, Michael. Yeah, great hit, Mike. Uh, Thurman Thomas. Such a great player. MVP in 1997? 91. 91. Uh, 91. 91 MVP, though. Great player. Uh, four falls, but he did get to play in four Super Bowls. Not a lot of people can say that. Mm -hmm. and, uh, I mean, I think only... Only the guys on that Buffalo Bill team can say that they played in four straight, Daniel. That's a lot That's of Super it. Bowls. That's it. A whole bunch in a row. Uh, so nice get, Michael. Again, all of these are great in this series. There's no such thing as a bad hit. Uh, this is a filler, Thurman Thomas. My favorite story about Thurman Thomas uh, is, you know, back in his college days. He played at Oklahoma State. I know it was a little bit different era. Sometimes the, you know, older guys got in more. Yeah. Uh, but he was the older guy. He kept Barry Sanders on the bench. Barry Sanders was his backup in college. Crazy. Isn't that nuts? Yeah, I mean, two Hall of Famers. So yes. No matter where you went with that, you know, you were going to win. You go from Thurman Thomas to Barry, Barry Sanders. Sanders. So, man, Oklahoma State Cowboys uh, in the 80s. That's pretty nuts. That's some pretty happy Cowboy fans. I'm not talking yes. about Dallas. No, we're not talking about Dallas. The Dallas <laughs> fans right now are furious. They are fuming. Uh, there's people online saying they're not even going to be Dallas fans anymore. Because they are retaining Mike McCarthy, yes. the former Packer coach. Yes, yes. Uh, my thoughts on it, I think in a normal year, I would keep McCarthy. He's won a bunch of games in a row. He's a good coach. Yeah. He helped Dak get better when he called the plays. On the upside, the flip side, rather, uh, you've got guys like Bill Belichick, you know, Harbaugh, Mike Vrabel. Mike Vrabel. Uh, there is actually guys, surprisingly, on the market that are probably even better coaches than McCarthy. So it's a... Kind of a tough call for Jerry Jones, but McCarthy's the guy in Dallas, at least for one more year. Yes, he is. No, I mean, hey, he won a Super Bowl in 2010, 2011. You know, it's certainly possible that... I hated that Super Bowl. I, was, <laughs> yeah, I, I loved it. I know. Um, I know you did. And uh, I certainly think that he still is a good coach. 12 wins, two years in a row, and three playoff appearances in a row is, is something to be had. You know, yeah. For sure. Well, I, I Dallas Cowboy fans do have a possibility to get a nice Dallas Cowboy lid. Uh, we have a dual signed C.D. Lamb and Dak Prescott. I know the postseason wasn't pretty, uh, but I gotta say this. Uh, that is one of the best quarterback-receiver combos in the NFL. Uh, C.D. Lamb, by the way, second in the league in receiving yards. Dak Prescott, believe it or not, first in passing touchdowns this year. Yeah, I know. Uh, that is a dangerous combo. It's a flash authentic. More autographs, more value. Two spots to go in that diamond double one from the new series one from the old uh so this is the new series where everything is out there but palomalu uh, you get yourself the dak and cd dual signed lid you're sitting pretty oh yeah uh no, no. randy moss here's a uh, double up uh, we have dj moore in the old series we have randy moss in the new series quite possibly the most talented receiver ever you can double up with more and moss heck there's all day Adrian Peterson True. in the NFC North, too. So there's a lot of good possibilities. Uh, Bo Jackson's out there. That Mike Evans Chrome Flex is out there. The Ray Lewis Hydro Flex. Uh, DK Metcalf. Uh, beautiful lid. That might be a Speed Flex, looks like it, on the Metcalf. And then Warren Moon. Uh, a lot of great headliners in this series. Uh, the free play helmets come and get them. Again, secondary headliners. Michael Strahan. Is this right? Sauce Gardner's a secondary so headliner. Diggs. Oh my! And Stefan, you, you can get double digs. You can get double digs. Yeah. I can dig that. <laughs> uh, we got Eric Dickerson in here as well. 
A Sauce Gardner is actually one of the most expensive autographs in the game. Uh, he is, he's one of those guys, if you think of guys that, you know, charge a lot for an autograph, he charges more than you might expect. What does uh, that mean? The value on his is higher. Uh, one of the best young corners in the league, Sauce Gardner, did not even get a headliner status in there. Well, we are going to find out what we can double up on because we just closed on the double for the free play Wild West. That's what I'm talking about, Daniel. Uh, diamond double, number one. Uh, drop me one number from the new and one number from the old Rhino Berta. Ray Lewis, Hydro Flex, still out there. All the headliners in the new series out there, uh, but Troy Polamalu. Uh, he was out getting a haircut. And actually, no, he wasn't. His hair is perfect. <laughs> he was not getting a haircut, Daniel. <laughs> Balamalo's hair is wonderful. Yo, yo, what's left in the one and four, says Josh McInnes. A lot, Josh. The one and four can be described in one word, heat. Very heat. Uh, we got Giannis still out there. Uh, we got ourselves Garnett. Kit Harrington, uh, Mr. Jon Snow. Uh, what would you say, Daniel? Garnett. Garnett. KG Chicago. on the stat jersey. Uh, we got Randy Johnson, the big unit, Big Mac, Mark McGuire. Uh, we have still out there Marty Brodeur on the frame photo. Uh, the Iron Man, Cal Ripken Jr. And quite possibly the nicest helmet in the room right now, uh, this Rift. Justin Jefferson. Uh, half LSU, half Minnesota Viking, J. Jetta's lid. It's a speed flex. That thing is absolutely bonkers, to oh, say yeah. the least. I've never seen that lid before in my life. I'm not saying it's a one of one, but it might be. I've yeah. never seen it before, Daniel. Uh, that is for sure. No, I, I can't imagine you'd find a lid like that. It's so beautiful, man. Mm -hmm. and especially for an LSU fan or a Minnesota Vikings fan. Or someone who likes both. Or someone who likes both. Then you're in heaven. Then That's you're so. in heaven. Uh, so, diamond double. Uh, ready to go here. Uh, let me know, guys, for the diamond double, uh, what box we would like here. Boxes. Boxes. Two boxes. Yes. Right on. Two boxes for this break. One, one. Uh, actually, uh, Rhino Berto, we pulled a Ray Lewis Hydro Speed Flex last night that looked exactly like this one. Really? It's the exact same helmet. I think you probably got caught up in watching it last night. Uh, the Ray Lewis Hydro Flex we pulled last night is the exact same as this one, uh, but we have not pulled the new Ray Lewis. Oh, wow. Uh, so... I mean, you didn't. You don't have it on the winner sheet, do you? From the early show, I think you guys did, did one diamond break only. I think, right? Uh, I've in that been, double, yeah. Uh, I wasn't here at twelve. Yeah, but I think they did. Yeah, they did uh, one diamond double. Yes. And what were the, the hits? Paula Malu and Singletary. Yeah, so he is definitely out there, Ryan Alberta. I think Ryan's thinking back to last night. Uh, that that last night was nuts in that one for sure. Uh, got it. Thanks, says Ryan. How about two box numbers, guys? Mark, Michael, Dustin, Kyle, and Michael. I'll give you guys about 30 seconds here. Otherwise, I will head to the famous wheel for our box numbers. Looking at last night. A lot of high rollers last night. A lot of. We had a UA record last night. 17 speed flexes we pulled. Wow. Uh, so the, the high roller had one speed flex in each crate. 15 crates. All of them got knocked out. And then we also pulled two flexes. Uh, out of that Wild Wild West series. So we oh, had wow. 17 in total go, including Mahomes, including Brady. We had arguably the best helmet in the history of the uh, Ultimate Autographs break room. Which one? Uh, the Emmett Smith. Uh, check it out in the hit video oh, last night. The Emmett Smith helmet, uh, it's just undescribable. <laughs> uh, it literally, words cannot describe it. Uh, so no boxes yet, so we'll go to the wheel. We'll let the wheel decide our boxes in the diamonds. So spinning this first one here, uh, we got ourselves box two. So we'll do 15 from the old series. I'm going with the old first. Uh, two is, you know, 15 is the closest to two. The others were 24 and 29. And let's see what we got in the new series. New series. I think it's out of 30 only, right, Daniel? Yes, it is. So let's do 30 because 35 is what it picked. Uh, we don't have 35, obviously, so we'll do the closest one, which is 30. All right. And the new series, right? Yes. Yeah, right. It was nuts last night. Uh, did you not? Did you lose, Ryan? It happens sometimes, right? 
Yep, thank you, uh, Cold Streak. Well, maybe tonight's your hot streak, Ryan. As we know very well in the break room, streaks come and go. Uh, and exactly, cried Joseph. Same Ray Lewis was pulled in the high roller, has not been pulled in this series. Uh, right on. Uh, so we'll get you guys thrown in your divisions for the diamond double. Uh, this is... 30? Uh, 30. Thank you, thank you. And then we had, uh, was it 15? Whatever the lowest one is. I think it was 15 or 14. 15? Yep. So we got Patty and then we got Patty times two. Yep. Uh, so gotta love it. I got to love it. And some of those lids you see in the high roller, you will see them in the diamond series. Uh, you're not gonna see them as often, uh, but we have plenty of great helmets available uh, in the diamonds. So nine clicks as is the dice roll. Dustin Rose could get DJ Moore, could get Randy Moss. Oh, that's right. Uh, could get a lot of heat. Kyle Hummel uh, out there in the NFC South. Now uh, we got Michael Alonzo in the NFC East. What's up, Mike? Michael Bennett, another Michael in the NFC West. Uh, we got Michael Alonzo in the AFC North. Mark Stoner, AFC South. Michael Bennett, AFC East. And Kyle Hummel in the AFC West. Good luck, folks. Let's see some heat in the diamonds. Uh, we will start with 30 of 30 the in the new series. In gold box. Okay, that's a good reference. Interesting. I usually go Steph Curry, but I, I like it. Well, I'll try I like it, football. Daniel. Football. I'll give you one. I'm on green. I'm on green. Yeah, yeah, yeah true. Yeah, green Bay Packer, just for you, Daniel. I can play nice sometimes. Alec Ingold. He was great. Oh, Mon Green? Yeah, both both of them both are. Both of them are, yeah. Uh, but this guy right here, even better than both of them. Oh, yeah. uh, we got the NFL single season rushing record holder, Eric, Eric Dickerson. Dickerson. Uh, Hall of Fame, 99 inscription, the NFC West. It is Michael Bennett, 2,105 rushing yards. That record may never get broken. May uh, never. May never get broken, seriously. Hall of Fame 99 inscription, uh, top 10 all-time in rushing yards, and the most in a single season, Eric Dickerson. What do you think? Because Collins seems to think it's going to happen. I kind of think it's not. His argument that our records are meant to be broken. Uh, he said there's not a guy currently in the NFL that may do it, but there will be one in the future. It just, for me, Daniel, the reason why I think it's not going to get broken is that, one, we pass the ball a lot, but two, it's all these, you know, two backfields. You don't really get a guy that gets to the rock so much. Like we have splitting carries type deal. I mean, it could go either way. What do you think? Well, what it will need to happen is you need to have a team that has such a good running back, obviously, they would have to be a good in talent, that he would have to be built around their offense. A guy like maybe, maybe um, if, if B. John Robinson didn't have all those receivers like London or Pitts around him. We even Algier is good, though. Yeah, but... That's what I'm saying. But B. John is a lot better than Algier, I think I would have to I would have to say. So, and I don't think it would happen maybe in the next 10 years, but maybe the game could shift towards more of a running offense someday. We never know. I don't know. I think it's going to be tough. It would be tough. Uh, I mean, the, sure. the, one, the one that was built to do it was Derrick Henry. Uh, but he's getting a little bit older right now. Uh, so I just, it's it's just the way the game is played. You look at a lot of these like good running backs, like, you know, perfect example, Bijan Robinson, Algiers there as well, taking carries, Jameer Gibbs. We got David Montgomery. Montgomery. But he's great, Montgomery. Like, I love David Montgomery. Yeah. Well, that's what I'm saying. Is there's two guys there. It's tough. Like, like between them, they can get more yards. Derek but just still one has of a lot them left in the tank too. Let's not forget. Not that. two thousand yards though. Maybe we'll That's see. That's a lot. Two thousand yards against Jacksonville. Is a lot. It was insane. He was pretty good against Jacksonville. Uh, King Henry. And they got a good defense too. Yeah, they do. Too bad they choked. Yeah. That's how it goes. Fifteen coming up next. Fifteen of thirty here uh, in our diamonds. Do we have DJ Moore? Do we have Stefan Diggs? Uh, the Buffalo Bill star wide receiver still lurking in this diamond series. Let's see here. Ah, here we go. Here we go. How about Michael Bennett doubling up? Stefan Diggs, baby. Oh. Uh, led the league in receiving yards. Uh, led the league in catches in 2020. He's always top five, top ten in all the stats. You look at the last three, four years, he's been a top five wide out in the league 
Michael Bennett got the Dickerson in the NFC West. Then he got himself Stefan Diggs in the AFC East. That is what we call a double box break. That is, man. Good job. Yeah, I love Stefan Diggs. He certainly has a chance to have a great game this Sunday Hope against not. the Kansas City Chiefs. Uh, certainly going to be a great matchup. First Mahomes game away. Yeah, first playoffs. road game for Patrick Mahomes. It'll be interesting to see how he responds. Uh, Diggs is so, so good. He is. I mean, I, he's so consistent. Uh, definitely a guy that's Josh Allen's go-to guy. A little bit, you know, the second half of the year, not quite as great as the first half, uh, but he is such a phenomenal player. Uh, Stefan Diggs, uh, nicely done, Michael Bennett. Yeah, Allen had been going to Diggs so often. He was actually at one point the most targeted receiver in the league. He was. But uh, now that I think I think Allen's expanded his throwing to more like maybe Dalton Kincaid. He hits a lot. Shakiri mm -hmm. hits a lot. But that does not take away from the fact that he is so talented. And also. A part of probably the greatest play, or one of the greatest plays in NFL history. The Viking one, right? Yep, the Minneapolis that the Miracle. Yeah, that was crazy. Uh, I remember that play. I was actually, uh, I was covering a ice skating, like a, no, not ice skating. It was curling. It was around the Olympics, and I was just getting done, and I put the game on, on my phone to watch the end of it. It was the first play I saw. Really? was that play. And I was like, ah, there's seven seconds. I'll put it on. And sure enough... Diggs miracle it was nuts uh, so great job Michael uh, so we are down to just two diamonds uh, in the old series one of them is DJ Moore uh, the other one is a mystery uh, but we do have five to go in that next double uh, the free play says wild wild west only down to one spot to go in the one and four we are absolutely cooking right now Daniel the break room is heating up a little bit uh, getting orders coming in. Uh, John Sutter, Dustin Rose, Ryan Alberta, Chris Sweeney, Keith Carney, Michael Bennett, Kyle Hummel. All these guys in since the 6 o'clock show started. Oh, yeah. So good job, gentlemen. Uh, good job, good job. Uh, rocking the party. So I think Diamond Double could be next. Uh, that's five away. The jerseys are four away. Although probably next is that one in four single. Yep. 126 bucks for that Jay Jettas. <clears throat> Speaking of records, Daniel, I think if there's one guy that can do it, if I was forced to say, I'm going to say he's not going to do it just because he just has to stay healthy for so many years. But we look at Jerry Rice's all-time receiving mark. Yes. If there's one modern guy that could break it, it's Justin Jefferson. Because he's on pace for the most receiving yards per game. He's got the extra 17th game. Uh, Jay Jettas is... A threat. I think he definitely could. You know who I think actually could? Uh, Puka Nakua. Puka Nakua off to a great start. It's because uh, Puka Nakua is not like most wide receivers. He is able to take so much contact from incoming defenders mm -hmm. that he can get so much rack yards. I've never seen a, a, a wide receiver like that get rack yards quite like the way Puka Nakua does. Maybe DJ Moore, but they're not even built the same way. DJ Moore a little, a little smaller. More, more kind of a, a stockier build for a wide receiver. Yeah. Nakua has got it all, man. I think he's a really great player. I think that's a possibility. But Jefferson also, such a great player. Man. Yeah. No doubt about it. It's the guys who start hot. Both of those guys certainly have started hot. Uh, Mike Evans has not been pulled yet. Sean Blasco, uh, thank you, was watching, says Michael, but just logged into the chat. You're welcome, Michael. Congrats. Uh, this is the Mike Evans that Sean is asking about. Look at this thing, Daniel. Oh, my I saw, yeah, it's God. Cool. That uh, Chrome Flex is ridiculous, man. I'm a big fan of the Chrome Flex, is, gotta is, tell you. Is that thing real life, or is that just like a dream? I can see Alex on the reflection. Uh, of he it. looks good. He does. Uh, good-looking <laughs> guy over there. Uh, good-looking guy, good-looking helmet. That's my favorite uh, part about that. That's for yeah. sure. But, yes, uh, that is beautiful, man. Ten... Thousand yard seasons in a row to start his career. Can you believe that? That's amazing. Every single season. Every season. Every. So, which one would you rather like? Like aesthetically, do you like the Jefferson? Do you like the Mike Evans? I like them both. Okay. I like them both. Uh, I'm a big fan of the Chrome Flexes. I the love Chrome Flexes. Chrome, but the Rip Flexes as well. He's got that LSU on there. Mm -hmm. I think that's really cool. It's tough. Uh, pulled the Steelers Troy Cam earlier. If anyone hits the Evans and wants to trade, let me know. Says Sean. All right, shoot your shot, Sean. Obviously, 
I will say, you know, Chrome Flexes are very, very hard to trade. I don't know if anyone's going to take you up on that one, but maybe, maybe a Steeler fan. Who knows? Maybe, yeah. Maybe Paul a Steeler Mahler, fan. such a legend, you know. He's got the best hair. My favorite commercial currently on television is the Mini Troy with oh, Patrick yeah. Mahomes uh, when he oh, goes yeah. to the dentist. Mini Troy, uh, that is the best commercial currently on television. I laugh every single time, Daniel. Every time? Every time. Uh, it just gets me. Uh, one in four is ready. This yeah. guy, I got it up right Let's now. Let's go. Uh, one in four, single number one. Uh, drop me a box number. I was watching your show with uh, Dom, and the biggest surprise in that show was that you guys were not doing one in four boxes. I know. I was like, these guys one. are killing it. They're doing a great job. It's an entertaining show, but no one in fours. I was Only like, one. Yeah. what are we doing? I know. We pulled the the filler Hoosiers cast signed um, basketball jersey. That was the only thing we got from the one and four. With like six autographs, right? Seven. Seven. I know. You know how cool the Hoosiers one is? Peyton Manning was at that same signing. Yeah. Matt was there, and he was telling me Peyton Manning went up to every single one of them and told them exactly who they were in the movie. What? Peyton Manning is a diehard Hoosier fan. That's shocking. Yeah. I would not have known that. He I loves it. That. He loves them. Uh, let's do box 10. Michael Bennett, thank you, sir, for the box number. Now Peyton is awesome. I watched the Manning cast for the entire um, Eagles game. Did you like cool. it? It's kind of cool. Yeah. Wasn't Ray Lewis on there? Ray Lewis, Bruce Arians. Uh, Ray Lewis, I, I saw a clip of it, was very, very frustrated with the uh, Philadelphia Eagles tackling, tackling. Yeah. or lack thereof. I know. Uh, I know. Ray Lewis out there in the diamonds, the Hydroflex. Yes, he is. Uh, so, box 10, thank you, Michael Bennett. Uh, box 26, Daniel, was not available in the 1 and 4. You know how I know that? Because Michael Bennett didn't call it. That's if true. box 26 is left... Every single time Michael Bennett calls it. We'll call it. That's his number, 26. Uh, so we will get started with 10 here. 10 of 40 in the 1 and 4. All right, we got Michael, we got Keith, we got Ryan. So Michael's got a 50-50 shot. The other two guys have a 1 and 4 shot at this awesome break. We have had, let's see, only a handful of times, Randy Johnson... That's Never something. had yeah. Kid Harrington before in the break room. No. That is something new. <laughs> that's for sure. Uh, so that's one that I've got my eyes on uh, for sure. Uh, big fan of Giannis, personally. That's out there as well. Uh, so a lot of great stuff in this series. Uh, good luck, folks. Nine clicks coming up for our spots. Uh, so Keith Carney up top's got the football spot. Michael Bennett, you've got the... A basketball and baseball spot and everything else going out to Ryan Alberta uh, in the one and four. Ryan Alberta, I think he's a giant fan. Uh, maybe that Saquon could be nice for him in those diamonds. Uh, so good luck, guys. Box 10 coming up. 10 of 40. It's called the messy box, Daniel. This is the goat box, baby. Uh, Messi on TV today, his first uh, preseason game for Inter Miami. They're playing the El Salvador national team. Really? Uh, I'm excited. Very random. That is random. We'll see if Luis Suarez plays in that one. He was a part of the team of the year for FIFA this year. Of course he was. He always is. Yeah. What do we got here? Oh, okay. Oh, I know what this is. I got one word for this. this? It's more of an exclamation. Woo! It's the Nature oh, Boy! Ric Flair. Ric Flair, baby. The Everything Else section. Ryan Alberta, congrats on the Ric Flair. Oh, yeah. Look at this one. He's got his robe on. He's got the, those golden locks. He's got a championship belt. Uh, nice looking Funko Pop. Uh, one of the most iconic wrestlers of all time. Everything else right there. Ryan Alberta. He says, haha, nice. Uh, this is one that a lot of generations know. Ric Flair wrestled for probably longer than I've lived. I'll yes, put it that he way. No, th he still is, uh, has affiliations with it here. Yes, and there. he does. But yes, yeah, he, does. he has definitely wrestled longer than you've lived. No doubt about it. Yeah, so good job. Great hit, Ryan, says Michael Bennett. I think this was a secondary headliner, but not even a photoed name. Uh, very nice with the Nature Boy. Oh, yeah. Ric Flair. Ric Flair. 
Such a legend. I saw his uh, 30 for 30, Nature Boy. Mm -hmm, that's or, a good one. I don't know if it's a 30 for 30 or if an ESPN films, but it's still great. Uh, had a lot of turbulence in his life. He lost his son, but he's always been able to find fight through it and be entertaining for WWE fans abroad. He's a really cool inspiration, man. I wish I had alligators on my feet as well. Unfortunately, I <laughs> yeah. don't, but I would like it. Uh, so, Ryan, I'd be interested in trading for that, says Michael. Huge fan. Yeah, huge fan of Ric Flair. Nice-looking autograph Funko Pop. Uh-oh. We got another break coming up. Feed me the rock, baby. Yep. yep. Uh, CMC is interested. Uh, Rhino Bird interested in a trade with Michael Bennett. Uh, Jersey break coming up. Feed me the rock, number one. Drop me a box number. Uh, Rhino Bordo's looking for the king of the north. The king of the north. The king of the north. Jon Snow. You know, I like Jon Snow. I think he's cool. He's he's awesome. Would you say he's the main character of the, of the show? I think there's a three-way tie. That's what I'm not saying. not two-way tie. It's hard to find. I think really it's know. Jon Snow, Daenerys Targaryen, and Tyrion Lannister, for me, are the top three characters. I, I would say it's Jon Snow... Tier, uh, four way tie. John's all you said and Cersei or or no, um the other Jamie. sister the other sister oh Arya Stark Arya Stark Arya yeah. Stark's also probably a main character. I mean that show's got so many great characters. Oh, it is man. such an iconic show. Uh, John Snow was such a big part of it. That scene with the King of the North, King of the North. Every time I see that scene, I got chills running down my spine. It is one of the most iconic scenes in the history of television. I'm a sports nerd. I love sports. It's my biggest thing. But I also love TV shows and movies. Uh, not as much of a music guy as those two. So whenever we get these movie and TV show guys in the one and four, I'm like, I get to geek out about something else. I've never uh, seen a so music nice. guy. I'd like to see a music guy one day. Like, what do you mean? Like, oh. like in the break in the break room. Oh, we do? I'd like to get, like... I mean, we had T-Swift. Well, here's the one. That's, you, that's, that's hot. Red Hot Chili Peppers. Oh, that's cool. We had Red Hot Chili Peppers, that's yeah. Nice. Uh, we've had, um, oh gosh, why am I blanking on the guy's name? Well, Post Malone. Post, awesome Post, Post Malone, right? yeah, Dude, yeah, him as well. Uh, so let me know on a box number in the jerseys. Oh, we got a lot of stuff in the chat, actually. Oh my gosh. Uh, Nate Alberts, the diamonds, and the old diamonds. We have a DJ Moore. Only two boxes left in that old diamond series. In the new diamonds, we have everything except for the Troy Polamalu. Uh, looks like uh, we have... Box two. Box two. And then Ryan has the Amelia Clark already. Oh. Uh, could definitely get those uh, matching John Snow and Amelia. Uh, be careful of incest, I will say that. Uh, <laughs> I was going to say that. <laughs> That's what happened in the show. Yeah. Well, we there's, went, a lot, there's a lot of incest. We, we went from Jamie and Cersei. Everyone's like gross. Yeah. And they're like John and Danny. They're like, yes, yes, yes. Yeah. I'm like, what is wrong with you people? Just, I don't <laughs> think anyone would. If you were saying yes during that. There was a lot of people saying yes. Uh, two of 30 coming up in Feed Me the Rock. The difference is they didn't know, though. They Whereas didn't Jamie know, yeah. and Cersei they, were, they're well, were, full aware. were well aware. <laughs> they're fully aware. They don't care, baby. Yeah. Uh, Jersey break number two, as soon as it fills up. How many spots away are we on Jersey break two? Uh, the single? Yeah, I think we're probably open, right? We're open. Yeah. Uh, so, David, uh, no one's in yet. You got to get in there, man. I don't know if he was in Jersey break two from the early show, uh, but this is the 6 p.m. show. Jersey break two is wide open right now. Wide open. Uh, so get your spots, David. Let's make it happen. Throwing these guys in the randomizer. Nine clicks coming up. You watched that House of the Dragon show? No. Uh, oh, it's pretty good. Heard there's a lot of that, a lot of, heard there's a lot of Cersei stuff going on in there too. Uh, yeah, I yeah. Mean, that that's the Targaryens. True, but yeah, so but yeah, I I did hear it's a, it's pretty good. It's very hear. good. Yeah, it takes you back in that world. Uh, Michael's got the NFC North, NFC South. Chris Swainy, NFC East. Thomas A. in the best running back in the NFL. CMC spot. Christian McCaffrey. McCaffrey. I imagine you're probably having nightmares of CMC uh, heading into tomorrow. No, I'm having... Uh, no that's, not who I'm, that's not who I'm worried about. What I'm are you worried, worried about? They, I'm worried about George Kittle because they usually leave the tight end open in the middle of the field. Joe Barry's so... Okay. So known for that. I'm worried about George Kittle. Okay, that's fair. I, I'd be worried about all those guys. There's a like lot you, of guys. Samuel, uh, CMC, those Niner guys are great. 
Uh, Thomas says that CMC spot, NFC West. Chris in the AFC North. John, AFC South. Michael, AFC East. And Michael in the AFC West. Feed me the Rock Jersey Series. Oh, okay, okay. It's a Niner running back. It's not McCaffrey. It's his number flipped. Not 23. 32. It's 32, former Super Bowl champion Ricky Waters. I think he had more than 10,000 career rushing yards, yes, Pro did. Bowl running back, NFC West for Thomas. Yeah, Let's Waters. Go. Another NFC West team, Seahawks. He's yeah, been on for as, them well. as well. Yeah, yeah, Ricky, man, he, like he said, over 10,000 yards. One year had like 1,800 yards by the league. Uh, wait, let me look it up just to make sure, but he led no. the league a couple years in starts from scrimmage. Yeah, crazy. you look it up, you'll confirm that. Uh, and uh, Ricky Waters, I actually love this. I looked it up the other night. I was looking at the 1996 Super Bowl because we're talking about Steve Young, who was in that old series, had the six touchdown passes, Super Bowl record. Ricky Waters had a couple touchdowns in that game for the Niners on the ground. He had a receiving touchdown as well. And you also had a carry in that game for the Chargers. Who was that? Eric Bieniemy, One carry for three rush yards. Okay. Uh, go figure. So good job there, Thomas, on Ricky Waters. I was right. 1855 yards from scrimmage, led it in 1996, playing for Philadelphia. Mm. And then uh, San Francisco in 94, of course, played for them. He had over 10,000 yards in his career, only played 10 years, too. So averaging about 1,000 yards a season. I wonder why. A lot, a lot of running backs, you know, they want to be able to walk well and have a good, stable life after, of course. <laughs> I don't blame them. I don't blame them either, but, man, it was probably very fun watching him play the game. Yeah, I look at, like, the 10,000 mark for running backs and receivers. It's As like, do I. If you had 10,000, you're very, very good. You know, depending on your era, all your other accomplishments, you know, 10,000 is where you get yourself in the discussion for the Hall of Fame. Yes. 12,000 is probably where you're, like, almost guaranteed in the Hall of Fame. Uh, Ricky Waters might be on the outside looking in, but he is definitely, if not the Hall of Fame, the Hall of Very Good Daniel. That's for sure. Oh, yeah. Uh, so congrats, Thomas, on the Ricky Waters jersey. Maybe it's just a little uh, sort of tease, a little lead up. Uh, foreshadowing is the word I'm looking for. Foreshadowing. Foreshadowing to Christian McCaffrey in this jersey series. Uh, man, CMC is a dude. Yeah. I'm just glad to see him healthy. I think, like, that's been the only problem with him. Uh, he can do everything, just needs to stay healthy, yes, uh, McCaffrey. Uh, so, uh, when you get a second, Daniel, when you get your head back, if you can double-check that David Green's order went through. It will. Uh, it did go through. It He's did in the go jerseys, through. right? He's in the next jersey. Yep. Yeah, yeah, it did go through. So, David, you are a good brother. You are in. We got your order number. You are in the next jersey I series. just looked at it as I got up. Yep. Uh, so, yep, I see it as well here in the Shopify. So you are good, David. All right, so let's see here. Five to go in that diamond double. Uh, one from the new, one from the old. Uh, actually, a good time to give them a uh, top-to-bottom rundown here. We have not done one of these yet. Let you guys know about everything going on on the UA Live break page. So we did one, one, and four so far. So down to 28. 13 headliners, counting the secondary names, uh, starting with the photo headliners. We got ourselves, depends on who you talk to, uh, I would argue probably the second best basketball player in the world right now, Giannis. I mean, Jokic is pretty good. Jokic is it's, the best player. It's in the uh, Giannis, I mean... But Giannis uh, is a top five player and a champion. Well, he's, he's a better defensive player. Again, depends true. on the That's team true. you're on, depends on who you like. Uh, you know, whether you put him one, two, or three, like you said, Daniel, top five player in the game, uh, no doubt about it, Giannis and Tedekumpo. Uh We have a top five hockey goaltender of all time, Martin yep, Brodeur, uh, the devil legend. Uh, we got Kevin Garnett. Uh, one of my favorite things about Kevin Garnett is how he would sweat in pregame. That dude was sweating like crazy before the game even started. Oh, yeah. I wonder if it would make it harder for guys to guard him and hard for guys to score on him because he was sweating so much. Uh, KG was one of those guys that had zero weaknesses on the court. Great at scoring, great at rebounding, you could pass the ball, and he sure as heck could play defense. Oh, yeah. Uh, KG was a beast. Uh, we got the Iron Man in there, Cal Ripken Jr., uh, the most consecutive games played in a row. Uh, speaking of unbreakable records, just in the modern culture... I know we see it more in the NBA, but 
These days, these guys are not built the same way. No. They need their day off. The teams want to give them the day off. Uh, Cal Ripken's, you know, consecutive game, I think it was like 2,500, what was it, 28 or something? You may look it up, Daniel. Uh, well, it's around there, though. Or was it 3,000? It was a lot of games that it's, it's over two. It's in the 2,000. Yeah, so uh, the Iron Man's out there. Randy Johnson. Uh, I mean, you know, birds are afraid of him. Humans are afraid of him. Uh, that dude, tall, big, threw hard, a lefty, unstoppable to stop. 26-32. 26-32, that's what it was. Only three guys, I think, played every game last season. Yeah. I believe it was Eugenio Suarez okay. from, from the Mariners. I know it was not a White Sox guy because no, they're always injured. They're always going up and down to the minors. Yes. Um, Eugenio Suarez, uh, Mookie Betts. That one makes I sense. And I think Matt Olson. I don't okay. know. But Matt I know Olsen. Mookie Betts and Eugenio Suarez for sure. Yeah, it's pretty cool. So You know, not a lot of guys play 162. No, you're right. It's tough. Uh, Big Mac, Mark McGuire on the A's jersey. A uh, guy that was just one of the best pure home run hitters of all time, uh, Mr. McGuire. And then, of course, uh, Justin Jefferson. Uh, this is probably the nicest live in the break room. It's a half LSU, half Vikings. Ooh. I always find it really funny. Jefferson, you know, number one all time in receiving yards per game. But on his college team, he was actually the second leading receiver. I think Joe Burrow just had a little bit better connection with uh, Jamar, Jamar Chase, Chase. Yeah. he goes from being the number two receiver on his college team to being the number one receiver in the NFL. Crazy. Uh, speaks to how good that LSU team was, though. I mean, they had Clyde Edwards, Hilaire as well from the Chiefs, Joe Burrow, of course. I mean, you look at what they did at the college level and the pro level, I don't know if we've ever seen a quarterback that good with two receivers that good. True. Uh, that is probably the best trio of all time. Uh, David would literally cry from happiness with the McCaffrey jersey if he gets it. <laughs> uh, I don't blame you, David. McCaffrey is phenomenal. Well, we have a chance because we have a jersey break coming up right now. Oh, jersey break is full, so let me run through this real quick, and we'll get to the jerseys. Uh, diamond helmets, all these headliners out there, Bud Polamalu, uh, that sick chrome flex, Mike Evans out there, uh, one in four. I just went over the names in that one. Uh, old series, uh, two boxes left. DJ Moore is one of them. Mini helmets, four minis to go. Uh, one of the most consistent receivers in the league. One of the best route runners. Uh, Amari Cooper still out there on that brown mini. Reps got seven to go. Jerseys are full. Obviously, I need to refresh. Well, let's do the jersey break then. Heck yeah. Uh, so, Corey got a jersey spot as well. There you go, Corey. Uh, so, jersey single number two. Go ahead and drop me a box number. We got... Feed me the rock dose. We got David. We got John. We got Corey. We got Valerie. And we got Michael in this jersey break. Thank you guys for jumping in. Uh, let's see some magic in Feed Me the Rock. There's a lot of good running backs in here. Adrian Peterson. Peterson. Yeah. I know we did pull that one, but DeAndre Swift is still left. Uh, we even have uh, Brian Erlacher and Antonio Gates. Michael Bennett wants 10. Thank you, Michael. Let's do 10 in the jerseys. All right. The Jordan Love box. Yeah, Jordan Love box. Jordan Love. Eden Hazard. Yes. Messi. Eden Hazard. Messi. Maradona, Pele. Mohamed Salah. Yeah, there's a lot of good ones. I got soccer. I like it, Daniel. Uh, Mohamed see. Salah should have been the right wing on the team of the year this year, though. Oh, okay. You know. Please, football god, says David. <laughs> He's begging to the gods. Uh, I would say beg to the randomizer as well. I always say this randomizer is ever powerful. Uh, beg to the randomizer uh, gods at random.org. Uh, so we got nine clicks here. Uh, so I think Michael Bennett has the CMC spot in the NFC West. NFC North up top. Is Michael again? Valerie Vander East. What's up, Val? A long time no see. Long time. Uh, David Green in the NFC East. Michael Bennett, NFC West. Corey Rumpf, AFC North. Corey's a new guy. Corey, let us know what team you like and how you heard about Ultimate Autographs. Oh, yeah. Uh, David Green in the AFC South. Michael Bennett, AFC East. And John Sutter out there in the AFC West in Feed Me the Rock. Number two. Oh, no, number Omar's got to get in on this 
Then he's Jersey Briggs. Of course, he wants McCaffrey. How can you blame him? I would want a CMC as well. We got a record-breaking hit coming up in the history of the National Football League. We got the guy with the most receiving touchdowns of any tight end ever. Antonio it's Antonio Gates. Gates, baby. Look at this one, Daniel. Uh, very nice. John Sutter, one spot, 26 bucks. Antonio Gates, nicely done. Yeah, man. Eight-time Pro Bowl, three-time All-Pro. I think he's the only one with more receiving yards than Keenan Allen. Correct. Correct. Yeah. So Charger that, record books. So that's the last, the last person that Keenan Allen needs to get by, who, the, to have the most receiving yards in Charger history. Man, he was so good. Former basketball player. Mm -hmm. Kent, proud of Kent State. Shout out the Missouri Valley Conference. That's where I'm ah, from. I like it. You already know, man. A little SIU love. Yeah. Yeah. Gates was so good. It was like, you know, the Chargers got in the red zone. If you think about it, they're one of the best goal line red zone teams ever. They had LaDainian Tomlinson in the backfield and Antonio Gates at tight end. True. That is kind of unstoppable. It is. Uh, it really is for the Chargers back in those days. And Danny Woodhead. <laughs> yeah, that's, that's a Weirdly blast enough. fast. Uh, thank you, says John. You're welcome, John. You're very welcome, Antonio Gates. Uh, great looking jersey. Top five tight end of all time. An absolute beast, Gatesy. That is Beckett certified that QR sticker on the jersey. So he's got the most receiving touchdowns of any tight end ever. He's actually seventh all time in receiving touchdowns, period. Really? Six guys ever, Daniel, with more okay. receiving touchdowns than Gates. That's incredible. That's man. nuts. That is absolutely nuts. He played for what seemed like ever to me. I mean, yeah. he was it was somebody that I, I'd heard about for so many years in my life. Yeah. The like guy knew Antonio Gates, mm -hmm. tight end, San Diego. Of yeah. course. Yeah, San Diego, right? I don't know if he played with the Chargers or not, or the L.A. Chargers, because they, they moved. But obviously, whenever I hear Chargers, I always think San Diego as well. Oh, Because that was the childhood. It took me, me. It took me about three years to start calling them the L.A. Chargers. It took me three years to start, to start saying Las Vegas, right? Yeah. Well, yeah. same for the Rams. I thought Rams. of the St. Louis Rams. Yeah. Uh, so, there you go. Exactly, man. And David says, that's it. Next week, I'm buying every spot. There you go, David. You buy all the spots, you guarantee yourself a W. Uh, I'm a Steelers fan. Been seeing the ads in my Facebook and Instagram feed for weeks. There you go, Corey. Glad you're here, brother. Uh, the Steelers are one of the most common teams in the break room. Uh, not only as far as headliners, we get a lot of great secondary Steeler names. For example, the Diamond Helmets, a guy that is in a lot of these series, would be Heinz Ward. Uh, he would yeah. be an Ann Moore hit, wouldn't be a photo headliner, uh, just like in real life, kind of underappreciated, under the radar, uh, Mr. Hines Ward. We got Jack Lambert, uh, we got Andy Russell, George Pickens, uh, jo Joe Green, George Pickens. Uh, do we get a lot of uh, Steeler guys, Palamalu, who we did pull in the Diamond Helmets, but he is a very, very common hit uh, as well. Original TV 12. Terry yeah, Bradshaw. Terry Bradshaw. Oh, That's a good Terry one. Bradshaw. Jerome Bettis. Jerome Bettis. Uh, very common name in the break room. Uh, you are in the right place, Corey. I'll tell you that. I got to ask Corey this because I asked this of every uh, every single Steeler fan because I'm just genuinely curious because I only learned about this in this break room, Daniel, that a lot of Pittsburgh fans don't like Mike Tomlin. So, Corey, do you like Mike Tomlin or do you not like Mike Tomlin? Because yeah. personally, I love Mike Tomlin. I think he's a phenomenal coach, and the Steelers have been lucky to have him uh, all these years. We got a one and four coming up now. Yes, one and four. Uh, that is a Diggs helmet. That's Stefan Diggs, Ethan. Uh, this was pulled in the diamonds, and it's actually in the next diamond. Uh, that's how good those diamonds are. That Stefan Diggs, not even a photo headliner in either diamond series. Oh, yeah. uh, second year headliner for both. Uh, one and four coming up though. Uh, so I'll go ahead and put this in the chat. Our second one in four, right? Yep. Uh, go ahead and drop me a box number for the one in four. And here's that link in the chat where you can buy all your breaks. And thank you so much, Corey, about the cool setup. Uh, you got it, brother. Uh, glad to have you here in the room. So, again, this is an interesting question, Ethan. Um, Daniel, this is a great question here. It says, what's better, a secondary or a headliner? So, I mean, technically speaking, the photo, photo headliners, headliners yeah. on average are slightly better. 
but not always. It's yeah. a matter of personal preference. For example, I think personally, I look at DK Metcalf, as great as DK Metcalf is, Stefan Diggs is better. DK yeah. Metcalf got the photo headliner, Stefan Diggs got the secondary headliner, and to be honest with you, we kind of rotate these guys in. Sometimes he's a photo headliner. We don't want to have the same photos every time. So sometimes we stick him in as a secondary headliner. That's true. So on average, these are your best hits, the photo headliners, and your second best hits are the secondary headliners, and then your third best hits are the and more. But that's not always true. Sometimes the and more is even better uh, than the main headliners. Like we had that T. Higgins Hydro Flex. We had a Chrome Flex yeah. uh, Mac Jones. So... Yeah. It, a lot of it is personal preference. I mean, for Ethan as a Bill fan, we pulled Thurman Thomas as an and more. I'm sure Bill fans like Thurman Thomas more than Warren Moon or DK Metcalf, Bo Jackson. Some of this is personal preference. Particularly in the Diamond Helmets, though, they're all headliner worthy because you don't have filler hits, right? The minis, the jerseys, they could have some filler hits, some offensive linemen. Some guys that aren't, like, as big names. Uh, but in the Diamond Helmets, everybody is a monstrous, monstrous, monstrous name. Uh, You'd be that's hard for pressed sure. to miss on one of those. Uh, so, I like him, says Co Corey, about Tomlin. Uh, great coach, team guy, everyone. Got to blame somebody. That's how the world works, unfortunately. Well, and I he mean, says, I'll be back for sure. This, you know, I, I, one thing I've noticed among Steelers fans... There's been more sympathy to Kenny Pickett for some reason now. Makes no sense. I know. That's what I'm saying. Makes no sense. Um, uh, he's not even the best quarterback on the team. Mason Rudolph is. Well, I uh, think uh, maybe, so. that's probably a targeting area for a guy named Justin Fields. So yeah. it's possible. He could go to the Steelers. Possible. Yeah. Uh, one and four, number two. Michael, Ryan, and Michael. Let me know, guys, in a box number. Uh, Giannis has not been pulled yet. Autograph Giannis basketball. The two-time NBA MVP. The finals MVP, uh, one of my favorite sports moments of all time is Giannis going to Chick-fil-A to get the 50-piece chicken nuggets. Not 49, not 51, 50-piece. The poor girl at the counter had no idea who that was. He's like, we're, we're live on Instagram. We got 100,000 people watching. She's like, no, you don't. I don't believe you. And you sure know. enough, you don't know what happens when somebody wins the championship. And he goes on Instagram Live. <laughs> uh, so, yes, Brandon Reese, just to clarify, uh, as you can see on the page, I always tell guys, read the fine print. It's not even small. It's right on the break page. This item is a live drawing. You are purchasing a spot in a live break, not a guaranteed item. Please see the UA Live Breaks Explain blog to get more details. So these are, for the most part, NFL football breaks where you have a 1 in 8 chance for each spot you buy. If it's a double box break, a triple or a quad, we can have more than one winner. But if it's a single box break, there'll only be one winner in each break. If we gave out an item to every person who ordered, we'd be out of business. We would. I'd be on the street begging, Daniel. Yes, We're nice people, we offer good prices, but this is a business, not everybody's gonna win. No. Uh, that's the way the life works. Uh, so there you go. Uh, got it, says Brandon, you got it, brother. Uh, so. There you go. Wish that three-signed jersey didn't get pulled, says Ethan. Which one? Which one are you talking about, Ethan? The triple autographed jersey? Oh, the Bills Dynasty. Yeah. Yeah, that's a nice one. That is a nice, nice jersey. Uh, let's do 29 in the one and four. Uh, called out by Mr. Michael Bennett. Two nine. Our second one in four. I uh, have a feeling this series is going to kind of heat up tonight, right? It just makes sense. It is a fantastic series with some fantastic names. And, Daniel, you know what I'm thinking? What's that? Uh, that double box break is moving. One spot to go on that diamond. Let's take the single down. We'll just do one more pair then until it's the new series. Does how that make are, sense? How many are left? Uh, two left, and there's one spot to go on the double. The single's got all eight left. So let's just pair the next one. We could take down... The single. Do you, want, you don't want me to put up a single for the new series, though? Right? No, we'll okay. just do the pairing, and then we'll put up the single okay. uh, once we get, clear it out. Okay. Uh, so it looks like that double is moving. Uh, get that fresh series in the room. Uh, maybe that dual C.D. Lamb and Dak Prescott uh, helmet. Dual signed. Two dual on signed. one. That's kind of nice, I think. I, did. I mean, that's the connection this year. I mean, 
you know, though they had though Padak had his gripes in the playoffs, he did have a great regular season. Yeah, he MVP candidate. He wasn't terrible in the playoffs. I know he got some garbage time numbers. Dallas lost because of the defense, not because of he, Dak. Yeah, 100%. I mean, he definitely didn't play great in the first half. That was the pick six. And but if, pick the pick to Jair Alexander. But, but if, I, if I'm blaming people, I'm going 85% Dallas D, 15% Dallas O. That, and uh, the, that's the defense, the is, as, a, as a Packers fan, I was worried the most about the defense. That was weird. That, that was, was weird. a crazy game. Uh, so, guess who got the Bills Dynasty jersey? Uh, Willie, I'm either guessing it's you because you're in the chat, or I'm guessing it's... Uh, Daniel Kyler or Darcy Standish, because those are Bill fans. Those are my three guesses. I hope I hope it's one of those guys. Uh, that's it's got to be one of. Oh, there we go, Darcy. You see, I was Darcy? right. Cool. How about that? Uh, so David says, "I love the way you guys do this. I wish I made more money. I'd be buying spots in every break, win or lose." Thank you, David. Uh, yeah. We do have a lot of fun here. I always tell the guys too. Some of you guys have a lot of money. Some people have a lot of pockets. They love doing this. This is your hobby. It's more fun to play the breaks than go to the casino, oh, yeah. gamble on sports, you know, go to the bar at night. This is more fun. Uh, some of you don't have as much money. Play when you can, right? Play when you can. Play yeah. when you can. You're always welcome to watch, though. As long as you keep it respectful, you're always welcome to watch uh, here in the break room. Play on Thursdays. Thurs Thursdays is a Jersey Thursdays. Yes, Thursday, Thursday, one uh -huh. free spot. Yeah. Uh, you can play every day too. That's the beauty you can of this. Play every day, of course. We're, we're yeah, not a yeah. like we're not a once a week break room. Every it's day. twelve, three p.m. and six p.m. every single day. Yep, yep. Now, what if you play on your phone at the casino bar? I mean, if you like to gamble, <laughs> go for it, baby. <laughs> Craig, I'm not stopping you, brother. You Hall live your best life. Hall of Fame gambler. <laughs> yes. Hall of Fame. Uh, so Mike Bennett has been spending racks. Love it, says Brandon. Hard-earned money from Michael Bennett. He's also been winning a lot, a lot of stuff. stuff. Uh, wow. Michael Bennett is a champ. Yeah, you know, Michael, if you close out the replicas, coin toss, there's the college series coming up, and I know you're the king of college. So. He does like college. So, you know. Uh, 29 10, of 40. 20, 20 or whatever they say. Right? I always say that. I like that. We got the LeGarrette Blunt box. Uh, Craig is asking. Oh, sure, Craig. Asking for a friend. Uh, I mean, whatever works, man. Uh, you guys are welcome to spend your time how you wish. Uh, I th definitely think playing in this break room is excellent. Here's one, believe it or not, I've never seen in the break room. Uh, this is the biggest star on the current Chicago Bulls basketball team. Really? A former Raptor, oh, yeah. one of the best scorers in the league, went in his prime. It is DeMar DeRozan. And for all the winning Michael does, believe it or not, he's human. Ryan Alberta snipes him oh. with the basketball spot. DeMar DeRozan, king of clutch. This guy, I think it was like two years ago that hit hit so many game-winning shots for the Bulls that it was like every single game, you turn on the game, you know, shot clock winding down, game on the line. DeMar DeRozan, one word, buckets. Buckets. Always. Buckets. No, I, uh, I remember I had NBA 2K11, which is like an old game now at this point. And I remember DeMar sure. DeRozan was like a 60 overall or something. And he just got better and better and better and better each year. Great years at Toronto, great years at San Antonio. And now even here in Chicago, still having a great year, 22 points a game. Loving the guy, man. I like him a lot. Uh, one of my favorite players in the league, no doubt about it. Yeah, six-time All-Star, three-time All-NBA for DeMar DeRozan. Uh, just a professional score. 21 points per game over his career. I know he's shooting the three a little bit more, but for the most part, just your classic mid-range guy, right? He'll drive to the bucket sometimes. Once in a while, he steps out to the three-point line. But he's that mid-range master, DeMar DeRozan. Oh, yeah. Uh, nicely done right there for Ryan Alberta. Uh, so, that's all right. Like I said, David, uh, play when you can, man. Uh, nice hit, Ryan, on DeMar DeRozan. I'm liking that we get different stuff. Uh, I'll say this a lot about the one and four. Uh, obviously, you know, we don't have it all the time, and we don't have basketball, baseball all the time. Yep. Uh, we have a lot of great diamond helmets. We are doing a really good job of getting more unique stuff, more custom lids, more dual sign stuff. But if you're looking for stuff that you probably don't have in your collection, by far your best bet is the one and four. There's a lot of stuff in this series that nobody's got in their collection. Even the great Nate Alberts doesn't have. Yeah. Uh, DeMar DeRozan could be an example because I've never seen him in the break room. Nor have so I. nice hit, Ryan Alberto. He says, thank you. You're welcome. 
You're you welcome, are man. Welcome anytime, you are very man. welcome. Jersey coming up next, right? Yes, yes. Feed me the rock. I think that's what McCaffrey's saying this weekend, right? Certainly. Possible. I mean, I think uh, obviously they have a lot of great targets. Brock Purdy, kind of up and down. A lot of folks are not sure about him. I do like Brock Purdy personally. I am more on the pro Brock Purdy train. Uh, but as good as he is, I think in the playoff scenario, you got to give your best man the ball uh, and maybe play some old school football. Give McCaffrey the ball, feed him the rock plenty if you're the Niners. Now, if you're a Packer fan like you, you probably say, don't feed him the rock. Well, uh, actually, but... um, the Packers have had pretty good run defense. Okay. They get torn up in their secondary whenever they play a. Uh... A far back cover three or a cover two, they get torn up in the middle. Okay. Um, that's, that's why you're why worried about Kittle. Kittle. That's why I'm worried about Kittle. Exactly. Okay. So I, I just hope that if, if they do give it to McCaffrey and he starts banging up yards, it's going to be t- tough for the Packers to come back because then they'll have play action and they can throw it to Kittle and then, or, you know, God forbid they can hit a long route to Debo Samuel. Mm, I love Debo. Yeah. I am a huge Debo Samuel fan. One of my favorite players in the National Football League, Mr. Debo. Uh, Feed Me the Rock is next. Jersey single number three. Go ahead and drop me a box number. Uh, Craig Joseph, we are going to have a full break of autoed cowboy hats. Yes, sir. That's going to happen. Uh, the day the Cowboys win the Super Bowl, it's going to be a cowboy only autographed hat series. Uh, we pulled a uh, literally a Troy Aikman cowboy hat the other day in the break room. Did it? I personally like loved it. Hat? It was like a, like a cowboy hat. Yeah. Oh. Autographed by him. Everyone else hated it. The the chat just like said they want to sit on it in their toilet. I was like, guys, put some respect on the cowboy hat. It's Aikman, he's cool. And it was Troy Aikman. Come on. <laughs> he can autograph a post-it note and it's cool. Uh, so they definitely need to get the run going so it opens up the pass, says Omar. Matthew Bennett, brother of Michael Bennett, says 29. Man. And Danny says, I got it. Uh, so there you go. Uh, what I love about this break room is that uh, people that, you know, brothers play, father and son, husband and wife. Uh, we get cousins. We actually had two guys who I think are like second cousins or something that met each other in this break room. They didn't know that was their cousin. It actually happened uh, last year, Daniel. Uh, they found out that they were cousins by playing the breaks. That's pretty nuts. Uh, there's a lot of crazy stuff that happens here. Uh, so 29, though, is coming up. Uh, in Feed Me the Rock Jersey Series. Could we have number 29, LeGarrette Blunt as a filler hit? A little Blunt Force trauma. Uh, that'd be interesting. Yes, yes. It was cowboy hat like, says William. Okay. Well, yeah, these guys, probably that cowboy hat, probably not coming back, judge on the reaction. It was just so funny. I was like, do you guys like this? And everyone's like, no. No. Oh, was it in the one no. four? No, it was actually in the vault. That's what was weird. That was weird. I think it was pr- part of the problem was that vault series was like half or two thirds authentic helmets. A lot of it was authentic. It was a quad, and we had three jerseys and a hat. It was like the one quad that didn't have an authentic. Yeah. And I think it was kind of like one of those moments where they were mad the authentic didn't come out. Don't be upset about that. So, <laughs> we can't do anything about that. Oh, I like that, Craig Joseph. A cowboy hat that Ken wore in Barbie. Yes, that's wore, exactly what we need. Oh, yeah, that, well, yeah. In yeah, Ryan four. Gosling. Did you not see Barbie? No. Oh, so I good. like Blade Runner and Drive. Okay, a little that's, bit different style. Yeah. <laughs> uh, my girlfriend and I went to see Barbie. Uh, she was pumped. She was obsessed with it. She loved it. She started crying. I was like, I'm glad that you have all these emotions coming out. Yeah. It was interesting. I, I, if I see Barbie, I'll watch a double feature in my house. I'll okay. watch that and La La Land. Oh, okay. I was gonna say I thought you were gonna go with like a tough movie. No, no, but you no, went it's, like musical. It's the opposite. Uh, yeah. The opposite. <laughs> yeah. Okay. You can't, you can't watch Drive than Barbie. I would say the best musical for me, The Greatest Showman. That's a great one. That's good. Uh, Twenty nine of thirty coming up. Uh, it's Woody's hat from Toy Story. Says William Maynard. Yeah. Autographed by Troy Aikman though, so that's cool. Ah. Uh, you like Swiss Army knives? Like, are they pretty cool for you? How do you feel about a Swiss Army knife? Are you gonna? I'm gonna let you get this one. Get guess the player. Darren Sproles. Oh, very close. You're warm. It's the guy that's played on the same team. Current active player. 
current active player, Taysom Hill. Taysom Hill. We got a Swiss <laughs> Army knife. It's the <laughs> NFC South. It's the other Bennett. It's Matthew Bennett. Uh, this guy plays a little bit of quarterback, a little bit of running back, some fullback, some tight end, some wide receiver, some special teams. Uh, literally has played almost every single spot on offense or special teams. I bet they could put him at linebacker or safety. He tackles some guys as well. Uh, Taysom Hill autographed jersey for Matthew Bennett. That is JSA certified. You know, Taysom Hill is one of those guys that you can't really judge him by his statistics at all because his ability to do just about anything is pretty remarkable. Yeah, he's unique. Like, he's unique, which I think is really cool, man. I, I think he's one of my favorite players in the league, actually. There you go. Because I love that he could do... I love... that's He's a football player. He's, he's not, a foot. He's a football, he's a football player. player. Yes. He's a football player. Well put. You know? Football player right there. Uh, box call wins, thanks, says Matthew. That's what we call good old-fashioned box Collar. number mojo. Uh, good job, Matthew Bennett. Is that diamond double ready yet? Are we still one away, Daniel? Oh, we're still one away? Ah, let's get that diamond double done. I want to see some heat. How about that new salute to service Bo Jackson flex in that series? That thing is nice. I, the more and more I see the new salute to service, the more I like it. I like it better than the old one, personally. I think it's about even with me. It's about, about even? even? But I like the new I, one. I, I wonder it's because I've seen the old one so many times. It, exactly. And it's something fresh, but I, I like the new one, personally. Uh, good job, Matthew, on Taysom Hill. The Saint Swiss Army Knife. Who would have thought we would have Baker Mayfield versus Jared Goff at this stage in the playoffs? Who would have thought Jordan Love would have been in the divisional round? And C.J. Stroud got some rookies. You didn't even think that they'd win eight games. No, I didn't. You were <laughs> right. I still owe you a Chipotle. Yes. That will happen, Daniel. I'm a man of my word. Uh, that will happen at some point. I know it will. I think I had him winning seven games. And they won a ten, was it, or nine? Nine. Nine, nine, nine. games Oh, ten now, Bay. of course. Uh, so, yeah, it's, it's pretty crazy. It's all about playing the best ball at the right time. That's really what uh, it is. That is why, even though I like the uh, Ravens and the Niners to win... Personally, I like the Texans and the Packers to cover nine and a half points. Those are such big spreads. You know, the Ravens and Niners could have a little bit of rust not playing the last couple weeks. Yeah. Uh, I look at the Texans and the Packers. I'm a betting man. I'm going to bet on nine and a half in those two games from the cover. I would. Uh, so that's where I'd go on those. Uh, good get, Matthew. Let's get those diamonds next, and let's keep the party going tonight, guys. Double sold. Double is sold out. And then the next double is the last one that is one and one. Then it's going to be all just a new series of diamonds. And after that, it's probably going to explode, Daniel. Wait. Uh, those oh, the next, the, yeah. the next double is the last one. The next double is the last one, exactly. How's that wait? Uh, so, and we do have three spots to go in the next one and four. Three spots to go in the double. Three spots to go in the single. Keep it coming. So we got, let's see, 24 and 29. Uh, of the old series and then one through four and six through 29 of the new series so diamond double number two uh, drop me one number from old and one from new in this series uh, so we got ryan alberta dustin rose kyle hummel dan scapetta mark stoner and michael bennett Michael is ready. He is ready. Looking for box number mojo, just like his brother, Matthew Bennett. Uh, so Mark Stoner, just a little bit late. Uh, we need to go with first come, first serve. Let's do 29 in the old. And let's do 26 in the new. Any reason, uh, Michael, I know I bring it up, but out of curiosity, uh, why is 26 your favorite number? Is there any sort of... Was he born on the 26th? I don't know. I always get, you know, interested in people's favorite numbers. I'm a weird guy like that, Daniel. I like numbers, zodiac signs, stuff like that. Uh, so we'll get you guys set up here for the diamond double. Nine clicks coming up. Good luck, folks. Let's see some fire. Ah, there you go. That makes sense, Michael. Look at that. He is a awesome guy. Uh, that is his wife's birthday on the 26th. 
It's also Saquon Barkley's number. It is, and he's also in the series. And who's 29? You go to 29? LeGarrette Blunt. Okay. I know there's others, but I always like that one. LeGarrette Blunt's good. That's a, that's a decent reference. Hey, he, I wonder how many... I'll look it up later, but... Let's see how many rushing yards he had in his career. He had three Super Bowls. I know that. I know that, yeah. Uh, so... And 29 is Matthew's birthday. So Michael Bennett's calling out numbers for his wife and his brother... Uh, that is what we call a good family man there, Michael. Oh, heck yeah. Uh, so, family man, Mr. Bennett. Matthew, are you also a Washington and Denver fan? Or are you different than your brother? Uh, Michael's got the NFC North. Ryan Alberta in the NFC South. Uh, by the way, Michael has a one and two shot at the DJ Moore yes, in the does. old series. Uh, Dustin Rose, the NFC East. Dan Scapetta, the NFC West. Kyle Hummel, AFC North. Mark Stoner, AFC South. Ryan Alberta AFC East and Kyle Hummel in the AFC West at Bo Jackson spot. Uh, Dustin, you've got that Dak and CD dual sign spot. I know Kyle's got the Ray Lewis Hydro spot. Uh, a lot of good spots in this break. Yes, sir. Uh, that is for sure. Uh, let's start with the old series uh, where Michael was hoping for DJ Moore. Uh, two boxes left in the old series. One of them is the Bears' number one receiver. Uh, DJ Moore. Can this be more time here in the break room? Such a talented wideout DJ Moore is. Uh, but we're going to have to wait one more break for him. We got a guy that's even faster than DJ Moore. It's Chris Johnson, CJ2K. Put it there on the helmet. Salute the service authentic. It is USA flag on the back as well. The AFC South, Mark Stoner with Chris Johnson, one of the fastest running backs of all time, one of eight to rush for 2,000 yards in a season. Then, Dan, you got up rushing yards uh, and receiving yards. He had more than 2,500 in one season, which to this day is still the NFL record. Yep, 25.09 on that uh, yards from scrimmage. Yeah. Offensive player of the year in 2009, three-time Pro Bowl. Earned. All pro as well. Yeah, man, was a great player. Just short of 10,000 in his career, 96-51. But like, like you said, CJ2K, one of the fastest men to ever touch a football field. He had a lot of receiving yards, too. Again, that's the, the whole point of those running backs, the shelf life. You look at his first six, seven years, yeah. Hall of Fame career. Then Hall he got injured, slowed down a little bit. You know, old age catches up with you. The legs get hurt. Yeah. Uh, he's probably, like, right on that, like, borderline, probably just outside it. But if they put him in... No one's going to get mad, right? Because no CJ 2K so. was electric. He was electric. like, And also, uh, yeah, man, receiving yards, crazy. Uh, 2509 yards from scrimmage is absolutely That's bonkers. Nuts. Yeah, that record, I mean, I guess McCaffrey could break it if you add up his receiving. It'd, but it would be tough. It'd be tough. It would be an uphill battle. Yeah, it'd be tough. It. Uh, that's for sure. East Carolina, a product of East yeah, Carolina he's, University. He's a pirate. A pirate. He's yeah, a pirate. I think, was I with you when, I, when we pulled? When yeah, we pulled I think him? it was. Yeah. yeah. I was with you. I think it was last Friday. Or no, was it the one no, before? That was, that was a couple Fridays ago. Was that last year? Last year. Oh, I got you. Last, last year. year. Yeah. Uh, Matthew Bennett's a Washington football fan. Hockey and basketball. Well, And then Baltimore Orioles, College of Virginia Tech, and Notre Dame. I mean, Matthew Bennett and Michael Bennett, if you're a fan of the same... Uh, how about that one in four guys? We got Alexander Ovechkin for talking Washington sure. hockey. And if you're talking about Baltimore Orioles, we got Cal Ripken. Cal yeah, Ripken. I mean, I guess Michael's already playing pretty hard in that series, yeah. so it makes sense. Yeah, he's. Uh, man, that's that's why I love that series. We get the best of all the sports, and we get the entertainment. I like Jon Snow. And Kit Harrington. Kit Harrington. The Hoosiers. Uh, jersey signed. That was pretty awesome. We've had we've had before like five autographs from uh, the Sandlot. We had I pulled one with Joe last week. Yeah, yeah. that's pretty cool. It was. And that and that's not even a headliner oftentimes, which is crazy. Uh, there was, that was an and more. It was an and more. That's exactly. An Gosh, that's more. nice. We've had the Mighty Ducks. We've had uh, a lot of um, Vaughn jerseys from Major League. We had a, we had a Chevy Chase last yeah? week. Yeah. Wild thing. Wild thing. Was Ovechkin pulled? Oh, Ovechkin was pulled. My bad. Well, it is off the board. Ovi was pulled, uh, but the Cal Ripken Jr. is still out there. Uh, so we do still have Ripken in that series, the one and four. Uh, that is my bad, Michael. I did actually didn't mention him as a headliner left. 
Uh, he is not on our board. Ovechkin did get pulled. Uh, but we do have Cal Ripken Jr., though. Uh, the Iron Man still out there. One of my favorite moments was his last All-Star game. You know, Ripken was a shortstop. Uh, played third base later in his career. They let him play short at the All-Star game. Yeah. And he hit a home run and won the MVP of his last All-Star game. That's and that amazing. was just wonderful. Uh, we have free play 26 coming up. 26 of 30. I used to call this the Saquon Barkley or Le'Veon Bell box. It has now officially been changed to the Michael Bennett box. Michael Bennett box. Effective as of 7.20 p.m. January 19th, 2024. Yep. It is now the Michael Bennett box. 2-6. Uh, 18 is the Nate Alberts box. He always calls 18. 18. So these I think guys, I've seen that before, actually. Yeah, these guys have their, their numbers they like. Oh! Uh, what do we got here? Oh, my gosh. <laughs> ah, this is funny. I'll put this one away because it's the same as that one. Stefan Diggs. Diggs. Yeah, yeah, I know. Diggsy, yeah. baby. <laughs> AFC East. That's it is just... Ryan Alberta. Oh, I knew it. Uh, it's a Stefan Diggs kind of day. Uh, nice job, Mark. Nice job, Ryan. Uh, Diggs is one of the best wideouts in the league in 2020. Led the league in receiving yards uh, and in catches. You know, he's consistently top five or ten in all the categories. Uh, nice get there, Ryan Alberta on Stefan Diggs. Uh, beautiful Buffalo Bill helmet. Uh, very, very nice, Mr. Alberta. Mm, that's so you, cool. So you don't get this mixed up. This is the old one. Okay, I'm going to yeah. put this one in. Oh, you're putting uh, that one in? Yeah, it's the same one. I mean, it's the exact same helmet. Okay. I'll just put this one in because it's closer to me. That's funny. So congrats, Ryan and Mark, says Michael Bennett. Yeah, as a Chief fan, I'm really hoping they stop this guy. Uh, Kansas City's secondary is great. They contain Tyree Kill to about 60 yards or so. Uh, they do the same against Diggs. They'll probably win. Uh, but it's going to be tough. It's easier said than done stopping this guy, Stefan Diggs. He is consistent. He's fast. He's got great hands. A great route runner. Uh, no weaknesses at all. Uh, not even a photoed headliner in the series. No, he's not. Uh, Rick Flair as well, actually, now that I see it. Uh, in the one and four. Thank you, sir. A sweet thanks, says Ryan. Congrats, Ryan and Mark, says Michael. I gotta say, Ryan Alberta's heating up in the break room. Yes, he is. I told you, Ryan, streaks go, uh, come and go. Hot and cold. Uh, he was cold last night. He's heating up tonight. Uh, nice job on the Stefan Diggs Authentic. Uh, Diggs kind of night. Uh, so let's get that next diamond done. Uh, then we'll have the new series up as a single, double, and quad. And we'll have a lot of magic coming up. Eight to go. Uh, by the way, a lot of opportunities to double up with that DJ Moore. You can double up with uh, Randy Moss in the NFC North. Adrian Peterson in the NFC North. Uh, there's a lot of great opportunities. Secondary headliners in here. Uh, we can get ourselves Michael Strahan, Sauce Gardner, Eric Dickerson. Actually, Dickerson I think we did pull, didn't we? We did. We did pull Dickerson in the Diamonds. But you guys probably didn't pull Strahan or Gardner, though. Uh, so, no, as no, Sauce no. is on there, yeah? No, no, we didn't. And we didn't pull Diggs. Okay, so a yeah, couple no. secondary headliners gone in that free play. Ryan says I was due. Now that's two Ryan. He got himself the uh, Funko Pop Ric Flair, Flair as well. Yes, he did. So, we do have a jersey break coming up, looks like, right? Yep, Skip had just bought it all out. <laughs> all right, Dan, once a guarantee W. Maybe no, 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 no not the whole thing, but oh, bought the last the five spots. Okay. About the last five. So gotcha. Good chance, though. Good chance. I'm looking for the CMC. Uh, that is definitely the biggest headliner in that jersey <clears throat> series, Christian McCaffrey. All right, good job, Ryan. Uh, nicely done on uh, Stefan Diggs. Ready to go. All right, thank you, thank you, Daniel. Feed me the rock, James, Roderick, Chat, and Dan. Feed me the rock four. So jersey single number four. Go ahead and drop me a box number, folks. So James, by the way, in case you're wondering, Daniel, another longtime customer. Uh, he is the husband of Valerie. Valerie. Yeah, husband and wife here in the break room. Uh, definitely love to see that. A little family competition. Yep, yep. Uh, Danny wants 12. Thank you, Danny. Uh, we got 12 coming up, man. Uh, thank you, thank you, sir, on your box call. 
It is the Aaron T Rogers box. No, I was gonna say TB12, Bradshaw, and Brady are also Rogers though. Yeah. Uh, so I heard a stat. I heard it actually on this show here at UA. I think by Dominic Pellegrini actually. Yes, yes. I think he said uh, Rogers 0 and 4 against the Niners. Everyone else 4 and 1. Uh, the other Green Bay quarterbacks 4 and 1 against San Fran. It's because he's from that area. Yeah. He, oh, he is. He was a cow kid and psychologically. Yeah, yeah, something about that. He beat him one time in the regular season with a last-minute field goal. Yeah. It's one of the best games I've ever seen. I remember that game. Yeah, that was. Freaking Quite game. a finish. Week two. It was a crazy comeback at the end, it right? Was. Yeah, exactly. Yeah, I know exactly what game you're talking about. Uh, 12 of 30 and Feed Me the Rock. And I think later that year they lost to him in the postseason. Like season. Exactly. Yeah, so he got to come back at the wrong time. Talahanga Hufanga blocked a punt. Yes, that's a yeah. great name. My favorite Green Bay Packer name of all time. Who was that? Guess. Take a guess. Shaq, whatever his last name was. No, that's no. a good one, though. I don't know. What? I'm laughing. Oh, Ha Ha Clinton Dix? Ha Ha Clinton Dix. Yeah. I love that name. Uh, ha Ha. Uh, I think he's a former Alabama kid. Yes, he is. Uh, Clinton Dix. Coached by Nick Saban, like so many others. There's so many others who will uh, never have that opportunity again. Not a, not again, yeah. I think and that, when you retire at 74, you're probably not coming back. <laughs> I think he is definitely retired Nick Saban. Could have retired 10 years ago, but he didn't. Well, he kept great, winning. He's a competitor. Yeah, he he's likes great. the game. He loves the game. I have a lot of respect for people like that. Uh, Chat Williams has the NFC North. Uh, we got Roderick Agmada in the NFC South. Uh, Dan's got the NFC East and the NFC West looking for CMC. AFC North and South for Dan. James in the AFC East. And Dan's got the AFC West. Feed me the rock. Number Fall here in the jerseys. Ah, I like this one. I like this one. This is a former Chicago Bear, uh, but his best days came with the Panthers. Moosin Muhammad. Uh, in 2004, led the league in receiving yards. Uh, phenomenal wide receiver back then. NFC South, single spot snipe. Roderick Igmata. Oh my, Roderick, with the Moosin Muhammad. Yeah. Okay, Moose. Yeah, he played 13 years in the league. Yeah, he 14 did. years, actually. Or no, 13 years in the league. That's a lot of years. 2004 with Carolina. Listen to this. 1,400 yards. Was that led the league in receiving That's yards? Incredible. Like I said. Man, 102 receptions in 2000 led the league that year as well. He's yeah. a two time Pro Bowler, All Pro. Yeah, man. Heck yeah. Uh, nice get. Actually, also led the league in receiving touchdowns in 2004 as well. Best receiver in 04. Yeah. And we still had T.O. and Randy Moss in that era. Sure. But Moosin Muhammad uh, put up better numbers. 11,000 uh, yards, over 11,000 yards receiving for a career. Again, another guy pr pretty close, right? Pretty close. That Hall of Fame were not Mark. Uh, you can't put everybody in the Hall of Fame, but if not, he's in the Hall of Very Good as we he's say here in the break player. room. Remembered. Remembered yeah. well. Jake DeLome, his quarterback with the Panthers. Yes. They made the Super Bowl, actually. With and him. I think he was on that Bear team that was in the 05 Super Bowl. Or uh, 06 or 07? Yeah, oh, well, oh, I think it was 05, 06, or 06, 07. I think it was 05, 06. Either way, right. that Bear team uh, that played the Colts with Peyton Manning. Uh, you know, Devin Hester had that kick return touchdown. Yeah. Uh, Moosin Muhammad was a dude. Uh, so, nicely done right there. Uh, for Mr. Roderick Igmata. Uh Carolina gear looks clean. Everything oh, Panther yeah. looks clean. Tell you what, the current Carolina Panthers, you know, they could use this guy. Because yeah. they're, they're receiving core, in one word, abysmal. Okay. The only thing worse than their receivers is their offensive line. Yeah. Uh, which is even worse in Carolina. That's funny because we actually pulled some Carolina, that era Carolina gear in the show before with me and Dominic Wesley Walls. Ah, the tight end. Yes, yes. Yeah. I was going to say, I was going to guess Luke Keekley, but Wesley Walls, yeah, former Panther as well. Uh, Bryce Smith says his son is at AM, a m last I saw. Okay. Really? I, yeah. I, I think I didn't know that. Texas cool. A&M, the Aggies. Heck yeah. Uh, one of the best fan bases in college sports. Uh, like the Seattle Seahawks, A&M known for the 12th man, man. Daniel. Yep. Uh, sure. So that's cool, Bryce. I guess it's in the jeans. Is his son also a wide receiver? Wrangler? Talk about jeans. <laughs> ah, I like it, Daniel. 
You're catching on working with me on Fridays. Yeah. I uh, like that's, it. That's a me joke. I do okay. all that kind of stuff. Good, good, good. Uh, so, I mean, receiver, father-son combos, Marvin Harrison Sr., now Marvin Harrison Jr. Yep. Uh, that could be the best combo ever. Tight end combo, Kellen Winslow Sr., Kellen Winslow Jr. One of them played at Mizzou, yep, senior. and one of them killed someone. But that's okay. Yeah, that was on accident. You <laughs> yeah. did it on purpose. Not like Aaron yeah. Hernandez. Yeah. <laughs> uh, so uh, he is, says Bryce Smith. Yes, that's great. Great to hear. Uh, great to hear. Wish him all the best at AM, except for if and when they play Mizzou. Then I hope he, he has the worst game of his life. <laughs> all the great games, except for against Mizzou. Uh, that's, that's my thought on that. Uh, so good job, Roderick. Uh, what are we doing next, Daniel? What are we closest on right now? Uh, we are close on three away in both one and fours. Okay. Four away in the minis. Okay. Uh, Mari Cooper. I actually saw Mari Cooper play in college against Mizzou when I was a student, and he shredded Mizzou. I really? mean, Amari Cooper was uh, one of the best college receivers I've ever seen, former Bolitnikoff Award winner. And what I like about Amari Cooper is he was good in every system, everywhere he played. Browns, uh, Cowboys, Raiders, everywhere he went. Really, really solid, Mr. Amari Cooper. Yes, he was. Moose Muhammad, says Matthew. It's kind of a receiver day today. Muhammad, we have two digs. Two Stefan digs. It's not Stefan and Trayvon, it's just two Steph. Two, yeah, I know. Uh, so it's just kind of funny. I wish it would have happened in the same break. That would have been hilarious. Oh, I've been, I was praying for that the whole time. That would have been so funny. Well, yeah. yeah. I mean, I guess the guy, I always say keep one, trade one. So yeah, yeah. Uh, they're the exact same too. So he probably would try to trade or sell one of them. Probably. You probably don't want two of the exact same keep one. Keep trade one. Uh, so uh, what are we doing next? Uh, again, that Diamond Series. Uh, looking at this graphic. I mean, everything is left. The only one gone is Troy Polamalu. Uh, all of these photoed headliners still in play. Chrome Flex, Mike Evans, Bo Jackson. Salute to Service Flex. And that Metcalf is a flex too. And so is the Ray Lewis is a Hydro Flex. So we have four Speed Flexes in here. And then we have a dual sign Dak and CD. And we have a Randy Moss. Uh, Randy Moss autographed authentic helmets. Retail for about $999 on Fanatics.com. We're talking about about a $1,000 value on just a Randy Moss normal authentic. Not a Speed Flex, not a Hydro Speed Flex, not a Chrome Speed Flex. Just a regular uh, One of the most expensive autographs in the game, and rightfully so. Straight cash homie. Uh, Randy Moss was one of those guys that was unstoppable. He was so fast. Uh, he could jump so high. He was even strong for a skinny guy. Uh, you know, one-on-one, -on -one, you throw the ball up. I don't know if there's any guy I would take over Randy Moss, uh, personally. Uh, Peanut so, Tillman got him once. One time. Really? Even Moss got Mossed one time. Dude. Peanut Tillman ripped the ball out of his hands on a jump ball. It was the most spectacular moment I've seen for me as a Bear fan on defense. I was shocked. Because really? Randy Moss was so good. And Peanut Tillman got him once. I'm willing to bet that Randy Moss got him more than once. We'll see. Uh, he got a lot of guys, uh, Randy Moss. So feeling like a receiver kind of day. Uh, so a lot of great receivers. Uh, we have Moss in here, Mike Evans, DK Metcalf. Uh, we have a Dak and CD dual signed. Uh, but maybe the best receiver lit in the room uh, is maybe the best receiver in the league, Justin Jefferson. Uh, number one all-time receiving yards per game. Uh, three years in, no one's had a better better start to their career than Justin Jefferson. Uh, look at that. Half LSU, half Minnesota Viking lid with the visor. And you can get that for $126 in this break room. That thing is worth more than 10 times that. And not only can you get it for $126, uh, you have a one in four chance to win that break. Sure. And if you don't win Justin Jefferson... You can win so many other big names like Marty Brodeur, like Cal Ripken, like Giannis, like Kit Harrington, Randy Johnson. Now we have Garnett and Mark McGuire. I mean, look at these secondary headliners in the one and four, Daniel. Uh, we got Tom Glavin, one of the best lefty pitchers ever. We got Beast Mode, Marshawn Lynch. 
It does come with Skittles, to clarify. <laughs> uh, there will be some Skittles in there. Dr. J. Yep, yep. Uh, we got Saquon in here as well. Uh, so I think we yeah, Saquon is still out there. Dr. J still out there. Marshawn Lynch, Glavin. Uh, we do have a Vlad Jr. Uh, speaking of father-son combos, uh, both of those guys, man, they could hit for power, hit for average, uh, good fielders. Uh, talking about a father, father-son Hall of Fame duo, Unless he gets hurt, Vlad Jr. on the fast track to the Hall of Fame, yes, he is. just like his dad. Toronto, you know, they look, they're looking good next year. We'll yeah, see they, they got a squad. Uh, minis are four to go, like we said. Amari Cooper still lurking. Jerseys are coming up, two to go. Uh, we do have the biggest headliner left in that series. Uh, of course, uh, that would be Christian McCaffrey. Uh, DeAndre Swift still lurking, uh, as is uh, my favorite player as a kid, Brian Erlacher, second favorite. It was Devin Hester, then Erlacher for me as a kid, and Peyton Manning as well. Really? Uh, but Bayer players, I was a Erlacher, Hester, Peanut Tillman, Mike Brown. Those were the guys I liked as wow. a kid. Mike Brown. That's he was cool. great, great oh, safety. I like Mike Brown, yeah. He was so good. Uh, just fantastic. I liked uh, Thomas, uh, the running back. Um, what was his first name? Thomas Jones. Thomas Jones. Thomas yeah, Thomas, Thomas Jones, Jones was good. Jones. Number 20. Yeah. He was a bear and a chief. And a Thomas chief. Jones, yeah. Sure. Uh, he was uh, pre- He was the starter, but, you know, Cedric Benson got some carries on that team. Yeah, that went to the Super Bowl. And then Thomas Jones also played with Jamal Charles in Kansas City. He did. So part of a couple good backfields. Uh, so, guys, who are we, what are we knocking out? Jerseys look like next. Maybe one in four. Maybe diamonds coming up. Uh, let's get these orders done. Now, the diamonds are the chase wheel spin. The people in the diamond double get their name in times two on that chase wheel spin, Daniel. Times two. Uh, so that is excellent, excellent stuff. Uh, so Frank Fontana, I think, just closed the jerseys, right? Oh, uh, yes, he did. Frank, all right, jerseys are closed up. Uh, jersey... Single number four. Go ahead and drop me a box number. Is that all the jerseys left right there, Daniel? Uh, One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Sixteen jerseys left, I think I'm seeing. I believe so. Uh, so that's it. Uh, we could clear all these out tonight and see that McCaffrey, see that Erlacher, and plenty, plenty more. And what I like about Erlacher so much... Uh, he's a guy that was really good in that era back then. He might be even better in today's era because he was that linebacker that could cover the running back. Very well. He could cover the tight end. He would fit in well in today's game. Yeah, he definitely Pro- could. Probably one of the few running backs he couldn't cover is actually Christian McCaffrey. Yeah. Uh, I mean, no one can cover him. Uh, he's let's be hard. real. Uh, he's tough. Uh, actually, it's uh, the fifth jersey, excuse me, number five, uh, but still same deal. Uh, let me know on a box number. Mark Stoner, Roger Agmata, Valerie Van Der East, Chat Williams, Matthew Bennett, Dustin Rose, and Frank Fontana. Uh, so let me know, guys. A box number for Feed Me the Rock number five. They're just cruising. That makes sense. Headliner board says 21 jerseys left, five down, 16 to go. So what do we got on a number here for the jerseys? And the diamonds stalled a little bit, right? Come on, guys. I know, right? Uh, those were hot early. Uh, I mean, uh, we got a guaranteed headliner in one of the boxes, secondary headliner DJ Moore, and you can pair him up with a couple Vikings, Moss and Peterson potentially, Good. and the other double. Or you could just get one Mike Evans, one Bo Jackson, one Ray Lewis, one DK Metcalf. I mean, those are flexes. Some yeah. of them hydro flexes. Some of them chrome flexes. As I call them, four-digit helmets over $1,000 easy. Yep. Some could go for double that potentially, depending on where you look, who posts it, how patient they are to sell it. Uh, for 174 bucks, that is a bargain. And for the right for the right person, somebody who's a fan of that team, they could really want that. You know. Yeah, where's Blake Miller at? Where is oh, Mel Murdoch at? Big Miller. Uh, those are Buck fans for the Mike Evans. I love the Chrome Flex series. Uh, yeah, they're sick. All right, I guess no box number. We'll go to the wheel. 
Uh, the wheel will pick our box number for the jersey break. I give these guys usually about a minute or two. If no one's calling a number after that, uh, we go straight to the wheel. Uh, so let's do 34. We don't. Have, it's out only out of 30. I think 30 is the closest one to 34. Yep. So we'll do 30 here in the jerseys. Thank you, thank you, Daniel. And let's see. Is it time for C? M. C. C. Uh, that'd be nice. It's a very simple nickname, right? Christian McCaffrey, CMC. Uh, just very simple. I like it. Run CMC. Uh, run CMC, right? Uh, Roderick. Uh-oh, Roderick Agmata. You know who Roderick reps? Who is he? Oh, the Raiders? The Niners. Oh, the Niners. That's Guess right. Guess what division he has? The West. The NFC West. Yes, he does. Roderick's heart is beating right now. Says, please, 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 Common, show me the CMC. Uh, we got ourselves Valerie Vander East, uh, Val in the NFC North, Mark Stoner, NFC South, Frank Fontana, NFC East. What a great name. Frank Fontana. Fontana. I love that name. Uh, Roderick, NFC West, Matthew, at AFC North, Valerie, AFC South, Dustin, AFC East, and Chat Williams in the AFC West. 30 of 30. Here's one of my favorite looking autographs in the history of sports memorabilia. I like big things, right? Yep. How about a big autograph? Bernie Kozar. Take up that hole number nine right there on the Whoa. jersey. Uh, former Pro Bowl quarterback for the Browns. And it was a backup for the, Brown, for the Cowboys at one point as well. Uh, that's the AFC North. Uh, Matthew Bennett with another jersey win on the Bernie Kozar. Yeah, 87, often third in the league in Offensive Player of the Year. Uh, Pro Bowler that year as well. Yeah, Bernie had a great career. I believe, did he go to a Super Bowl? Uh, he was a, I think he was a backup. You may look up his playing career. I think he was a backup one of Aikman's Super Bowl wins. Yeah, yes, he, he was, was a starter for, sure. for the Browns, yes. then a backup for Dallas. What, what years did he play in Dallas? Uh, you got it pulled up. Oh, he, he won Super Bowl with Dallas, but he played in Dallas from 93 to 94. So only one year, but I think they won it that year, I right? think so. In 93, yes. I think so. Uh, he was another one of those Miami Hurricane quarterbacks. Oh, yeah. So many of them. Vinny Testaverde, yeah, Bernie Kozar really back in the day. Too. Yeah, do you know Toretta was a... Miami Hurricane quarterback. I know he didn't do as much in the NFL necessarily, Gino, but there was a nice little uh, fraternity of those guys in that era, uh, the you guys playing quarterback in the NFL. Oh, yeah. Love it. Thanks, guys, says Matthew. You're welcome, Matthew. Thanks, man. Thanks so much for playing. Michael says, congrats, Matthew. One brother to another. He's like, uh, I'm not the only Bennett that wins in here. Matthew wins as well. Oh, yeah. Uh, they're the tag team guys. They're like the Undertaker and Kane, who are brothers in the WWE. Yes. Yeah, uh, they're both. They're both really, really monstrous. Best brother combos in sports. What do you think? Just off the top of your head. I mean, we have the like that are in the league simultaneously. Yes, and they could be across sports too. I guess. Oh, I, think, I mean, well, I know we have Seth and Steph in the NBA Seth right now. Seth and Steph. Uh, Heinrich, uh, Heinrich and Daniel Sedin. Yeah, this high going hockey on me. Yeah, yeah uh, there you uh, go. The Je uh, the Felino brothers in hockey. The Molinas in baseball. Molinas in baseball. Uh, I mean, we have the Thompsons baseball, basketball. The Hazards. Yeah, soccer. Oregon and um, yeah, and, and Eden. I mean, the Hollands. I think the Hollands brother plays too. He does, but so, he, but he's or, not like as big of a star. Um, and Mbappe's brother playing too, young uh, guy. Boateng. Prince Emmerich yes. and and him um, and, the, and, and I mean football Bosa brothers. Bosa brothers and I'll give Kelsey. you the best one the Watt brothers the Kelsey brothers too actually yeah, Kelsey, but, well, uh, but TJ Jason's and gone. JJ I know Jason might be retiring but iconic career TJ and JJ though oh my gosh yeah. those guys are nuts uh, yeah those are some good brother combos uh, that's for sure the Barbers Tiki and Rondi oh, we pulled, Rondi we they're Tiki twins today. yeah twins uh, for sure, that's another good uh, brother combo. Uh, we get both of those guys in the room quite a bit. Yes. So good get there, Matthew, on Bernie Kozar. And let's keep rocking, guys. Let's keep rolling. Keep those breaks humming here at UA. Martin and Bill Grammatica. K. 
kickers. Yeah. Yes. Uh, I remember uh, that Gramatica one. got injured celebrating a kick. I remember that. It was iconic. Yeah. Uh, like that's that. nice. He's a former Buck and Cardinal kicker. Yeah, I think Buck Martin. and his best years. Martin. Yes. Yeah. That's a good one. He's Anders a- Carlson and Daniel Carlson. Daniel okay. Kickers, yeah. yeah, there you go. I think for me it's got to be the Watts, though. The Watts are. With how yeah. dominant they are. Or the Kelsies. The Kelsies. The Kelsies are big. Really, really dominant, both of them. I mean. The Sharps. Yeah, that's yeah, a good one. Sharps. But uh, no, so the Watts are probably your best bet. The say. McCordy twins, Sashawn Blasco. Yeah, that's yeah. a good one. Um, I also like the father son combos. Yeah. The Bonds, the Griffies. Griffies, Bonds. Um, uh, so. Harrison Jr. and Harrison Sr. Yeah, Marvin. Um, uh, I like when the families are all pros. I mean, Seth and, uh, uh, Seth and Steph Curry, their dad, Dale Curry. Good NBA player for a long time. Oh, yeah. Uh, Charlotte was, Hornets. He was, was a three of marksman from deep. Uh, so, I mean, he's the one that taught him how to shoot, right? Well, you'd have to think, right? Uh, you would have to think. I knew a thing or two about shooting that basketball. Looks like the jersey chase is on, and it's definitely not stopping until McCaffrey comes out because I'm seeing no, two imagine. spots to go in the next one. This is true. Uh, why don't we try this, Daniel? We can still leave a single up. Uh, but these guys are hungry. They're entering so quickly. If they don't want to play the double, they don't have to. But let's put up a double in the jersey, too. I want to get that McCaffrey done ASAP. Oh, a, a double Let's do a jersey. double in the jersey. Yeah, we'll keep the single up. It's not going anywhere. We're not forcing anybody to buy in a double. You don't have to if you don't want to. Uh, but we'll put it up there as an option. Uh, so, And if the McCaffrey gets pulled, we can probably take the double down. But... At least until CMC is still lurking, uh, definitely could be a good one uh, to have. Uh, we have only 15 jerseys left, looks like. I know we have Erlacher, Swift, and McCaffrey. There is Xavier Howard, uh, Chubba Hubbard as well, and Mercury Morris as secondary headliners left in those jerseys. Uh, so Bob Boulay has entered the fray. Uh, Bobby B in those jerseys. Thank you, Bob. Uh, three to go on the one and four, by the way. Three to go on each. The one and four single and the one and four double. So keep it rocking, guys. Uh, let's see what we're going to rock and roll with next. After the jerseys, which is obviously now one to go. That could be uh, next for sure. I like this jersey series because we had some guys we haven't seen before. Raheem Mostert, we had him in the last mini series, and now in the jerseys, uh, Mostert, the NFL leader in rushing touchdowns this season. Oh yeah, uh, we did pull that Mostert in the jerseys, but uh, that's a nice looking one as well. I'm uh, getting some fresh names in the break room. Uh, certified fresh, uh, some of these hits lately. And then I think you just put it as ten spots, and oh. you just put it as eight. Yeah, but otherwise, I do see it. Thank you, Daniel. Gotcha. And live break one. That's good, the way you have that. Yeah. I think you probably need to create a sheet in the other one as well. But good job, sir. Uh, that jersey is up as a double box break as well, guys. In case you want to tackle that double. Um, gives yourself some shots to get. Uh, two shots, actually, for a CMC. Should you get the NFC West. Uh, but first, we'll get that single done. Cause it just sold out actually That's excellent good. good job guys uh thank you for knocking out the jerseys don't forget the diamond helmets uh where we have all the photo headliners minus polamalu still left jersey single number six already go ahead and drop me a box number and get those spots in that double if you guys want it it is active uh, don't risk it that CMC is in this one or not in this one, right? Right. Uh, Michael Bennett was first with six. John was right behind him with 27. I did have Michael's coming in just before John. Uh, we will do box six in the jerseys. Thank you guys on the box calls and participating in these jerseys. Feed me the rock. 
it's interesting that we have all these like stereotypes of receivers saying they want the ball. Yeah. Uh, I'm willing to bet there's been some running backs that have said the same thing, right? Oh, well, yeah, of yeah. course. Yeah. Give me the ball, baby. Feed me. AP, certainly. Uh, Adrian Peterson. All day. Another guy that was a headliner in this series that we pulled. We do have all day Adrian Peterson in the diamonds mm -hmm. on that beautiful Speed Authentic for Minnesota. Uh, nine clicks. Bob's got the NFC North. I think Michael Bennett's got the rest of the NFC, which would be CMC. Uh, then we got Michael in the AFC North as well. John AFC South. Is that Rudy from uh, the movie Rudy who was here in the break room? No, I think it's a different Rudy. I'm not sure, Daniel. But there is a Rudy in the break room, and he's a great underdog story, I'm sure. Oh, I'm sure. Uh, Michael Bersini as well, AFC West. Uh, box six in the jerseys when you get a second. How about this? Box six in break six. If we have a number, a player who's number six, uh, we're seeing the devil all of a sudden. Six, 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 Daniel. Uh, that would be tough. LeBron James. LeBron James. Uh, Xavi Hernandez. There we go. Him and Iniesta used to swap numbers, Barcelona and Spain. Really? Uh, so Xavi was six on Barca and eight on Spain, and Iniesta was the other way around. His best years were before I, was in my, before I started watching. Oh, he was so good. He was so good. I heard he was great. Uh, so, well, we got ourselves, talk about an underdog story. Uh, this guy was an underdog in several Super Bowls. Uh, help lead the Buffalo Bill franchise to four straight. It's Coach Levy, the Hall of Famer Marv Levy. A Hall of Fame 01 inscription. It is Rudy. Rudy, oh, yeah. the AFC East. Hey. Rudy. Yeah. Uh, you've got Coach Marv Levy. On the white custom jersey. He coached Thurman Thomas, who we pulled earlier. Uh, we do get a lot of uh, Jim Kelly in the break room. Coach Jim Kelly as well. Uh, so nice looking jersey right there on Coach Levy. All right, Rudy. Uh, good get, man. Uh, good get right there. Marv Levy. We'll put this one away. And a lot of bills today. I don't know what to think. Uh, you know, is it, you know, leading up to the Bills winning this weekend, or is it the opposite? The Bill moment's happening now, and none of them are going to happen this Sunday. I'm hoping for the latter as a KC guy. We'll what do you think about that game? Chiefs-Bills, the toughest game to pick. Uh, definitely could go either way, Daniel. What it do you think? Could, could go either way. Um, I'd like to say uh, Bills are playing at such a high level right now. Okay. And they're at home. I would say the Bills probably by about three. Okay, that's the betting line. I would say Bills, the Bills minus three. three. I would say it's about three. Yeah, I've got the Chiefs personally because in the playoffs, they're a different level. I know Buffalo got them the regular season. I know Casey's offense not quite as great, but their defense is better than ever. I think it's going to be 3-0 and for Mahomes head-to-head -head against Allen in the postseason. Uh, but definitely it's going to be a very, very great game, a close game. One that I'm super pumped for. I think it's a 5.30 kickoff on Sunday. Uh, Going to be epic, to say the least. Oh, yeah. uh, my pick for the Super Bowl, actually, Daniel, it's not the Chiefs. Niners. It's not the Ravens. It's the Chiefs. Yeah, you told me that. But it's the winner of this game, though. If Buffalo wins this game, I'm picking Buffalo to win the whole thing. Really? Uh, that's, that's my pick. Winner of this game. The two best quarterbacks left for me are Mahomes and Allen. I'm a quarterback guy. Give me the top quarterbacks to win the Super Bowl. Uh, that's what I'm thinking. Uh, but we'll see. Uh, we'll see. Uh, definitely a pretty wide open playoff race. Uh, the Niners do scare me with all that talent. I just think Brock Purdy, not quite as good as some of the other possible quarterbacks he'll face in the Super Bowl. Uh, so what are we doing next here? We got ourselves uh, one spot taken in that double in the jerseys. The single's still wide open, yes. uh, so keep that rocking and rolling, and still three to go in each of the one and four series. Uh, so, I don't know, this Jefferson lid, man, I don't know how many times I have to show it off, but as a Bear fan, we're talking about your Packers, we're talking about that awesome run the Lions are on, I think I told you this off air, but I'm kind of scared at the NFC North. 
It used to be kind of a laughing stock a couple years ago. But you look at how good Detroit is now, how young they are. Yeah. The Green Bay Packers, the youngest team in the league. And then I look at uh, Justin Jefferson now paired with Jordan Addison and an improving defense with the Vikings. I mean, whether they get Kirk Cousins back, whether they go with someone else, whoever they go with is going to be much better than Mullins or you know all these other guys they've been starting this year. True. I'm a little I'm a little scared as a Bear fan at how good the NFC North has become. And the best player of the NFC North, the king of the North, is Justin Jefferson. You did? Uh, we do have Kit Harrington, king of the North, Jon Snow. Uh, but this Jay Jettas lid is king in the break room, right? King in the break room. Heck yeah. King of the North. Uh, that thing is nuts. Uh, king of the North in the basketball world, the northern side of basketball. Yeah. It's definitely Giannis. Milwaukee, baby. Uh, Giannis Antetokounmpo autographed basketball. Uh, we do have ourselves Randy Johnson on the Seattle Mariner uh, batting helmet. He was a great pitcher for the Mariners, the Yankees, the D-backs. Everywhere he went, nobody wanted to face him. Uh, the Iron Man, Cal Ripken, still left. Big Mac, Mark McGuire. A lot of good baseball hits for the baseball guys oh, yeah. in that one and four. Uh, Marty Brodeur, uh, Devil legend, one of the best goalies, if not the best goaltender in hockey history. I know we pulled Patrick Mahomes, the Peyton Manning and Wilson dual signed, but there's a lot of headliners left in this series. Oh, yeah. Uh, so definitely one I strongly recommend. Uh, come and get that one in four. Three spots to go. Uh, three spots to go in the double. Three spots to go in the single. Uh, let's definitely get that one in four uh, out of the room. And then the Diamonds... Uh, we haven't really had a DAC and CD dual signed. I don't think I've ever seen that. Uh, so that's pretty cool. Randy Moss, one of the best wideouts of all time. I think for me, the most talented receiver ever. Uh, it's tough to argue against Rice's longevity, uh, but the talent of Randy Moss, kind of unparalleled. Really, like he was so good. Well, if you want to make, if you're gonna make that argument, yeah, then you probably should make the Rodgers Brady argument then. Oh, yeah, Rodgers is probably more talented. More, that's what I'm saying. Although I think Mahomes is more talented than Rodgers. Uh, but, I mean, Debatable. those are probably the top two for me. And, honestly, Josh Allen. I know he throws the picks, but just pure talent. Uh, he's up there with those guys, too. He is oh, a phenomenon, I Josh love, Allen. I love Josh Allen. Yeah, he is so, so good. Uh, so, uh, my girlfriend and I are beefing this weekend because uh, she had Josh Allen in fantasy. Yeah. Uh, he was the number one fantasy quarterback. Her brother looks like Josh Allen, and I don't know who she's going to cheer for in the game. Because, you know, I'm all Chiefs, but she feels conflicted this weekend, Daniel. Really? So we might have some fights going on Sunday. <laughs> uh, I might be sleeping on the couch, I'll say that. We'll see. Uh, so I hope I hope not. Uh, I hopefully hope not. not. I hope not for your sake. Yes. Uh, so got that Bo Jackson, that Mike Evans, that Ray Lewis, the Metcalf is a speed flex. We got four flexes in this series. Four speed flexes. All the ones in the middle are speed flexes, and they're all out there. Uh, so definitely recommend this one. Uh, we have ourselves the NFL's all-time tackle leader, Ray Lewis. Yeah. Uh, he's a guy that knew a thing or two about playoff wins. When he said he's going to retire, he inspired the whole team. I know we talk about Flacco winning a Super Bowl, but Flacco won it on the back of Ray Lewis. Uh, he uh... was such a difference maker such an inspiration i know flacco had an iconic playoff run uh one of the best of all time but ray lewis man uh when this guy said i'm retiring i was like ravens got this because it's ray lewis jones had a great playoff that year he had a return in the super bowl didn't he yes he did Jacoby yeah. jones had a great playoff that, year. that was the harbaugh bowl the harbaugh bowl yeah that was nuts i think the lights went out that super bowl yes they did uh that was my senior year of college uh, I was at Mizzou watching that Super Bowl. It was definitely a pretty good one. That's what a lot of people are picking, by the way. Ravens and Niners. Oh, yeah. Uh, I would got say that's that. the majority. I mean, they're uh, one, two, one seeds. Yeah, that's what we had the two one seeds last year, Chiefs and Eagles. Yep. Uh, but I don't know. I think – I know for a fact Lamar has one playoff win. I think Brock Purdy also has one playoff win. I think he played in one playoff game last year. Uh, so I, I don't know. I want to see how those guys deliver in the clutch moments, Daniel. We'll see. I'm a Patty Mahomes guy uh, who's got the most touchdowns per game in playoff history. 
a guy that delivers on the big stage. Uh, that's why I'm picking him. The only guy that's actually won a Super Bowl that's left in these playoffs. Uh, so, and the only other guy to make a Super Bowl actually is Jared Goff. Yes. Not Lamar, not Josh Allen. It's Jared Goff. Then I saw a crazy Baker Mayfield stat. It was something like five quarterbacks ever have won a playoff game with two different franchises. It was like Montana, Brady, Manning. There was one other guy, and then it was Baker Mayfield. Really? It was like, who doesn't belong on this list? It was one of those type of lists. <laughs> uh, so, Well, our one and four, number three, is ready to go. Let's go. Is that the single? That's the single. All right. Did Michael close it up? Uh, I No, Scapetta did. Dan the Man Scapetta. Uh, one and four, single number three. Uh, drop me a box number. A lot gets hot here. Two to go in that double, three to go now in the diamond double, three to go now in the jersey double. The break room is heating up. I got the Burr Ridge Fire Department on standby. Uh, they are ready. Ah, I figures why the diamonds are moving. Mel Murdoch says, I want that Mike Evans chrome flex. Yes, yes. Uh, the two best receivers left in the playoffs. Probably Stefan Diggs right here and Michael Bennett. Yeah. Or I'm not Michael Bennett. Mike Mike Evans. I'm looking at Michael Bennett's number. <laughs> he wants 13. Thank you, Michael. Maybe I'm thinking of Mike Evans, who's also number, number 13. 13. Uh, so thank you, Michael. We'll go with 13 in the one and four. Yep. Oh, boy. Oh, boy. Patrick Woods is in here. Yes, he is. Uh, this guy's won like four speed flexes the last two days. I did not know that. Uh, he's on fire in the break room. He got the Mahomes in this series. And then last night, he got himself a couple flexes. Uh, was it the Herbert sick one or the Emmett Smith one that he won? Then he did get a Brett Favre speed flex as well. Uh, so wow. Patrick Woods is just, uh, the man is on a heater, as they say in the break room right now. Absolute heater. Uh, we'll go nine times here, guys, for our spots in the one and four. Good luck, good luck, good luck. Uh, let's see some fire. We know we'll see fire in this series. Oh, yeah. I mean, the one and four in the diamonds, it's like every name is big. Uh, only difference about the one and four is that we don't know what sport, what entertainment, what item it's on, but it's going to be a well-recognizable name. It's not going to be a filler fit hit. No. All due respect to Bernie Kozar, great player. Yeah. You're not going to see a name like Bernie Kozar in the and Diamonds the Diamond or the 1-4. One and four. Four. Never. Uh, you'll never see a name like that. It's the top of the line for the four best sports. Yeah, exactly. Or for the three best sports in America plus everything else. Yes. Uh, Emmett Smith says Patrick. Yeah, that Emmett Smith helmet. I'm just, I'm just still lost for words. It might be the coolest helmet I've seen in two and a half years working here, Daniel. What did it look like? It was a ripped... Half Florida, half cowboy helmet, but it had him like standing up there with the football, raising his hands. It was like an engraved, drawn, like replica of of him on both sides of the helmet. What? Uh, it also had his entire resume on the helmet: the Super Bowl MVP, How Super Bowl shit? champion, league MVP. Where did he sign? <laughs> <laughs> on the top, where it was on the flex part of it. Really? Okay. And it had a visor. That's crazy. Uh, my opinion, Patrick. The coolest helmet I've seen, of course, when you get with these hydro flexes, these custom rip flexes, these chrome flexes, it is a personal preference thing. But for me, that was the most unique lid I've ever seen. A one of one Emmett Smith we pulled last night. Oh, yeah. Uh, good job, Patrick. 13 coming up next. 13 of 40 and a one and four. Uh, what do we got here? Lucky number 13 for somebody, maybe? I mean, this is a absolute fire series. We know that much. Oh, I've never seen this in the break room either. I mean, this series, you see stuff you've never seen. Yeah. Now, how about Steve Aoki on Whoa. the Funko Pop? That's cool. Uh, something different, Daniel. Look at this one. Yeah. Uh, everything else spot. Uh, that is Michael Bennett. Congrats, Michael, on Steve Aoki. Hey, Steve Aoki. One of the best remixes of one of the songs of my childhood, Pursuit of Happiness, by... Uh, whose name's escaping me right now? Who is that by? 
I don't know. You're looking for music. Oh, yeah, you're right. Here's uh, music. His name is... Um, Kid Cudi, sorry. Remix that. He also played the halftime of the Seahawks game on Thanksgiving this year. Okay. Uh, he's known for throwing pie, having people throw pies in his face. Yeah, I at, know exactly who this guy is. At yeah. The, uh, at, at shows. i never seen him at Lollapalooza, but I know he played one year. He also played one year at um, North Coast. Okay. I like to see him sometime, though. I love, I, I'm not a huge EDM fan, but I like it enough. Uh, he's definitely a legend of the game. Uh, he's been around since I've been since about 2010, 2009, maybe even as early as 2007. Uh, and he's still going in the game today. I love Steve. Uh, he's been around in the break room since January 19th, 2024, That's at 8:05 p.m. Central Time. I still told you guys this series. You'll get stuff you've never seen before. I've never seen this in the break room, Daniel. Uh, to, uh, I, uh, I, I did nice not kid, Michael Bennett. I thought you were gonna say like some actor, and then yeah. Steve, you know, remember what I was saying. We, do we ever get music in the break room? And Steve Aoki showed up. We get it. Uh, we, we do get it. Uh, we get everything in the break room, especially in the one in four. Uh, this series is one uh, that is, in one word, unique. Unique. Steve Aoki. Yeah, I didn't I didn't think I'd wake up pulling that one today. No. Uh, that's for sure. What was the odds of that? I knew we would pull Stefan Diggs because I knew he was in both series. And yeah. I knew we would close out that Diamond series. But this one... A little bit surprising. Well, we didn't close it out yet, but yeah. Yeah. We're, we're, one, we're one box two away. away. Yeah, two spots away two to close it. Two spots to go in that diamond double. Two spots to go in the jersey. Only one spot to go in the one and four double. Double the boxes. Double the fun, folks. Let's go, let's go, let's go. Uh, a lot of good one and four double ups uh, for the baseball fans. Although that Jetta's... We do have Saquon Barkley uh, and Marshawn Lynch as secondary headliners. You can double up with Jay Jettas. You can double up in the uh, basketball spot, Giannis and KG. Uh, obviously, in the baseball spot, Cal Ripken, Randy Johnson, Mark McGuire, double ups. Uh, so, a lot of good options. Everything else, Marty Brodeur and Kit Harrington, Jon Snow, the King of the North. If you double up, in the one and four in baseball yeah. with Glavin and the big unit, Randy Johnson. Two of the best lefty pitchers. You will have the two last 300 game winners. Yeah. Last two games. And I don't know if we'll ever see one again. What? Uh, probably never. Really? Seriously? Yeah, that's, uh, no, that's something that probably will never uh, happen. Because, you know, now we have all these bullpen pitchers. You know, we have the five-man rotation, but some teams do the four-man rotation. Then they have the bullpen pitcher. The rest are starters late in the season. Yep. Uh, yeah, I don't know if we'll see it again. I think Clayton Kershaw, how many does he have? I'll look it up right now. I think probably, he's got 200-something. Probably 240-something. Because he's the one guy that could get there, Clayton Kershaw. Uh, he's got 210. Uh, you... Man, that's going to be tough. Uh, he's getting old. He's had some injuries. Yeah, I don't think I so. I don't know. Clayton Kershaw might be the best pitcher of this generation. And he's probably not going to get the 300, Daniel. I know. It's, it's, uh, it's, I mean, he's, how old is he? Clayton Kershaw, 210 wins. Yeah, 35, he's not going to get the 300. I mean, maybe he had, if, if he wants to get the 300, what he would have to do is, is keep change playing. up his style. Well, play and, into his 40s. That's what we have to do. <laughs> but change up his style as in not throwing as hard, more relying on his off speed pitches. More like that, like it's Seaver. He's got a pretty thing. good curveball. He does. Uh, he's got a pretty good curveball. Uh, so nice hit, says Ryan Alberta. Uh, nice hit indeed. I think we're sold out, Daniel. Yeah, it's, all, it's ready to go. One it's four ready double. to go. One and four double. Thank you, sir. Patrick, Ryan, Michael, uh, and Michael. Michael Nell is in here. Michael Bennett as well. Uh, excellent. So this is our is this our second or first double? First, so first one double. and four double. We've okay. done three singles. Okay. So. And I told you off air, this is going to be hot tonight. Uh, the one yeah. and four. It's, yeah. it's it hasn't been as hot as the jerseys, but it's been pretty hot. Yeah, well, the jerseys, it's twenty six bucks. It's also McCaffrey. It, it, it's McCaffrey, but I had a feeling this one and four would heat up tonight. Certainly is. Uh, Michael wants the Brett Favre and Jerome Bettis boxes. Uh, so, all right, Michael, we'll get four off the ticker, and we'll get thirty six off the ticker as well. Thank you, thank you, sir. Uh, for the one and four. Two boxes. I love the double box breaks. 
I'm a sucker for a good double, Daniel. Double the boxes. Double the fun, baby. Oh, yeah. Uh, makes it so much fun. Especially when you can win two items with just one spot. Uh, that's when it gets really fun. All right. Six, seven, eight, and nine clicks. Uh, Ryan Alberta's got the football spot up top. Uh, the basketball spot, that would be Patrick Woods. Michael Bennett, the baseball spot, which probably has the most headliners right now. And Michael Nell in the everything else spot. Uh, so we got four and 36, Daniel, on the one and four boxies. Uh, good luck, guys. Uh, let's see if we got some headliners here in the one and four. Uh, Diggs is a great player. Very rarely does a guy like Stefan Diggs uh, end up being the top hit of the show. I think he's going to get replaced tonight. I really do. He might make the hit video, but I don't think he's going to be the top hit of the show. Especially if these custom lids start coming out like uh, Justin Mike Jefferson. Evans. Mike Evans. Uh, that diamond is, what, two to go, I think? I know we're close. I know we're real close on that diamond break. Which is fan. Fantastic here. All right. Okay. Let's see here. Ah, this is this is one of my childhood heroes. I mean, everybody loves a winner, right? Everybody loves someone who's clutch. How about Big Shot Bob, Robert Ori, Three. the seven-time champion, put it there on the basketball. Uh, one with the Lakers, the Spurs, the Rockets. You know, look at his stats. You're not really amazed, but then you look at how many clutch shots he hit. My favorite Robert Horry shot uh, was the Lakers against the Kings. I was a Laker fan at the time. Uh, they were down, I think it was 2-1 in the series. Or was it, maybe it was 3-1. It was like, I think they were down, down in the series. They were at home. Uh, Shaq and Kobe both miss. Kobe drives to the bucket, misses. Shaq rebounds, misses. Vladi Divac tips the ball out, thinking that he's going to hit it out. The clock's going to run out. Goes right to Robert Ori. He swishes home a three. They win by one at the buzzer. Uh, that evened up the series at the time. Lakers went on to win in seven games. Went on to win the finals. Uh, this is who this guy was. Uh, Rockets, you know, Spurs, so many huge shots. Robert Ory, uh, that's the NBA. That is Patrick Woods, Big Shot Bob. Very yeah. cool. Big Shot Bob, man. Let me look this up, what game this was, because now I'm curious. I think it was game game six of that. That's the one where Kobe hit Mike Bibby in the face. Yeah, yeah. let's see. Robert I'm a Kings fan, did you know that? I did not, so you probably hated that moment. Yeah, I did. Uh, so... It was 99-97. I'm looking at the video. Kobe drives. Shaq misses. Out to Ori. Bam. Three at the buzzer. Bang. No, he, uh, was a, he was very clutch, Robert Ori. There's no doubt about that. Let's see. And we're a game. Was it game six? I think it was game six. Let's see. They overcame a 24-point deficit in that game. Yeah. Well, wow, that is nuts. I was at the Kings game last night. Says Adam, it was awful, he says. So I'm guessing yeah, Adam is also dude. a big fan. Adam, that was ridiculous, man. That ref, oh, that's the, the ref who got it. in trouble for betting on sports? Yeah, that's what I'm yeah, trying to tell you. That's the guy? Okay. Yeah, that 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 game, I don't want to say anything I can't back up, but sure. I'll never, I will I will not acknowledge what, that. Oh, that was game four, by the way. That game four? It was game four. That's, that's, what, I, that's what I thought, 2-1. Two, one. Two, one. Uh, it was game four, but it would have been, it went 2-2. Two, two. Would have been 3-1 three, three, Kings. Kings yeah, exactly. Coming back from 3-1 is tough. I'm looking at the box score of that game. Robert already had 18 points in that game. It's good. That's put good. up some big points in that yeah. one for sure. It's not about how many points is where you put up the points. Yeah, put them up in the clutch clutch moment. Uh, so, that's nice. Uh, nice looking basketball, something different, Patrick. Robert Ori. Yeah, everybody needs that clutch guy. You know, how do you win championships? your role players step up. True. He was a great role player at the right moments uh, for so, such a long time, Robert Ory. 
Uh, Brandon Reese, that is Robert Ory, one of the most clutch basketball players ever. Seven-time NBA champion. Uh, Laker, Rocket, Spur, uh, one with all those franchises. Big Shot Bob, the nickname. A little blast from the past. I didn't know you were a King fan. Yeah, Patrick Woods won a basketball. Yeah. Nice. He wins everything lately. Mm -hmm. and yeah. He is hot in the break room. Robert Ory. Robert Ory. I actually like the Kings too. I know they were rivals with the Lakers. I just like the Lakers because I was a Phil guy. You know, he was the Bulls coach. So I liked Shaq. I liked Kobe in that era. Uh, but I also liked the Kings because they had all the foreign guys. Vladi and Peja. I'm a Bulgarian. They actually the Bulgarian basketball player in the NBA. Uh, Sasha Vesnovic for the Kings. Oh, wow. Uh, he's Bulgarian. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah. I didn't know he was Bulgarian. Exactly. What was Stajakovic? Uh, I think he was Serbian. Serbian? Peja. Yeah, the, uh, ones was, that, the ones that everyone likes, right? Yeah, he was good. Peja was a shooter, that's for sure. Uh, four coming up next. Four of 40 in the one in four double. We actually got Mike Bibby in the room quite a bit. Really? Yeah. We used to have, like, we haven't had him recently, but we... When we had basketball only series, which we'll see at some point, we had Mike Bibby a lot. After he left basketball, he got ripped. He got ripped. ripped. He is ripped. Uh, that was the Kings Championship, says Adam. They were close. That they were it. close. That I think they would have won the finals. Uh, 0 2. Uh, let's see. The last one. That was the last one. That the was the Nets, one. right? That the Lakers beat the Nets? Yes. That's yes. the Nets one. Yeah. yeah, I think the Kings would have beat the Nets. Yeah. They had they the gotten Nets. there. Kid was good, and you know, Richard Jefferson was good, but it yeah. wasn't the same. Yeah, I think they would have definitely knocked them out. Man, you like music? You like entertainment? Uh, you like wrestling? How about Sting, baby? Sting. Look at this one. The Sting Funko Pop. Uh, legend, a beautiful looking Funko right there. Uh, that's Michael now everything else with sting Look at that. I've never seen sting in the break room either Danny. No way. Really? I've only I thought you guys would have gotten sting before because he's you great. know what? I think we had him once now that I think of it, but not often uh, So nice get there Michael Michael, Michael now. Yeah, it's another Michael not Michael Bennett with the sting We only had Robert Ori a handful of times also so again stuff you won't see very often Yeah uh, in that one in four series I also like the Kings because when I worked in Arkansas, I had seen some of the games uh, from Malik Monk. Yeah. And now they have the Bulgarian guy, and uh, so Vesnovic. So Vesnovich. I actually I can get behind the Kings. Oh yeah, yeah. Uh, Adam, uh, that's for sure. One of my favorite Kings player. Uh, well, I like the I, I used to watch the old highlights. So I used to like Jason Williams. Yeah, he was awesome. He was freaking. Uh, he awesome. when I first started, I'm a little bit older than you, obviously. Uh, I was watching him like in the prime of his career. Yeah, he yeah. was awesome to watch. He was white chocolate with the like the elbow passes. Yeah, yeah, that dude was fun. Vladi, big Serbian, he was great. Vladi was a a member of the Lakers when they played the Bulls in MJ's first championship. Yes, he was with Magic. Can you believe uh, so, that? Yeah, it's crazy. He was like a rookie that year, though. He but... played forever. Played a long time. Vladi did. And um, King Weber, of course. Doug See Web. Yeah, those were good players. Uh, we have a jersey double coming up next. Jerseys coming up. Jersey double number one. Drop me two numbers. They had Turkulu too. Hito Turkulu. That's what yeah. I was thinking of. Is he Bulgarian? No, I uh, think I think he's actually is he Turkish. I know he's not. I think Bulgarian. he's Turkish. I'm pretty sure he's Turkish. I think he's Turkish as well. Uh, so Dustin, Christopher, Michael, uh, Dustin, and Mel. Ah, there you go, Adam. That's awesome. Met Mitch Richmond last night. Mitch Richmond? He signed a jersey for my son. What? We're getting Mitch Richmond in the break room sometimes, actually. Really? Really? That's yeah, we do. We've had that run TMC ball uh, of Mitch Richmond as well with the uh, Warriors. And I think Mullen, I think, was on it as well. That's cool. Uh, Mel was ready. He won 16 and 24. Uh, Mel, Mel. I know Mel was hunting that Mike Evans. Uh, you know, this year, Mike Evans tied for the league lead in receiving touchdowns uh, with Tyreek Hill. Had a great year, Mike Evans. Still playing right now. Uh, I'll say I'll say this. I have the Lions winning. Kobe and Montana. Kobe and Montana. Uh, but 
the Bucks have a chance because I don't think Detroit can cover Mike Evans. I really don't. He's pretty uh, tough. He's pretty good. He is very good, and their secondary is not so good. I mean, we saw Lamb expose them. Puka Nakua had a big game. Uh, that's where he can beat the Lions. What if Corey Joseph hits him? Then they could have some serious problems. <laughs> that's true. That is true. <laughs> Uh, so we got ourselves nine clicks here. Uh, Mark Taylor, it's probably easier to just tell you what headliners are left and tell you what was pulled. Erlacher, DeAndre Swift, and Christian McCaffrey still left, Mark Taylor. And secondary, Xavier Howard, Chuba Hubbard, and Mercury Morris. Yes, exactly. Uh, so uh, that's usually easier what's left as opposed to what was pulled. Unless we pulled just like one, yeah, like the diamonds. Only headliner pulled. Then we would just say them all of them except, except yeah. only photoed headliner. Yeah. No, we had a couple secondary guys go, uh, but uh, nine clicks were set up here. Mel Murdoch has that McCaffrey spot. Dustin Rose in the NFC North, NFC South. Michael Bennett NFC East. Uh, Mel in the NFC West and the AFC North. Christopher Taylor AFC South. Michael AFC East and Michael in the AFC West. Feed me the rock. Double box break. 16 first. 24 to follow. To running back. Uh, Triple Hubbard. Hubbard. Another Oklahoma State running back. Uh, solid running back for Carolina. Uh, beautiful jersey. Look at this thing, Daniel. Look at this jersey. Uh, that's the NFC South. Dustin Rose. Yeah, Triple Hubbard. Almost just short of 1,000 yards from scrimmage this year. He had 1135. Um, he's getting better and better. You know, like, a, wait wait till Bryce Young starts to develop and they start getting more weapons around him and Hubbard. I think things can really work out for Carolina someday. Right now they're in a bit of a shamble with some ownership such and, and ownership problems. But I like Carolina. I've always had a little special because they have such nice jerseys, man. He's probably their best player on that offense this last season. 902 yards, like you said. Yep. It's not a very good offense, you know, uh, but he's the one guy that was – Sort of a bright spot. Yeah. Uh, sort of a bright spot for them. Former All-American at Oklahoma State. Yeah. Uh, nice hit there, Dustin Rose. Yeah. Uh, Beckett certified. Again, maybe it's because I'm an Argentina fan for Messi. I like UNC because MJ went there. Uh, but the Carolina blue, Argentina blue, uh, the Panther blue, it doesn't look any better than that. Like, sheer look-wise, I mean, this is probably the nicest-looking jersey we'll pull today. McCaffrey is the best one overall, but look-wise, this is heaven. That is beautiful. Uh, beautiful. Absolutely beautiful. Uh, so, good job, Dustin. We do have one more in this one. Uh, do we have another Panther running back, former Panther McCaffrey? Could be. Uh, that'd be a nice one. That'd be cool to see. Now, when I first started, we used to have McCaffrey on Carolina all the time. He was, like, the most common jersey headliner. We would have him all the time in the jerseys. Uh, another Panther running back this time for Justin Rose. When did you start? Uh, 2021 started here. No, 20, yeah, 2021. 2021. Now he was still, he was still a Panther still at the Carolina time. Still on Carolina at the time, yeah. Yeah, still on Carolina. It, very, it, very tail end. It, it really feels like he's been with the Niners for forever, uh, that's how good he is right now. Only been there for like two years, though. Yeah, no, he's in San been Francisco. Uh, I think of so. him still as new in San Francisco. Yeah, R rather new, you know. It just feels like he's such a staple in that offense. Oh, I know. You know, that's he's such sure. such a great player, Christian McCaffrey. I mean, you could sit here and argue, at least outside of the quarterback spot, I think he's definitely the most important player to a specific team's offense. You know, taking out quarterbacks. I get the quarterbacks matter. Uh, but if I had to pick one player that's not a quarterback that is the most valuable player to a team, I would say it's McCaffrey. Yeah, McCaffrey, and I think that's it's why gotta he deserves be. to be MVP. Yeah, it's the most valuable player. It's not top quarterback, not the quarterback with the most wins. It's the most valuable player. Most valuable player. Uh, but it, it's just it's just not going to happen. It's a quarterback award now, If Daniel. you took out Christian McCaffrey of the San Francisco 49ers offense, would it be more or less devastating than taking out Lamar Jackson from the Baltimore Ravens offense? I think McCaffrey. I really do. Really? Yeah, he's so good. I mean, 
both of those would be, you know, yeah, pretty blows. devastating. Yeah. I'm not saying that the Ravens are, you know, happy by any means. Uh, I guess the only other reason for, if you could argue Lamar, is just because the Ra- the Niners still have a lot of really good guys. But that offense really took the next step yeah. when he got to that team. No, really. Seriously. I think he's helped make Ayuk, uh, you know, better. better. A lot Open better. Open up the, uh, the pass game in the middle with Kittle. Yeah. Yeah. yeah, he's tough. And he's a good receiver, too. Now, here's a former NFL leader in interceptions. One of the best corners in the league. Uh X baby Xavier Howard on the Miami Dolphin jersey. Got to say they missed him a lot against the Kansas City Chiefs. Yes, now he was banged up. It showed Rashi Rice was running free, Travis Kelsey doing whatever he wanted. Uh JSA certified on the Howard jersey. Uh, that is very very clean Michael Bennett. Uh, that is why this season I was really high on the Dolphins going in. I love that they have Hill and Waddle at receiver and Ramsey and Howard at cornerback. Their problem is that Ramsey and Howard barely played together. It was either one of them was injured or the other. Yeah. I know they played together briefly, and guess what happened during they that lost. stretch? They, they played well, actually. Uh, he wasn't there in the Chief game. I thought, it was didn't they play together during the Titans game? No? Maybe. Yeah. But they still look pretty good together. Oh, no. They, like, I mean, that's they're two all-pro players. Yeah, I mean, pretty good combo. Uh, Howard, by the way, not once, but twice led the NFL in picks. Wow. Xavier Howard, two-time leader uh, in picks. And you know what happens when you lead the league in picks twice? They kind of don't throw at you as much. Well, yeah, they start to think. Uh, that's, and that's kind of what he's facing right now. Except for if you're Deron Bland. Yeah, maybe, because <laughs> you give up some. Uh, so, four-time Pro Bowler. Uh, thank you, says Michael Bennett. Nice hit on Xavier Howard. No, Howard is awesome. No, I do. Love the way he plays the game. Yeah, a tough game out there in Kansas City. I actually ended up taking Miami in that game. I, I know you did. I won a lot of money on that game. Chiefs There's minus four and a half. It was big. What? What? Two hundred bucks? Uh, I won about one fifty on that one, but I had a parlay that was another like three hundred because cool. I parlayed that with the Texans money line, and wow. that paid off well because they were plus money. Oh, that's cool. Uh, so that was a They're big plus big money. Yeah, the Browns were favorites. I think it was like two-point favorite Cleveland Browns. Well, that didn't work out. Uh, that did not work <laughs> did out not for work Vegas. Out, yeah. uh, so, good job, Michael. Xavier Howard. Yeah, I'm telling you, look out for the Dolphins. Vic Fangio the next year. Uh, get him in that year, two in that system. Uh, that's going to be a squad. Uh, Miami's going to break that schneid and win a playoff game in due time. I think they will as well. Uh, so, good job, Michael. Maybe they'll play at home next time. See, that's what they need. In beautiful weather. That's what they need. The problem is, though, they got to win the East. And there's Buffalo. Buffalo. And then if Rodgers comes back, oh. the Jets will compete. I'm going to become a big Jets fan next year. Uh, I bet you will. I, will. I, was, uh, I was a big Jets fan this year for the first four minutes. I, I When you walked into your interview here we're wearing the jersey. Roger jersey, yeah. I was almost like, this just send him out the door. <laughs> send this guy out the door. Tell him he's not coming back. <laughs> uh, but we gave you a shot, and we are going to have you here ultimately. Yeah. Uh, but, yeah, we'll see. AFC East is a tough, tough division. I know the Patriots feels like a weird thing to say are the ones at the cellar. Uh, yeah. But each of the other three teams... Uh, could be dangerous for many years, so at least a few years. Uh, we do have Sauce Gardner speaking of the Jets. He's in the Diamond Helmets as a secondary headliner, Mr. Sauce. Mod. Mod. That's right. That's his actual Double name. name. Uh, so, two to go on that Diamond Double, guys. Uh, let's get that knocked out next. The next Jersey Double is up as well. Uh, so, three to go on the one and four Double, too. So... We are knock, knock, knocking on that door uh, on some breaks. Got a big basketball game tonight. Celtics and Nuggets could be a finals preview. Uh, and the Celtics up too early in the fourth quarter, even though my finals pick is the Milwaukee Bucks, uh, led by Giannis Antetokounmpo, uh, who is still out there in the one and four. Uh, Yanni, as my girlfriend calls him. Yanni. Have you ever seen that uh, Giannis movie on Disney Plus? Rise, it's really good. Uh, I think uh, that's the one where he's dunking on the cover, right? No? I think so. It's based on his life. Like it's not Giannis <coughs> actually in the movie. It's an actor that plays him. But it's about his life. Yeah, it's about his life, his brother's life, uh, and 
Uh, Giannis, you know, I watched, I showed my girlfriend that movie, and he became a favorite basketball player. Really? So I got her to go to a Bucks game with me to watch Giannis play in person. Okay. It was, it was actually was it the, fun. It was great. I heard they have a great stadium. They do have a great. I heard they have a great stadium. It was actually they blew the game. It was actually against the Sixers, Giannis and Embiid. And Milwaukee was up, like, double digits in the third. Yeah. But the Sixers came back behind James Harden, who was still a Sixer at the time. Oh, wow. Uh, he got a bunch of really bad calls, but he was flopping, and the refs gave him calls. Basically yeah. what James Harden James does. James Harden does his entire career. Yes, <laughs> and my girlfriend hates him. That's her really? least favorite basketball player. I mean, Harden Harden is not like man. I remember when Harden was so likable on OKC, and he just got less and less and less. Uh, yeah. Crazy. Good evening, Robert Clark. Mini helmets. We are down to four boxes left. We have a former Raider, Amari Cooper, out there, Mister Raider Robert Clark, and Machiavelli. Uh, there will be a single diamond as soon as we get that last double box break done. Uh, so we have one box left in the old series. Uh, that is the Wild Wild West, and that box is DJ Moore, a secondary headliner. We don't unveil a new series completely as a single, double, and quad until the old series closes. So once these last two spots go, uh, we'll drop a new series as a single, a double, and a quad. Uh, by the way, in this free play series, every single photo headliner but Troy Polamalu still left. Still left. The Dak and CD dual signed, uh, one of the best quarterback receiver combos in the National Football League. Uh, man, that's that's an awesome combo. I think CD. I was you know saying for a while, if I could start my franchise with two receivers, the two guys I would pick are Jefferson and Chase. But now I say three because CD has entered that discussion. Oh yeah, uh, CD Lamb. Uh, we have Jettas in the. One in four, the Sig J Jettas lid. We pulled the Hydroflex Jamar Chase in the old series. And here's CeeDee Lamb with this quarterback, Dak Prescott. Oh, yeah. Makes me think of T.O. and Romo, where he was like, that's my quarterback. Yep. That's my quarterback. We pulled the T.O. Cowboy lid in the last series. When's the last Romo you had? Uh, had it? We had a Romo in the previous high roller. It was really? also insane. Oh, really? yeah. oh, I think you remember until you told me about yeah, that. Yeah, that thing was nuts. Uh, so Randy Moss is in here still, uh, one of the best wideouts ever. Only guy with more receiving touchdowns ever than Randy Moss, Jerry Rice. Uh, Bo Jackson, one of the best dual sport athletes of all time. I sometimes think to myself, what if he didn't get hurt? What if he was healthy? Could he have been a Hall of Famer in two sports? It's possible. 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 Uh, Bo Jackson. Mike Evans, I think if he retires tomorrow... I still put him in the Hall of Fame. Over 1,000 yards every single season Ten he's played. Seasons. Yeah, it's incredible. Uh, Ray Lewis, uh, top five defensive player ever, most tackles ever, hydro flex, DK Metcalf speed flex, uh, one of the biggest beasts in football, Warren Moon, the first black quarterback inducted in the Pro Football Hall of Fame. Is he the oldie? Um... Great question. I think he might be the only. Is he the only? I know that's going to change, obviously. Oh, yeah, of course. Uh, it's, you may look that up, Daniel. Maybe look it up and let me know. Uh, we do have Adrian Peterson, who is top five all time in rush yards and rushing touchdowns. And we have Saquon Barkley. Uh, four speed flexes. Bo Jackson, Mike Evans, Ray Lewis, DK Metcalf, all speed flexes. Uh, here's that Mike Evans. Uh, that thing is nuts. Number 13. On the Chrome Flex for the Buccaneers. Thing of absolute beauty. Uh, then we have this Ray Lewis Hydro Flex. Uh, this is like the one we saw last night in the High Roller. Uh, saw this thing in person and it was wow. Yeah. Wow. I think the one last night had a couple other stickers to it. Uh, a little bit, A little bit cooler, but pretty much the same thing as last night's helmet. Oh, yeah. Uh, so two spots to go. Uh, who's going to get that break done? One spot to go. One spot to go. And then we'll have the new series fully unveiled. Uh, do we have DJ Moore in one of the last two boxes? Uh, pretty good for a non photo headliner, DJ Moore. I say this about Moore. Bears Nation, you know, is it going to be Caleb Williams? Which is kind of looking good now. They're interviewing Cliff Kingsbury, who coached Caleb Williams at USC last year. For the OC job, Daniel. Yeah. Or is it going to be 
Justin Fields. Uh, is it even going to be Drake May? Who knows? Hope not it's Drake May, but you never know. One thing I know is that they're set at receiver. DJ Moore is a dude. He is the dude. Oh, yeah. Uh, probably the best offensive bear player I've seen since Matt Forte. Maybe Brandon Marshall. Maybe Moosin Muhammad, who we had earlier. Uh, but those guys were a little bit older when they came to the Bears at that wide receiver spot. Uh, DJ Moore, fantastic. And that helmet coming out very, very soon. One lone spot to go in that diamond double box break. So, I can't wait, Daniel. I think that diamond series is really going to take off now that uh, all the boxes will be out there. Uh, all, you know, the single, double, and quad available. Yeah. The jersey break is slowed down, surprisingly. How many jerseys left? Is that is that 10 right there? Uh, no, one, 12, I think. 12, I think. 12 jerseys left. Earl Acker, DeAndre Swift, Christian McCaffrey still left in that jersey break. Seven spots to go in that jersey double box break. The single was still eight to go. We put up the double to, you know, speed that chase up a little bit. I think the folks in the single stop playing, don't forget there is a single box breakup of those jerseys as well. We close on the double. Closed out? Yeah. All right, so diamond double. Number three. Uh, drop me a number from the new set here. So it's going to be 24 in the old set. Then it's just going to be all of the new diamonds uh afterwards here so just need one box number those are scrolling uh right there on your ticker folks one through four six through 25 27 through 29 in the diamond helmets stefan jake's getting lonely need some company here sure. on the headliner table daniel yes he does need some company So what do we think, guys? Otherwise, I'll go to the wheel of the side. Mel Murdoch wants 17. Thank you, Mel. Uh, 17 uh, should be good, sir. We'll get 17 off the ticker for the new set. Cool. We are cooking. Dustin, Mel, Omar, Dustin, and Dan. I'm in double. I love when there's four flexes out there in the Diamond Series. Those flexes are not only for the high roller, Daniel. We got flexes every single day in the UA Live break room. Every single day. Chris Bryant and another 24. Not Kobe. Joe Creedy? Joe Creedy? Yeah. Let's do 24 first. I think this should be the DJ Moore box. Ty Law, Champ Bailey. Ty Law. I was yeah. going to say Ty Law. I just thought it was that yeah. Law. We pulled Ty Law last night, too, as a filler hit. Believe it or not, Ty Law was one of the worst hits last night. That's how good that high roller was. Yeah, dude. It was nuts. It's designed to be that way. Yeah, it is pretty good. But this Diamond Series, also really, really good. Uh, nine clicks, guys. Good luck, good luck. I know Mel wants that. Mike Evans... Uh, we'll see what we'll get here. So nine clicks. Dustin has the Mike Evans spot, though, in the NFC South. Now, Mel, I think, just got himself a guaranteed DJ Moore. Could he pair him with Randy Moss or Adrian Peterson, though, Daniel? Yeah, we'll yeah. see. Uh, Dustin Rose in the NFC South. Mel Murdoch, NFC East and NFC West. Mel in the AFC North. Dan Scapetta, AFC South. Omar Ramirez Nieves, AFC East. And Dustin Rose in the AFC West. It's D Rose. Not Rose. Derek Rose, but D Rose. But D Rose. Steven Ryan's favorite basketball player. Is he? Yeah, yeah D Rose was awesome. I mean, I love D Rose. Up until his knees. Now, that was a problem. It's a tough injury. Ah, look, I was wondering what this was on. It is the Bear Alternate Authentic. DJ Moore. Uh, once again, over a 1,000 receiving yards this season. I think it's like four of the last five years he's had more than a 1,000 receiving yards. 
uh, the number one receiver for the Bears, uh, King of the North, Mel Murdoch with the DJ Moore. He was putting up numbers in Carolina without a quarterback. He's putting up numbers in Chicago with just a mediocre passing quarterback. Yes. Fields can run, mediocre passer consistently. <coughs> He's really never had that quarterback that he could fully rely on to give him the ball, and he's put up numbers up anyway. That's oh, yeah. how good DJ Moore is. Oh, he's incredible, DJ Moore. Also a good yards after catch guy, Mr. Moore, too. A tough, tough wide receiver. Mel Murdoch. Yeah, he's probably going to set a lot of bear records. Uh, I think when it's all set and done, we'll be looking at the all-time leader in bear receiving yards, DJ Moore. Oh, yeah. Uh, although he doesn't need that many because they don't have that many guys who have a bunch. Uh, there was a stat that he had more yards receiving Carolina than any Bear had in their career. Really? Uh, so, yeah. 1364 this last season. Career high. Like I said, four of the last five years, more than 1,000 receiving yards for DJ Moore. All right, Mal. Not too bad. Uh, this is why people should not be obsessed with just the graphic. Uh, there's goodies that are secondary headliners, filler hits, a lot of good stuff to be had in the diamonds. Do we have our second headliner in the new series next? Only photo okay. headliner gone uh, would be the Troy Palamalu. So everything else in that graphic you guys are looking at, it's all out there. Plus, one of the most recognizable guys... Uh, in America, that is Michael Strahan, secondary oh, no headliner. No doubt about that. A Good Morning America, Fox Football, The Game Show Network, commercials. He's literally everywhere, Michael Strahan. And then we have Sauce Gardner. I'm surprised he's not a photo headliner. Uh, he's usually a photo headliner, Sauce Gardner. Uh, that's how nice these diamonds are. All right, here we go. 17 coming up. 17 of 30. The Chris Bryant box, as Daniel said. Oh, yeah. Not the Josh Allen. Good job. Not this week. It's Patty's week this week. We'll see. Well, let's see what we got here. You want a headliner, Daniel? Yeah, sure. I'll give you a headliner. How about Randy Moss, baby? Oh, Mel finally. Murdoch doubles up DJ Moore and Randy Moss. Uh, most receiving touchdowns in a single season, Randy Moss. Second most receiving touchdowns of all time, Randy Moss. Only Jerry Rice had more. Straight cash homie, baby. This dude was literally unstoppable, Randy Moss. Uh, beautiful, authentic. Mel Murdoch, he says very nice. Very nice indeed. Randy Moss. Oh, my goodness. A guy I see quite a bit in the break room. A guy that I'm never, ever, ever, ever sick of. Randy Moss. You cannot beat a Randy Moss uh, helmet. This thing is nuts. Uh, one of the all-time greats. Five times at the NFL in receiving touchdowns. Most receiving touchdowns in a season. Most receiving touchdowns in a rookie season. More than 15,000 receiving yards. And 156 receiving touchdowns. And he was so good that he actually made other guys better, right? Yes, he they did. would double team him, they would triple team him, leaving other guys open. Chris Carter. Uh, Chris Carter was great with him. Uh, Randy Watch Moss, Walker. incredible. Heck yeah. Yeah, Welker with the Pats. And is this going to be one of two Viking lids tonight? That could be our hit video. Jay Jettas and Randy Moss together. Ooh, uh, sure. That'd be a nice one. Uh, so, uh, that's the beauty of that double box break. One spot, two wins. Mel Murdoch got the wideouts, DJ Moore, and Randy Moss. It's a receiver kind of show, actually. It has been outside. Diggs times two. Uh, what does that mean? That means Jefferson. That means Mike Evans, the C.D. Lamb. All of these could be coming out tonight. We'll call this receiver night in the break room, Daniel. <laughs> I mean, these days in memorabilia circles, you look at the autograph values, you look at who guys like, the receiver has kind of replaced the running back as say. the second most popular. It say. goes quarterback, always. Everybody loves a quarterback. The number two wide receiver. Yep. 
Although there is one running back that is up there with the receivers, and that is Christian McCaffrey. Who's coming up next? Who's coming up next, potentially. His series is coming up next, oh, the jerseys. Well, potentially, yeah. Yes, we'll see if we can uh, pull Mr. CMC. So this one right here, I mean, I'm pretty, I think this one's safe. Diggs is still up in the air for the hit video. I think Randy Moss is going to be pretty safe, Daniel. If you pull CMC's jersey, you're going to put it in the hit video? I think so. I think so. Yeah. Cool. We usually do authentics, but it is Christian McCaffrey. We do want to show off some of our jerseys. So I think he's probably in as well. And he's definitely getting pulled. Whether it's this break or the next, I'd be shocked if CMC does not come out. So jersey double number two. Go ahead and drop me two box numbers. Dustin, Michael, Christopher, and Michael again in Feed Me the Rock, baby. 18 and 20, says Michael. I right, thank you, Michael. And that diamond, by the way, guys, up as a single, up as a double, up as a quad. Uh, come and get that new diamond series. Just the new diamonds. Uh, no more pairing, Daniel. Uh, come and get it, guys. Uh, Barry and Peyton. That's pretty good. Barry yeah. and Peyton. Yeah. You know, just, Justin Jefferson for new school. Uh, sure. But yeah, Barry and uh, Mr. Peyton are pretty good right here. Yeah. We had a Barry Sanders Hydro Flex last night, too. Did that you? was really cool. Uh, so, good luck, guys. Let's see if it's that CMC moment. Run CMC, baby. Is that coming out here in the jerseys? You know, we've had some fun. We've had a decent amount of boxes, Daniel. Yep. Hardly any headliners. We've been skipping headliners left and right. Some secondary headliners. But I think the Randy Moss, I believe, was the only photoed headliner so far tonight. Photoed. I think so. We had I'd some. Look, I, let me look at the sheet. Yeah, I think. Yeah. I think. I mean, more and dig secondary headliners. I know we had a couple of Jersey secondary headliners. The Ric Flair, only one photo headliner though. Yeah, I think so. And that means the odds are pretty good. Uh, odds are pretty darn good uh, to get some headliners here. Gates. Oh, Gates. That's right. Gates. The Gates jersey. Yeah, Gates. So two. But two. But two. two. This is the two. Yeah. I mean, which is. Pretty, yeah, it's definitely helped the odds greatly. Yeah, so that means the odds at headliners are getting better in these series. Uh, Michael's got the NFC North, Dustin the NFC South, Michael NFC East, and the NFC West, uh, which is, by the way, the McCaffrey spot. He's got DeAndre Swift and Erlacher, so he's got all the headliner spots. Oh. Uh, Christopher Taylor AFC North, Michael Bennett AFC South, Christopher Taylor AFC East, and Michael Bennett in the AFC West. <laughs> Feed me the rock jersey series. What do we got here in box 18? Ah, we got ourselves one of the few guys out there uh, that knows what it's like to win every single game. Dolphin legend, Mercury Morris. Mercury Morris. I think him and Larry Tsonka both went over 1,000 yards in the same year. Yes, they did. Which is something that is very, very rare uh, nice looking autograph to Mercury Morris. Uh, that's the AFC East. That is Christopher Taylor. Nice job, Christopher. Mercury Morris. I guess that team uh, had some autograph classes or something because Mercury's is nice. Bob Greasy is just phenomenal. Yeah. Uh, so the 72 well, Dolphins know what's up. It was a bit of time ago. A bit of time ago. So. You got to think they've the had a lot of years to really get their autograph mm -hmm. down. But still, yes, I mean, Mercury Morris, all those guys are freaking awesome, man. Uh, Only let, undefeated team ever. Yeah, led the NFL in rushing touchdowns in 1972, by the way. Did the he? entire league, Mercury Morris. Oh, yeah. Uh, so, nice get right there for Christopher Taylor. Eugene Edward Mercury Morris. <laughs> now, that's his name. Eugene, baby. Uh, nice get. Nice get. See, I always think to myself, I said this about Dallas. I would probably say the same thing about Miami, given their playoff struggles. Bring in some of these legends and teach these young guys what it's like to win, right? Sure. Because these dudes knew, Daniel. Uh, the 72 Dolphins knew better than anybody. That's for well, sure. Well, see, the, uh, the, the 90s Cowboys have a lot 
they are, can uh, appeal to somebody that is a football playing age now a lot more than somebody from the 70s appealing That's to true. someone of football age. Uh, br- bring in uh, Primetime and Michael Irvin and have them yell at the current players. Yeah. Uh, mean, let them know what's up. Primetime will probably yell at players every day. Yeah, he does. He does. Yeah, he's pretty good at coaching Deion Sanders. I am a Primetime fan personally. Uh, yeah, so he's pretty good. One down in the jersey double. One to go. We had one running back in Mercury Morris. Do we have another one in Christian McCaffrey? Uh, so, CJ Ellis, I don't know. I'll be fully honest, man. The shipping guy works more of a 9-5 to five schedule. Actually, he comes in early a lot of times. Sometimes he's gone by 2 or 3. I usually get in around 3 or 4. 5 so a lot of days, actually... So I did not I did not see him on Tuesday. I don't know. Uh, not sure when we ship this week. You can email the customer service email and they can let you know. Uh, all stuff with the shipping well, we department on Monday, is great. We? we did work on Monday. Yeah, so he probably I'm assuming he worked on Monday. Yeah. So I'm assuming that he did ship on Monday. Although I got no actually UPS and all those companies probably don't take a day off on Monday, do they? I had to do a one long sort but that was it. The okay. one long sort. But there, that we're, we were the only people in the building. Okay. And I signed up for it previously. Okay. So I, I don't know. I, I'm not sure. Like CJ. any normal UPS worker doesn't work on that day. I, I signed up to get money. I know our uh, our customer service guy is technically the department head for shipping. So if you email that customer service email, he can let you know. Uh, not Sir CJ. Uh, box 20 coming up. 20 of 30. Ah. We got some speed. We got a Swift. It's not Taylor. It's DeAndre Swift. Uh, one of the biggest problems the Eagles had this year. I think the second half of the year, the playoff game, they didn't give this guy the ball enough. He's a fantastic running back. He's very fast, as it says, Swift. Really good yards per carry guy. I know Jalen Hurts is a good quarterback, a very good quarterback. I know A.J. Brown is good. I know that Devontae Smith is good, but you got a great running back. You got to give him the rock. Uh, 1,049 rushing yards, fifth in the league this year, 4.6 yards per carry. Uh, but the back half of the year did not get the ball as much. Nope. Uh, think about how crazy the NFL is this year. 1,049. That's the fifth most. It's a it's a split running back system. No, this was the uh, this was the year of the wide receiver. I would have to say. Yeah, but he had a great year. He was on my fantasy team this year. I bet he's a great player. You probably liked him more the first half of the year than the second. He came in clutch a few times. Like he'd give me a, a good ten, and that ten would get me over the hump. Yeah. So I kind of like him there, but I would yes, I would say that overall. Uh, he he's also good in the receiving game as well. Yes, he is for PPR. Uh, very efficient running back, uh, DeAndre Swift. Michael Bennett says, awesome. Awesome indeed, Michael. Nice hit right there. He says, thank you. You're welcome, Michael. Very welcome on DeAndre Swift. It's a good thing that we pulled this today, not yesterday, because Colin Rudiso might have stolen this one. He loves he his feeling? Eagles. How's he feeling? Uh, he's having a mental breakdown. He's tough. Uh, but, <laughs> you know, I think, I think he's okay. I think he kind of expected it, given the way it went down the stretch. I don't, I don't know who he picked in this game, but I think he was not picking the Eagles to win the whole thing. I don't know for sure, though. He was in the Bahamas last week, so at least he had least he some fun there. That's cool. Uh, Mr. Colin Rudiso. Uh, so good job, Michael, on DeAndre Swift. Yeah, that was one of the most crazy collapses of the Eagles the second half of this year. It was bad. It was bad. I know they won some ugly games, <clears throat> but they still had a lot of talent on that team. 10-1, and one, and they lose 6-7. of seven. I knew it was bad when it was against the Giants on the Christmas Day game. They they had, they won, but they did not look like the Eagles, and then they just started collapsing from there. Well, that was their only win in the last seven. But and they also lost to the Giants the last Cardinals. game of the season to the Cardinals. They lost, uh, it was um, bad. Lost a couple of really bad ones. I think, you know what's crazy? I'm actually going to bet the Cardinals to... I don't know if win the Super Bowl, but if I could find it to make the playoffs next year. Oh, okay. I think they're a good team with Kyler. 
And James Conner is really good, He's man. Good, good running and, back. You know, if they could improve their offensive line, they could really. They're be just a good in team. a tough division. They are in a tough. They're division. in a tough division. They're in a tough, but I think they're a good team, the Cardinals. Well, they were good at covering. I'll say that they were <laughs> heavy underdogs many games. Even the ones they lost, they covered. If you were betting on spreads and you were picking the Cardinals, you actually did pretty good. Nice. I had a pretty good season betting. I know that because I bet a lot, and I did actually pick the Cardinals quite a bit, and they were good for me. I think uh, they're thank a good you, team. Arizona. Uh, so, uh, cool. McCaffrey still left. Let's keep it going. Let's get that CMC. Uh, I think coming up next, probably the one and four. Only one spot to go in that double box break. Yes, yes. Uh, so a lot of heat uh, on deck in the one and four series. I also like put up on... all the quads and doubles. For yep, the I saw it. Thank you, sir. Yeah. Uh, CJ says, like a kid on Christmas waiting on that kiddo helmet running in house every day to be disappointed, says CJ. Oh, the custom kiddo that he got. Wait, well, what? do keep this in mind, CJ. Obviously, this last week with the weather, everything has been uh, really, really bad across the country. So shipping in general could take a little bit longer. Uh, he got the custom George Kiddo helmet. Did he? It was insane. Uh, so I think he got it last Friday. That's why he's wondering if it shipped out on Monday because he wanted to... So the back the blue one? Yeah, the back the blue one. Yeah. Uh, so uh, typically that would ship out Monday, take about three business days. He's thinking it arrived on Thursday. I don't know, Martin Luther King Day was a holiday. Depends on where you live. You know, Monday and Tuesday with the roads being really bad. Yeah. It may take just a little bit longer, CJ. But it'll get there. It'll get there. And I'll say the same thing I say to everyone. A lot of the helmets, especially the custom ones, they look awesome on the stream, even better in person. I'm sure. Even better in person. Now, CJ, you are going to be You know what looks good pumped. in person? This one. This right one. Here. Look at Randy Moss. How could you not? It's a nice, I actually like that it's the retro Viking. I know their normal one looks even cooler for me. The speed authentic. I like the matte coloring on the The matte color one. looks nice, yeah. but... I like the a little different one at some point, right? Something a little different here uh, on this one on Mr. Randy Moss. Uh, so let's get that one and four done. Jerseys are heating up. Five to go in the jersey break. Uh, that double box break. So double the boxes, double the fun here in the UA Live break room. Josh Hurwick. Mark Taylor, Dustin Rose, Mel Murdoch. These guys are balling. Who's going to join them in the breaks? Omar Ramirez, Nieves, uh, Michael Bennett. Let's go, let's go, let's go. Nonstop action on the break page, guys. Uh, definitely going to pull uh, Mr. McCaffrey today. That's for sure. Yeah. Uh, we're down to six, what is that, eight, ten jerseys left. McCaffrey, Erlacher still lurking in those jerseys. Oh, yeah. So I think the Swift and the Morris went. Yeah, they did. That's what I'm doing. It says, yes, I hit the Andre Johnson the night before. It got here on Wednesday. Uh, that's what got me excited. Yeah. Oh, Andre Johnson. He, he got the Andre Johnson? Yeah, that's sick. What was the mini or the full size? I'm not sure. I like the Andre But I, oh, maybe the Andre Johnson Speed Flex. Oh. We had a Johnson Speed Flex. Oh, I do remember that Andre Johnson. The Flash one. Yeah, yeah. That was nice. Yeah, that thing was nice. 11th all-time receiving yard leader, Andre Johnson. Another one of those Hall of Famers. Miami Hurricane. Well, Hall, Hall of Famer, too. No, no, He'll no. be a Hall of Famer. No, no. But Miami Hurricane legend, Andre Johnson. He's the best receiver in Texans history, and it's not even close. It's Pro not close. Probably. I said if C.J. Stroud played with them, you might as well shut down the NFL because that's how good C.J. is, and Andre Johnson was even better. Oh, yeah. Uh, phenomenal, phenomenal player. Maybe uh, Mr. Nico Johnson. Collins will be the next great. He's good. Yeah, I do like him. He's Collins. good. Tank Dell was good. I had him on fantasy. I picked him up week three. Yeah, he's good. Yeah. Dalton Schultz. Dalton Schultz. I like the Texans. I mean, I, I have to pick the Ravens. They're better on defense. They're at home. They're the best defense in the league. But I would not be shocked if Houston pulled a miracle. Uh, just keep that in mind, Daniel. Plus I nine be and a half. If the Green Bay Packers pulled a miracle. I, plus nine and a half as well. I'd be a little bit more surprised on Green Bay. Uh, just because I think San Fran's just a little bit more solid. Uh, but we'll see. And Baltimore? I think so. I know they lost. Everyone's going to say that. It wasn't that. a loss. It was a thumping. It was five picks. 
That's what happened. You turned the yeah, ball over. Because they're they, the best defense in the league. They've never had five turnovers all year. Uh, so I think it was pretty close statistically. I also think Houston's better than Green Bay, too. I think that C.J. Stroud, Jordan Love is great. I like Jordan Love a lot. C.J. Stroud is even better. Uh, and those two guys could be playing each other maybe in a future Super Bowl, though, which is scary to think about. That would be cool. Man. It could be this Super Bowl. There's only eight teams left. Did you imagine? That'd be nuts. Uh, I, first um, year I'm going to keep it real with you, Chief. What's up? You better find someone to cover. Yeah. You better find someone to cover that Sunday. Oh, uh, which one? If they make the Super Bowl. Oh, uh, we don't have the night show on Sundays. I don't have. I don't work the night show. Oh, you don't work the night show. We can get you to cover, please. Uh, there <laughs> like, could be someone to cover for that's, you. That, you guys gotta understand. Yeah, <laughs> like, you're gonna lose your mind. If the Bears were in the Super Bowl, I'd cover it for people. Yeah, I would. I would. Yeah, but yeah, we have we have a tradition. I know you obviously want the whole day off, all the previews and everything. Yeah. But what we usually do on Super Bowl Sunday, I know we used to only have a two p.m. show. But we would have a pre-field series. We would drop a Super Bowl special. Last year, Steven and I left at like 3.34. Well, that's not too bad. Uh, so we actually got to watch the whole oh, we'll Super get, Bowl. Oh, well, then if that was okay, then Yeah, it was me it. me and Steven were the Sunday crew at the time. You were probably like... Yeah, you know? right. <laughs> Chief game. Yeah. yeah, it was. I was like checking that clock. But it's... Mm-hmm. Yeah, we make sure we take care of our employees in this break room. We only skip shows on Christmas, Thanksgiving... Thank uh, 4th of July, and then the Super Bowl Sunday. The yeah. night show. The night show, well, because yeah. everyone's watching the Super Bowl. Yes, exactly. Because who would be... Well, people might play the breaks and watch the Super Bowl, but I feel like it'd be less than normal. Way less than normal. Yes. Way less. Uh, so, that's going to be fun Super Bowl. Uh, Kansas City against San Francisco. Yeah. The we'll same see. as my preseason pick. That we'll was see. my preseason pick. Kansas City over San Francisco. In my preseason pick for the for the pick and pool I have, it was Buffalo. San Francisco. Well, that's possible, too. That's possible, too. That's possible, too. Depends on how these two games go. <laughs> yeah, it's going to be fun. It's going to be fun. Uh, so, who's knocking out that one and four, folks? One spot to go. One and four. Five to go in the jersey single. Five to go in the jersey double. Uh, one word to describe the CMC jersey. Inevitable. It's getting pulled tonight. It will. Uh, that's that's the best way to put it. Inevitable. Uh, here's the one and four. Uh, a lot of great stuff left. I know a lot of folks are focusing on this Justin Jefferson. This is a ripped a half <laughs> Vikings, half LSU. Uh, the most talented receiver in the game right now. Him or the Cheetah, you know, take your pick. Uh, I think for me, the best catch in the history of the NFL, Justin Jefferson against the Bills. Uh, it was unbelievable. Yeah, I think The I fourth that. and 18, yeah, yeah. he had like three guys around him. They threw it up, one-handed grab, and made the OBJ catch look weak. That's how good it was. It was pretty Uh, amazing. That's the best play I've ever seen uh, from Justin Jefferson. It was just incredible. In the limited amount of time that he played this year, he could have the best catch of the year this year against Detroit. Did you see that game? Yes. That was incredible Yeah, he's he's just, in one word, incredible. He's a human highlight reel. He's one of the best athletes in all of sports. Uh, Another guy that's one of the best athletes in all of sports Giannis Antetokounmpo. Yes, yes. Uh, Giannis on the jersey, or the basketball there, rather. We got a stat jersey for KG, the whole resume. Uh, we got Marty Brodeur, uh, maybe the best goaltender of all time. Uh, we still have Cal Ripken Jr., Mr. Iron Man, on the autographed uh, photo. One of the best power hitters ever, Mark McGuire. Uh, we have Kit Harrington, King of the North. Jon Snow still out there. And probably the most intimidating pitcher in baseball history. Given how big he is, how tall he is, how fast he throws. Yeah. And they say the lefties, it's harder to pick up the ball, right? Because they throw lefty. I was it comes to the play quicker. It's harder to pick up. Mm-hmm. A lot of times the lefties in the majors, they're like Mark Burley. Yes. They'll throw slow, locate. This guy threw fast, and he was big, and he was a lefty. If I had to pick one pitcher I would least want to face in the batter's box, it's Randy Johnson. Randy Johnson, I think you'd be right there. You'd definitely, I definitely wouldn't want to face him. He's tough. Yes, he uh, so all those headliners are out there. Uh, definitely some great stuff in the one and four. Got a big shipment today, says Mark Taylor. Three full-size authentics, six minis, two reps, one jersey, and a slap card, two huge boxes. 
There we go, Mark Taylor. Um, woo woo! Love it, brother. A lot of that shipping stuff, of course, does also depend on where you live. True. The closer you live to the Chicagoland area, the quicker you get your stuff. True. Uh, plain and simple, because we are based out of uh, Chi Town. Uh, so let's get that one and four done, guys. Uh, jerseys, 10 jerseys left. One Christian McCaffrey still out there. Uh, those will sell themselves. One to go in that double, right, Daniel? Or which yeah. one's one? One to go in the double. One to go in the double. Uh, so the one in four is two to go in the single, one to go in the double. I would love to keep doing a bunch of these. We'd love to get, you know, 15, 20 done, close out the series. We are for sure doing that single and double, no doubt about it, with how close they are. Uh, so keep it rocking, guys. We got the one in four and the diamonds for the high-end players, the folks with the money. We got the jerseys for the folks who maybe still have money but want to, you know, not risk as much. We got everything, Daniel. Right. A lot of great options on that break page. We are also have a one in four double coming up. Let's go. One in four double sold out. That is our second double. All right, guys, two box numbers. You know the drill. It's in the chat. First come, first serve. Uh, we are rocking with the one and four here. What a fun series that one and four is. Uh, full of uh, awesome, awesome stuff you guys can win here in the break room. Patrick Woods, Mel Murdoch, and Michael Bennett in this specific one and four break. Uh, let me know. Two numbers. First come, first serve. Yes, yes. I want to see that Jefferson tonight. I would. Uh, that That'd thing awesome. is nuts. That thing is crazy. That thing is absolutely nuts. Uh, I'm surprised we're not chasing it a little bit harder, to be honest. Who got in that diamond quad making moves? Uh, that was uh, oh, off the top of my head. I think it was Dustin Rose. Dustin Rose. I think, but I don't. I don't. Don't quote me. Give me a uh, so Mel Murdoch was first with seven and fourteen. Uh, Patrick Woods right behind with five and thirty. All right, let's do seven and fourteen. Seven and fourteen. I'll be right there. Mel was first. And let me see here. So after those two jerseys, we're gonna be down to how many? Let's see here. Oh, that's actually that's not the jerseys. My bad. Well, that's we do the, have a jersey coming up though. Yeah, we do have a jersey coming up. I'm taking the wrong ticker though. It's the one in four, seven and fourteen. We we'll have eight left in the jerseys after that jersey. So ten left right now. So I want to make sure my ticker is right. It's three, four, seven, eight, nine. Yeah, can you do me a favor when you get the one in four boxes? Read off the jerseys. I think there's a few that are uh, should all be off the ticker that aren't. I want to make sure we have the right jersey numbers on there for the guys. All right. One. Okay. Three. No off. two. No two. No two. All right, I'll get two off. One, three, five. Yep. Seven. Yep. Eight. Yep. Nine. Okay. Fourteen. Yep. 21. No 18? Nope. We did 18, remember? Okay. We did the, yeah. Yeah, it was 18 and 20 we did in the double, right? Yeah, we right? did Bar Barry Payton. Okay. 21. Yep. 22. Yep. 28. And no 27 either. Nope. All right, perfect. Ticker is right. Jersey ticker updated for you guys. Now let's get those jerseys done. We're actually on the, right on the, the edge of closing out a couple series. We have four minis left, which is only two breaks. And when we got two reps, which is only two breaks, then we'll get a new rep series, or actually not a rep series, a college series, college series. then a new mini series, and then new jerseys as well in the room. I guess I have to look up and see which one's the next jersey. I think I have it written down somewhere. We'll figure it out, Daniel. I think it's probably, there actually might be a couple options. We have some jerseys back there. But first, the one in four, first order of business, one in four coming up. If you want to make sure you have the right people in the single and double for that one to the Which jerseys. One? Just want to make sure we have all the right names and stuff. Because you said it was one away. I do see, I think the single is two away. Uh, let me check it right now. Yeah, just oh, double check. We're good. Oh, well, well I mean, we have to do we have the one and four, so. Yep, make you're sure good. It's all good. I'll do the one and four. Uh, Michael Bennett's got the NFL spot. NBA goes to Mel. MLB to Mel. And Patrick Woods, you've got the everything else. 
Patrick has been on a heater here. We'll start with seven. The John Elway box. Seven of 40 in the one in four series. All right, what do we got here? Ah, here we go. This is a good one. Autograph photo of Martin Brodeur, baby. Marty Brodeur. One of the best goaltenders of all time. The everything else spot. Congratulations, Patrick Woods. Brodeur, man. What do you have? Oh, the Marty Brodeur frame photo. Yeah, he was such a great, great hockey player. Uh, literally, maybe the best goaltender ever. Now, look at this thing. It's got the Hall of Fame inscription on Marty Brodeur. Hall of Fame 2018. Uh, look at this just chatting scene. Uh, looks very clean. Marty Brodeur on the frame. Uh, man. Man, oh man, oh man. It was Dominic Hasek, Patrick Waugh. Uh, some of the best guys I ever saw. Marty Brodeur has to be up there for the best goalie uh, of all time, right? Definitely, no doubt about it. Uh, let's see, common intro. I thought I had this deselected. One second. There we go. We're good on that one. Uh, so, look at that. Uh, look at that frame photo. Thing of absolute beauty. Brodeur played in, let's see here. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine All-Star games. Won himself four Vesna trophies for the top goaltender and three Stanley Cups as well. Oh, yeah. Now, that is very, very nice. Actually got nominated for the Hart Memorial Trophy uh, three times. Oh, Look wow. at this thing. Wow, this is nice right here. I'm going to hold it up this way. Marty Brodeur. So something different, Patrick Woods. I will... I think I'll probably put the sticker on top of it. I think that's how they've been doing it for these, Daniel. Oh, yeah. Uh, so, good get, Patrick. The Devils. New Jersey Devils. Yeah, they were really good back in the day. Early 2000s. Scott Stevens, the hard-hitting defenseman. Nita Meyer. And they had some guys out there in New Jersey. New Jersey. All right. Uh, we're actually, we actually don't have that double break coming up. Excuse me. We don't have it coming up? No, no, no. The jerseys, you mean? The jerseys, yeah. Yeah. But we have... Two away in there and then two away in the single. Okay. So uh, can I hand you this one? It takes up a little space. I'll put it right here. Yeah. Patrick says, glad I didn't get my numbers, right, Patrick? Worked out well. You got yourself a W, Marty Brodeur. Oh yeah. I have one more coming up. 14. The Ernie Banks box. Let's play two, baby. Let's play two. Uh, let's get back to back headliners, baby. Uh, we got ourselves one of my favorite sings of all time. Anything is possible. Kevin yes. Garnett, baby. Look at this, uh, by the way. It's the big ticket on the front of the jersey. Big ticket, KG. We got his resume on here, Daniel. The big ticket nickname, 15-time NBA All-Star, 15. That's incredible. Uh, Four-time All-NBA First Team, 2004 MVP. 2008 champion, 26,071 career points, 14,662 career rebounds, 5,445 career assists, NBA Hall of Fame, 2020 Kevin Garnett for Mel Murdoch. Let's go. Good job, Mel. KG. That's nice. I love the stat jerseys. I am a sucker for those bad boys. Yeah. Uh, makes my life easy. Don't have to memorize anything. Don't have to look anything up. You don't have to. The resume is right there on the jersey, Daniel, right? Oh, yeah. Mel. All right, Mr. Murdoch. Uh, good job, Kevin Garnett. Uh, I actually saw something funny on Instagram. When he came back to Minnesota, there's the same fan that would 
take his shirt off and yeah. dance. Yeah, yeah. So, uh, and I saw it. He did the same thing when KG came back. He was so good with two franchises. Part of that 08 team with the Celtics, you know, yes. with Ray First Allen, three, Paul Pierce, yeah. uh, Rondo, one of the original big threes. Uh, they were kind of a big four with a young Rondo, but he was obviously more of a passer. Yeah. Uh, that's for sure. Doc Rivers was the coach. Uh, he was even better in Minnesota, though. Like, prime KG, got the MVP in 04. Uh, he was such a beast. So athletic. Also a good shooter, good defender. Yeah. One of those guys that came straight out of high school. Yep, and Simeon High School, or Farragut High School. Dominated right away. Yeah. KG, it never stopped. Chicago guy, man. Uh, so, how about this? Mel Murdoch says KG was my favorite. Really? He's yours now, Mel. Uh, congrats, man. Like I said, man, Farragut High School, Chicago, Illinois. Yeah, Kevin there's Garnett. some good Chicago ball players. Isaiah Thomas Isaiah from the Thomas. Chicagoland area. Derek Rose. Derek Rose. Uh, they got some ballers here in the Shy City. Um, uh, so... Pretty good on new on Brooklyn later in his career. So. Yes, he was. It's pretty good. Uh, Matt Garcia, we do have personals up on the site. Uh, so we have the pylon dive replica helmets, and we have the hanging headliners are now a personal series. By the way, are those still back there? The pylon dive ones? Uh, yes, they are. They still back there? Yes, they are. I think the hanging headliners we put away though, so we might have the shipping team ship those out. But that's the mystery box link and here is the live break page link uh, so come and get those guys i got a lot of options we don't sell our normal series we run in the breaks as personals yeah uh, because we want to track these want to make sure they're open in the break room we can let you guys know what was pulled what wasn't uh, i know that's we have a, that's the biggest thing. yeah i know yeah. we have minis as personals but those tend to almost always get open live on the air uh, we just want to have the series for the break room we are a break room so all our you know big level series uh are reserved as break room exclusives sure. now you could buy out all the spots it's the same concept as a personal, personal. that's the it, is it i'm not yeah right. I mean, it's the same thing is it the same thing yeah like even mathematically uh it's there's a, like a slight price difference there's a slight increase on break spots but it's pretty similar. It's similar. It's pretty similar. It's the same concept. Uh, you just got to be quick, though. Because yeah. someone else could get the spots. True. Uh, that's for sure. So two to go in the jersey double. That's coming up. Two to go in the one in four single. That's coming up. One to go in the jersey single. And one to go in the jersey single. That is also coming up. Uh, so Christian McCaffrey also coming up in the Possibly. break room. Possibly. I mean... There's 10 left. I'm telling you, they're not leaving them hanging tonight. Yeah. It is uh, 917, Daniel. Whether it's in the single or the double, that McCaffrey's coming out. Yeah. If he doesn't come out of the next three boxes, there's seven left. Yeah, they're really going to chase him. Go yeah. Right. So whether it's in the next five minutes or the next 50 minutes, McCaffrey is coming out tonight. That is the most inevitable part of tonight, Daniel. Uh, not a matter of if, just a matter of when. <laughs> uh, so. I want to see some of these other guys, though. I want to see those diamond helmets. I want to see that one in four. Uh, I mean, again, the best lids in the room right now, we have five speed flexes right now, Daniel. Oh, my goodness. Five speed flexes in the break room. Four in that diamond series. Bo Jackson, Mike Evans, Chrome Flex, Ray Lewis, Hydro Flex, DK Met Metcalf Flex, the new salute to service, Bo Jackson, uh, those are the flexes in the diamonds. And then we have that insane J Jettas flex in the one and four. Uh, the rip flex. Uh, the half um, uh, LSU half Vikings one. I know this Mahomes one went. What's this Niner one? Did we put this in the wrong video? This is a nice looking Niner one as well. Oh, wait. Did I? I don't think, I don't think it was you. It was whoever put it up earlier. Okay. Uh, that's that Steve Samuel looks like, but here's that Jay Jettas one. Uh, this thing is is pretty bonkers, Daniel. Yeah. Uh, so oh, it's beautiful. Five man. flexes that we know of. Again, I'm gonna show off the Mike Evans Chrome Flex. I know this is what Mel's after. Yeah. Uh, he's a Buccaneer fan. Uh, after the Mike Evans. Uh, here's that Ray Lewis Hydro Flex. Uh, one of the scariest guys alive, Ray Lewis. I would not want to face him. Uh, that's for sure. That's for sure. Did you did, did you look at the quad? 
And which one? The diamonds? Yeah. What about it? Where is that, that San Francisco helmet? That was in the one and four. Which oh, that was in the one and four. I'm what? confused because I don't see it in the graphics. So, uh, we'll we'll talk with our production team after the show and see what that's about. But what the heck, yeah, I don't know. Maybe that got in there an accident. Could be. Uh, I mean, maybe that's a filler, Debo Samuel. For all we know, it is the one and four. Believe it or not, right? It is. Holy uh, cow. We are actually closed on a single box break for the jerseys. All right, jersey single is closed. All right. Jersey single, go ahead and drop me a box number, folks. Is it time for Mr. McCaffrey? We got TJ Fussell, Clara Myers, John Sutter, and Michael Bennett. I think we got some new people in this break. Uh, newer people, at least I don't new, recognize. Yeah, they're newer, but yeah. Uh, John wants box one. I mean, heck, you missed one show in this break room. We could have eight new people. They could have been new at noon, could have been new at three. You never know. Uh, so we'll do one. Thank you, TJ, for calling out the numbers. You were a little bit behind. It is first come, first serve. We'll go with John's one in that jersey series. Cam Newton, Justin Fields. Cam Newton, Justin Fields. I guess there's not that many ones in there, sports, right? I was thinking about... Isn't there a guy number one receiver on Minnesota, maybe? No. Jordan Addison is three. Is he three? Okay. Well, that Addison is three. But maybe they have a one. I don't know. Maybe, yeah. Maybe. Um, Cam Newton's the one I always think of. Yeah, Cam Newton's a good number one. Uh, so, nine clicks. Clara's got the NFC West looking for CMC. Michael Bennett in the NFC North. TJ's got the NFC South, Mr. Fussell. Clara Myers, or Ciara Myers, excuse me. Look like Clara, it's, I think, Ciara Myers. NFC East, NFC West. John Sutter, AFC South. TJ in the AFC East. And TJ in the AFC West. I am number one. It's a Nelly song. Look at this one, TJ. Uh, welcome, welcome, sir. Like father, like son. Uh, his father was a great corner. Asante Samuel Jr., pretty good as well. Uh, if you if you need references, talk to Trevor Lawrence. Asante Samuel Jr. picked him off three times in a playoff game. Uh, nice looking uh, white and blue jersey. Asante Samuel Jr. for TJ. I tell you what, the Chargers, man, they have a lot of talent. It did not make sense what happened. It does not. Uh, they just got a. There's something about the Chargers for me, Daniel, that I just kind of think they're cursed. I really do. It's really uh, they they have enough talent. I mean, the fact that Daniel Tomlinson didn't even play in the Super Bowl kind of tells you enough. I know, man. Uh, let's go, says TJ. They had Breeze and then they had Rivers. Yes, and That's, Gates. And Gates. Oh, and and Tomlinson. A lot of bad luck. Rivers tore his ACL one year, and then he tried to play in the game. A lot of bad luck for them. But yeah, it's. I actually had I picked the Chargers this year to win the uh, NFC West. AFC West. Oh, excuse me, yeah. AFC West. Yeah, that didn't work out well. Yeah, no. I always pick the Chiefs because I'm a Chief fan, and until you you beat the man, uh, you know I'm gonna pick them. But the Chargers had enough talent to at least make the playoffs. I know they had a lot of injuries again this year, but it was a disappointing season to say the least, in Los Angeles. To say the least. Uh, so, I think that jersey double is ready, right? Uh, yes, it is. All right. Uh, nine to go now as we are uh, chasing McCaffrey. Uh, like a lot of NFL teams, he's hard to catch. You chase McCaffrey, you find your face in the dirt. In this break room, though, we are going to catch him uh, because... You know, he can't escape out of the box. Yeah, he can't escape um, the numbers. He can't escape the numbers. Yeah. So the only people that can... McCaffrey can't escape is the UA Live break room. Because eventually he's coming out. So congrats, TJ. Uh, I don't recognize that name. I, I don't know if you're brand new or just a little bit newer from the last couple days. But welcome to Ultimate Autographs. Uh, always ask the new guys what squad they like and how they heard about UA. True. And if that's TJ's first win, congrats on your first dub, brother. Don't believe it's always it. special. Uh, so, Jersey Double is coming up next. Jersey Double number three. 
Go ahead and drop me two box numbers. Christopher, Josh, Dustin, Omar, Daniel, Kyler, Dustin Rose, Michael Bennett. Uh, Daniel, Kyler, my arch nemesis for the week yes. is calling 14 and 22. 14. Daniel and I are normally friends. Uh, we, we don't really beef. We're good buddies. You know, we both are here at Ultimate Autographs almost every day. Uh, but this week, I don't like Daniel. He's a Bills fan. I just this week, it's not it, man. He's not my guy this week. Uh, so He's my guy. I, I bet, I bet. Uh, first W says TJ. Been a long time watcher though. Go Steelers. Uh, so sorry, Daniel. I'm just saying, brother. Uh, the other Daniel here. Emmett Smith and. It was a good 14. Ernie Banks. Ernie Banks. Thierry Henry. Oh, Thierry uh, Henry. On, on Barcelona. I think he was 12 and 14 at one point. Um, so, Skeebs 87, we go into the order stop. Uh, every single night show, Daniel, we go to at least 930. Usually, it's between 10 and 11 p.m., right? Around 1030, mm -hmm. 11 o'clock, 10 o'clock, sometimes 1130, sometimes 12, as long as orders keep rolling in. I do know typically it's between 10 and 11, though, uh, during that one-hour range. Uh, but you and I do not decide when we sign off. No. They, do. they do. We have one big rule in the break room. As long as there's orders coming in, we stay on the air. Mm -hmm. That could be until 1.30 in the morning. Could Ask be. your buddy Joe. Uh, he still has the record for latest show at UA. <clears throat> well, I think... we, got off, we got off late the other day. Yeah, exactly. Yeah. Uh, it happens a lot. Uh, so we'll see. Uh, so, TJ, I, I hope you're a Mike Tomlin fan. Hopefully so. And by the way, Daniel, Kyler, and I on Monday. Actually, no. Let's just let's give it Wednesday. Because whether I lose or he loses, we'll be a little bitter for two days. By next Wednesday, we're friends again, Daniel. It'll be next Wednesday. I'll greet you with a uh, what's up, Daniel. Uh, TJ loves Mike Tomlin. Look at that. Man, this is good. I like these new people. Uh, we had a Mike Tomlin hate fest from Steeler fans a few months ago. All these new Steeler fans, they actually like Tomlin, which is good. What's not to like? One of the best coaches in the NFL, Mike Tomlin. Yes, he is. Uh, Christopher Taylor has that CMC spot in the NFC West. Uh, Dustin Rose in the NFC North. Omar Ramirez Nieves, NFC South. Like I said, Dustin, NFC East. Christopher Taylor, NFC West. Michael Bennett, AFC North. Josh Horwick, AFC South. Christopher Taylor, AFC East. And Daniel Kyler, AFC West. Ah, we got a tough guy here. Former Notre Dame tight end. Pro Bowl tight end with the Giants. It is Mark Bavaro. Ooh. Very nice right there. NFC East, Dustin Rose. Let's go, Dustin. Uh, I didn't personally watch this guy play, but a lot of guys in the break room say this dude was tough. I heard. Mr. Bavaro. A lot of good things hearing about him. Uh, nice looking jersey, Dustin Rose. All right, Dustin. Uh, congrats. Uh, Dustin's had a little run in the minis lately. Uh, now he's tackling the jerseys. Oops. Uh, <laughs> doing it big here. He won two Super Bowls, Mark Bavaro, by the yeah, way. Yeah, he did. Uh, so it's not bad. Uh, that was in the Belichick and Parcells, Parcells era years. of the Giants. Uh, certain Lawrence Taylor played on those teams. Remember him? He was pretty good. <laughs> yeah. I he was pretty good. Lawrence Taylor. What a guy. He's an insane person as well. Yes, uh, that's for sure. So good job, Dustin. One more jersey coming up. We have a mini break to follow. Uh, move the chains minis and then the... The next menu you put up is the last mini uh, of this series. Yes, it is. Because then we have the new minis afterwards uh, full of fresh headliners. So it could be seeing Amari Cooper very shortly. There's a brown flash mini left. Uh, one of the best receivers in the NFL, Amari Cooper. Cool. I want to see that Jefferson tonight. Honestly, Daniel, there's like... I think about 25 boxes left. Let's see, we did. Actually, no. We, have we done three singles in the one and four? We've done two doubles. 
two doubles and and uh, three singles. So yeah. that's seven boxes. seven boxes. So there's 22 left. Uh, we have Giannis, Cal Ripken, Kit Harrington, Randy Johnson, McGuire, and Jettas. Yeah. Then we have uh, four secondary headliners. About a 50% chance at a headliner with 22 boxes left. I'm not in again until 6 o'clock on Monday, Daniel. I want to see Jefferson tonight because if I don't see Jefferson tonight, I'm not going to see him because whether it's, you know, Robbie or Joe uh, or Brandon or, uh, you know, Dom, uh, that Jefferson is coming off the board either tonight, tomorrow, or Sunday. When I'm back in on Monday, not a chance it's left. No. So selfishly, I want to see that Jen is late in person. 22 is next. 22 of 30. Oh, okay. Here's one we don't see often. Uh, it's a nice-looking jersey. Denzel Perryman Whoa. on the Texan jersey. Uh, that's the AFC South. Josh Hurwick, congrats on the Perryman jersey. Look at that thing. Uh, Houston Texans, man. They've never played in the AFC Championship, Daniel. Really? Uh, looking to play in their first AFC title game uh, if they uh, beat the Ravens. Well, GSA certified. New franchise, I know. Yeah, well, they established pretty young. Uh, when were they established? Was it after 2000 or before? It was the early 2000s. Early 2000s. Uh, so, uh, definitely a nice hit right there, though. Pro Bowler in 2021, Des Denzel Perryman, uh, formerly of the Raiders, uh, but very talented guy for... Uh, currently Houston. Oh, yeah. Uh, so, there we go. I uh, had three tackles uh, in that Cleveland game. Uh, looks like a uh, tackle for loss on that one as well. So, oh, yeah. nice get right there, Josh Hurwick. All right. We have the minis <clears throat> next, and then probably more jerseys to follow. What is that? Seven jerseys left now, Daniel. In the uh, in the single, it's six left, and then six spots, but seven total jerseys left. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Uh, that's seven. We're going on eight right now. For yeah, the single, and we're going on four for the double. Oh, the double is heating up. So, all right, cool. And we'll get that McCaffrey anytime now, guys. Anytime now on CMC. Urlacher still left as well as the other headliner in those jerseys. Not to be forgotten. <laughs> Not to be forgotten, Brian Erlacher. Move the Chains is coming up. Mini double number one. I'll go ahead and drop me two box numbers. Houston defense got uh, two pick sixes against the Browns. Yeah, two in a row, I know. That's yeah, crazy. they're going to have to be big against the Ravens because Houston has been, they've been all right on defense, up and down. Uh, that offense has been pretty much up, up, and up. Uh, they're going to have to find a way to stop Lamar Jackson. They should. Uh, Zay Flowers, the running game as well. They should contain Lamar Jackson and then have one single blitz come from uh, the linebacker in the middle, and then they should have a, spy, a linebacker spy or the other lineman. Okay. I they they need the to best. force Lamar to pass the ball. Yeah, that's, that's what I'm what saying. That's what they need. Yeah. Contain him in the pocket, make him pass the ball, make sure he doesn't leave the pocket, you know? Because I think he's just okay as a passer. His receiving core is just okay. I know a lot was made of it. I like Zay Flowers, but, I mean, OBJ is old. He's just okay at this point. Like, for a number two guy, he's just okay. Yeah, I know. Uh, they're not, you know, they're not the greatest show on turf or anything. Uh, they could be beat. Edwards is pretty good. Yeah. Edward, Gus Edwards. It's a Gus bus. I wish Michael Keaton, or Michael Keaton, uh, Keaton. The was, actor? <laughs> Michael Keaton was still around. No. Uh, well, he's still around. But... Yeah. I wish Keaton was still going. Unfortunately, he had a season-ending injury. All right, Andrew's gone as well. Yeah, he's been, he, gone for he's been year. playing, though. He's not going to play in this game, but he's been practicing. Keaton I Mitchell? think. No, I'm talking about Andrews. I think they're saying he's not going to play now. Yeah. I don't know what the update is, but he's been practicing lately, yeah. Mark Andrews. Well, having Jadavion Clowney, Patrick Queen, and um, Kyle Hamilton will certainly help them on the defensive side of the ball. That's for sure. Uh, Dustin Thomas, Dustin Brett, and Chris Godfrey in the minis. Let me know, guys. Two box numbers. Uh, we actually get Patrick Queen and Kyle Hamilton in the break room as filler sometimes. Oh, I, I, uh, yeah, those I are, Kyle those, Hamilton. Those yeah. are guys I've seen here in the room. Oh, yeah. I like that. I like 
Kyle Hamilton is awesome. He's awesome, yeah. And so is Marlon Humphrey. Not to, not to, not to I mean, they have a, just a really good defense, period. They were my, my defense for fantasy. There you go. Probably pretty... I got them in the last round of the freaking draft. Wow. That, I, I draft my defense a little bit earlier. I go like so do I three to four rounds left. Uh, but I guess I'm an early guy for that one. So mini double will give you guys about 20 seconds in a box number, two box numbers rather. Then we'll run the mini double. Looks like the one in four is heating up. The jerseys are heating up. Uh, those are coming up very, very soon here. All right, I guess we'll pick our numbers. This will be the last break where I need to go to the wheel because after this, there'll be two minis left. Yeah. It'll be the last two. It's 14 through 16 and then 30 on the minis. All right, let's see here. Spinning this wheel. Let's see. Oh, look at that. Exact 14. Uh, right on the dot. So we'll do box 14 and our second wheel spin two so it's gonna be 15 is the closest so 14 and 15 in the minis which will leave us 16 and 30 for the last two thank you thank you daniel mini double box break move them chains, chains. Now that next mini series is also really good so we get this one closed up more fun to be had right yes and how's that next one in four looking, Daniel? Um, right now, we have two away in the single and two away in the double. Let's go. Uh, nine clicks here. We are set up. NFC North, uh, Dustin Rose, Brett McGinnis, NFC South, Dustin, NFC East, and NFC West, and AFC North. Uh, we got Thomas, AFC South, Brett, AFC East, and Chris Godfrey in the AFC West. Uh, so, favorite Bear nickname. So, George says favorite Bears quarterback, Bobby Douglas, 6'4", 225, who married a Playboy, Playboy model, and McMahon. What's your favorite Bear nickname? I'd say Refrigerator. The Fridge Refrigerator, William Perry. Yes, yes. Uh, my favorite is Peanut Tillman, Charles Tillman. I uh, love me a little peanut. He was an absolute beast. Of course, the fridge was an icon, uh, but I go with my era. Smoking Jay. Smoking Jay, yeah. Jay Smoking Cutler Jay. is pretty good. Smoking Jay. Uh, box 14 coming up. Oh, this is good. This is really good for a filler, actually. You know, you get a filler that's a former NFL MVP quarterback, you're doing pretty good. Uh, Rich Gannon, baby. Gannon. AFC West, Raider legend, Chris Godfrey. AFC West with Rich Gannon. As a kid, I was a big fan of those Raiders. Uh, Jerry Black Rice, Tim things. Brown, Rich Gannon. When the Bucks beat him in the Super Bowl, I was upset. I was going for the Raiders that year. I'm sure. Uh, nice get, uh, Chris. Rich Gannon. 02 NFL MVP. Oh, yeah. Uh, Mr. Gannon. Former Pro Bowl quarterback. Man. Good job, Chris. Chris Godfrey, longtime customer back in the break room. I love it, man. Love to hear it. So one more coming up in the mini double. Only three boxes left in the minis. One of them is Amari Cooper. Uh, fantastic receiver. He loved having Joe Flacco because Flacco just throws that ball around. Uh, he was a fun guy to have for Amari Cooper. He just slings it, fuck. Yeah, I think it was actually the game against the Texans in the regular season, uh, which C.J. Stroud was out in. Cooper had like 250-some receiving yards in that game. It was crazy. Oh, uh, yeah, 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 yeah. I remember, yeah, yeah, he 295. The two, I think it was 250. Either it was way. Two, about 260. It was a lot. It, it was he a, broke the Brown single-season record, yes. which was amazing. Amari Cooper. Uh, a single-game record, excuse me. Yes. Uh, let's see here. We got ourselves a Bengal. No, another Pro Bowl receiver for the Bengals. It's A.J. Green. Dude, A.J. Green yeah. is like borderline a Hall of Famer. Seven Pro Bowls in a row at one point, more than 10,000 yards. Yeah. Like, uh, he was very, very good. He was so good, man. AFC North, Dustin Rose. Heck yeah. <laughs> uh, favorite Bear, Lumberjack, Robbie George Rodin. The favorite 
Bear fan. Where is that? Uh, AJ Green. All right. Can you give yourself a nickname? Is that allowed or no? Oh, I... What do you think? No, I don't think so either. It has to be bestowed upon you. Yes. Uh, So, we call Robbie now Lumberjack Robbie. Because he came up with Headliner Robbie. And we we thought that, you know, he made that one up. So, I'm going with Lumberjack Robbie. That's the new nickname. So, you see Robbie tomorrow, be like, what's up, Lumberjack Robbie? Uh, He'll know what's up. He'll know what's Uh, up. What a character. Uh, So, good job, Dustin. AJ Green. It looks like a jersey break is ready to go, right, Daniel? Yes, it is. Favorite nickname in sports? What do you think? Uh, the White a- Mamba? AR-12. AR oh, come on. AR-12. Uh, that thing is sick. Air Jordan? Uh, hey, well, Air Jordan's great. I like I like Pocket Hercules. Maurice Jones-Drew. The great... One of my favorites. The great one. Yes, Wayne Gretzky. Wayne Gretzky. Um, style Bender. Which one is the Style Bender? Israel Adesanya. Ah, okay. Right. Um, Makes sense. Yeah. Uh, so, interesting. Style Bender is really cool. We got CMC. That's a good one. Very simple. Christian McCaffrey. Oh, wait. One more. The Notorious. Who's the Notorious? Connor McGregor. Ah, Okay. I'm a big fan. Fi- I love fighting. Muscle Hamster says Mel. Oh, who is who is Muscle Hamster? I don't know. Muscle Ham. It was um. Oh, I forgot what Muscle Hamster. Is. He's. Uh, I know who Mighty Mouse is. That's Demetrius Johnson. The Muscle Hamster. I'm not as into the fighting as you guys. You you and you and Colin. Talk to I Colin. I love fighting. Man. He's into fighting a lot. I would, uh, dude. I in another world, I'll cut weight and do it for a living. Okay. I love it. TJ wants box nine. Let's do box nine in the jerseys. Thank you, TJ Fussell. Um, Nigerian Nightmare, Christian Okoye. Okoye. Yeah, that's a great one. I mean, Shaq's got a lot. The Big Aristotle, Cactus. The Iron Horse, Lou Gehrig. The Iron Horse, Lou Gehrig, yep. I mean, Um, they call Cal Ripken the Iron Man. He's out there in that one and four. Mark McGuire, Big Mac. Big Mac, Salt and uh, and Swat. Babe Ruth. Babe Ruth. Uh, Yeah. Now I want to watch a Sandlot. Sandlot, yeah. Thanks, Daniel. Yeah. The salt in the sun. You don't know the big bambino? What's wrong with you? Go, Babe Ruth. <laughs> He's like, who's that? Uh-oh. Roderick Igmata, Niner Niner 49er fan. He's got the NFC West looking for CMC. Uh, Josh Hurwick in the NFC North. James Perella in the NFC South. TJ Fussell, NFC East. Uh, Roderick Agmata, NFC West, TJ in the AFC North, Roderick, AFC South, TJ, AFC East, and Patrick Butler in the AFC West. Box 9 of 30. Feed me the rock jerseys. Doug Martin. Doug Martin is muscle. Ah. Doug Martin. Doug Martin was a good running back. Yes, he was. Uh, Here's another running back. We got ourselves Blunt Force Trauma. Oh, hey, we were talking about LeGarrette earlier. Blunt, a three-time yeah. Super Bowl champion. Won two with the Pats, one with the Eagles. Uh, power back, AFC East. TJ Fussell with another one. Let's go, TJ. LeGarrette Blunt. All right. Kind of funny. We were talking about him earlier. Yeah. Sometimes inscribes that Blunt Force Trauma. On some of his stuff. Uh, Doug Martin Doug Martin running back for Boise State in the Bucks. That's right, Mal. Should have known Mal was going with a Buck reference. Uh, that's for sure. I mean, Doug Martin was really good for a while. He was. Yeah, for a little bit there. Power back with the right hook, says James. That's right. Uh, LeGarrette Blunt was a fighter. Uh, that is for sure. Uh, so, yes, sir, says TJ. Yes, sir, indeed. Frank Gore's a fighter now. He does some boxing. Why? He's crazy. (laughs) That's insane. Uh, He had the most carries in NFL history. Yes. So probably took, what, the most hits in NFL history. Yes. Uh, And now he wants to box. Yeah, that's insane. Uh, God. Frank Gore. If you play a sport that isn't boxing, it does not translate over to boxing. You should not do it. You're going to hurt yourself. I'm serious. I'll be honest with you. Like, I become a father one day. I'm not going to want my kids to box or play football. Let's be real. You're going to let your kid play football? I mean, I would let him, but I wouldn't yeah. want him to. It's a dangerous game, Daniel. 
Danger. These dudes are tough. I'm not saying I wouldn't let them. I'd let my kid live their own life, but wait, wait, wait. it's a dangerous sport. You don't want to play that way? Don't play. Break. <laughs> okay. There you That's go. all I got to say. Right All there. right. I like it. You don't want to play that way? Don't play. Break. Yeah. All right. Speaking of break, six boxes left. Uh, let's break that CMC. We are getting down to the nitty gritty here in that series. Uh, Erlacher, McCaffrey, two headliners left in the final six boxes in the jerseys. So this is going to get done anytime now, right? Let's get that next double done uh, for the jerseys. Because that was the single, right, Daniel? Yes, it was. That was the single we just broke. Let's see that double. Five to go on that double. Uh, wide open on the next single for the jerseys. And then that one in four, like we were saying, two to go in the double, two to go in the single. Uh, a lot of great headliners left in there, especially that Jay Jetta's ripped speed flex. I think this is LeGarrett right here. Nope, my bad. That's this is LeGarrett. That's Perryman. Here you go, sir. All right, guys. Uh, I mean, I guess I, you know, to be honest with you, I don't have to hype this up. You know, it's sold out already. Is it the double just sold out. That was quick. What? Uh, yep. Yeah, it, I mean, it's we're getting down to it. CMC baby. Uh, Jersey double number four. Well, give me a second. I gotta set it up. Oh, you're good. You yeah. you take your time. I will put it in the chat though for the guys. Yeah, go ahead. To get those numbers in. Just stand up to get the boxes. Uh, Bears, Monsters of the Midway, Butthead, Enforcer, Galloping Ghost. That's a good one. Ooh, that Mongo, good. Duck Coach, Sweetness. Sweetness. Uh, yeah, I was going to say Payton Sweetness. Payton is great. I was gonna say. Samurai Mike, of course. The Also, the Minister of Defense, Mike Singletary. Uh, the Danimal, that is Dan Hampton. Papa Bear, a good one. The Minister of Mayhem. Yeah, Minister of Mayhem as well. A lot of good ones for the Bears. Uh, do we have a bear that's coming up in the break room? Brian Erlacher. Erlacher yeah. yeah, I know McCaffrey's going to get pulled, but so is Erlacher in these jerseys. Uh, no. So, love it, guys. Absolutely love it. Threw me a little curveball there. Agmata got two in the single, and I thought he was a part of the double. And he wasn't. Okay, you're good. And I think in case we do close things up, they should be ready. I think the goal line stand is the next jerseys, Daniel. If you want to make note, goal line stand. Because it is looking like we might be dropping that tonight, potentially. Potentially. We'll see. We'll see. Okay. Uh, let's see. Jerseys, we did 14 and 22. Thank you so much, Daniel Kyler. Get those two off the ticker. And is that six left? Let's see. Three, five... That's one, two, three, four. Yep, that's six left then. So that ticker is right in the jerseys then. And we don't have a lot on that ticker right now, which means that we are closing in a bunch of series, Daniel, yeah. which is just the way we like to see it. Three, five, seven, eight, 21, and 28 left in the jerseys. Uh, give me two of those numbers, guys. If you are in that break, of course. And that single is only five to go. So it's Christopher Taylor, Justin Kinslow, Nick Marmula, and then the rest is Mel Murdoch. So let me know if that's one of you guys, what numbers you want. Otherwise, I will go wheeling and dealing again to that magical wheel. Uh, the Nuggets beat the Celtics on the road. Boston's first home loss of the season. Wow. 20-1 and one at home. Uh, Nikola Jokic, 34 points, 12 rebounds, 9 assists. Uh, he's pretty good. <laughs> oh, yeah, I'd say. Uh, let's do 7 and 21. Thank you, Mel. We got John Elway and we got Slammin' Sammy Sosa here. Let's do 7 and 21 on the way. Or I could just say primetime. Primetime was 21. But I just like Slammin' Sammy Sosa. Good luck, guys. Is it getting to that McCaffrey time here in the jerseys? Is it time for Christian? Nine clicks. Who's getting that NFC West? 
eight and nine. Mel's got the NFC West, but Justin has the NFC North where there is a Brian Erlacher still lurking. Uh, so Mel actually has all the NFC but the North, which is Justin. Mel's got the AFC North. Nick's got the AFC South. And Christopher Taylor, AFC East and AFC West in Feed Me the Rock double box break. Do you smell all, 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 what the rock is cooking? The rock is cooking. All right. Yes. Let's see here. Box seven here in the jerseys. Not CMC. No, we got ourselves Cornelius Bennett right here uh, on the custom jersey. Buffalo Bill. Uh, Cornelius Bennett. Whole lot of bills tonight. Holy cow. Oh, yeah. Uh, that is JSA certified for Christopher Taylor. Uh, Ronnie and Salako in the chat says, What's left in the diamonds? Every single photoed headliner but Troy Polamalu, Ronnie. And Randy Moss. My bad. Randy we did Moss. pull Randy Moss. So Moss is gone. Polamalu is gone. Oh, yeah. The rest are out there in the diamonds. AKA a lot of good stuff, Ronnie. Uh, so Cornelius Bennett was a linebacker for uh, the great Buffalo Bill defenses, five-time Pro Bowler, part of the uh, Hall of Fame 1990s All-Decade team. Okay. Uh, played for that team that made four straight Super Bowls, the Buffalo Bills. Cornelius Bennett, yeah. Uh, you're welcome, Ronnie. You are welcome, man. Hope all is good, Ron Ron. Uh, Ronnie and Salako did make an appearance last night. In that high roller series, but then again, Shocking. so did everybody. That was a big level player. Uh, good get right there, Christopher Taylor. So five boxes left now. Christian McCaffrey and Erlacher both still out there. Yeah, the little chase for CMC is officially on. Then what do you, you mean? You just calling it now? <laughs> like calling it's been what? going happening the whole show. Oh, I know. I know. <laughs> but it's really it has been happening the whole but show. This, but this is But it's an intensifying, Daniel. Yes. It also feels like it's, it's you know it's ending, right? Yeah, it's like uh, the final. Cuz I mean, it's the, the final finale. the final countdown. Dun dun dun. Damn. Great yeah. song. Great song. Yeah, yeah it's it's okay. <laughs> so, all right. Is then, Mel Murdoch getting this one? The next minis and the next jerseys are both ready to go. The ra oh, so we could drop new minis then, actually, yeah. right? There are two more. Oh, you're saying the next are ready they're for ready you whenever ready they're more dropped. More. Okay. Whenever they're ready. Yeah. Thank you, sir. Twenty-one coming up. Twenty-one of thirty. Is it time for CMC? Uh, box twenty-one. It's that time, oh! baby. How about it? <laughs> Christian McCaffrey! Mel Mel Mel, 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 Mel. Mel Murdoch, baby. CMC. Mel. Incredible right there. That's awesome. Uh, the best running back in the league. One of three guys with 1,000 rushing yards and 1,000 receiving yards in the same season. Led the league in rushing this season. I think he led the league in total touchdowns. Mostert had more rush yes, touchdowns. But you add up rushing and receiving CMC at the top. Uh, the likely NFL Offensive Player of the Year. Me and Daniel, we don't think the MVP is a quarterback award. He's my MVP. My MVP. He's Daniel's MVP. Uh, he is the best running back in football. Christian McCaffrey. Oh, darn. Great hit, man, says Roderick. Yes, CMC, says Mel. Congrats from George. Uh, great, great jersey right there. Christian McCaffrey. Awesome. We could probably take down the next double. Has it been bought into yet? Oh, shoot. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, right. Let's take a peek. I don't think it is. It might be. No. Let's take a peek. Let me check. I see it wide open on my end, but I know it takes a second sometimes. Yeah, let me see. Other products. Let me do that thing real quick. Updated. News first. So great job, Mel. CMC, baby. An absolute beast. You know, he's the type of guy that teams know they're going to go to him, and they still can't stop him. A great receiving, great running, kind of the perfect running back for 2023. Now, these days, your running back's got to do both. 
not only does he receive and run, he also throws touchdown passes. Oh, yeah. By the way, this year, McCaffrey had 1,459 rush yards. The next closest guy, Derrick Henry, 1,167. He had almost 300 more yards than the second closest guy. Well, the, uh, the Niners and Shanahan's offense are like the last power run. I, I don't want to call it power running, but the last running style offense probably left Yeah, in the NFL. 5.4 yards a carry as well for McCaffrey. Uh, the guy was just a beast. Yes, he a was. very efficient guy. Every time he touches the ball, it feels like a first down waiting to happen. It is. Uh, literally. Uh, he is just uh, such an electric piece. I uh, really felt refreshed with the Niners. He's looked really, really good. 564 receiving yards this year, too, on top of the 1459. Near, nearly 2,000 yards from scrimmage. I think it's more than 2,000. How, how, how many? How many? 1459 plus 564. So just right around just, 50, just over. Right around 2,000. Yeah, yeah right just 2000. over. 14 rushing touchdowns and seven receiving touchdowns. Man, he's got to be the freaking MVP. Tw- 21 man. touchdowns and more than 2,000. Uh, yards in all, Christian McCaffrey. Yeah. Yeah, this guy is nuts. What a player, man. CMC for Mel Murdoch. Omar says, sweet hit, congrats. Uh, yes, indeed, Omar. Omar is a Niner fan, uh, loving Christian McCaffrey. Niner, Niner, 49er. Anyone want to run back a diamond single or double, says Ronnie. I would love to see it, Ronnie. A lot of great stuff in the diamonds. Uh, also in the one in four, still have that insane Justin Jefferson ripped speed flex half lsu uh half uh, vikings that one is only two spots away uh that's one that should happen here shortly so four jerseys left uh we do have brian erlacher still out there for the guys that want to get another headliner in the jerseys i think the cmc is going to be in the hit video tonight oh yeah uh, i think it has to be it's uh you know something different we usually do authentic helmets Last night, we had the biggest hit video ever, 17 speed flexes. Uh, but McCaffrey, we can't leave out McCaffrey on a hit video. I don't care what he's on. He's going to the hit video, Christian McCaffrey. We have a single ready to go right now. For the jerseys? Yes, yes. Feed Me the Rock, Roger Wigmata, uh, Nick Mamula, Dustin Rose. So, Diamond, this actually jersey single. Jersey single number nine. Go ahead and drop me a box number. I think it's going to be cold and snowy, George, in Buffalo. I saw that they're actually asking fans to shovel again in Buffalo, uh, which is crazy. It does say 20 degrees, though, so it's not going to be... Like, super cold. It won't be. I mean, it's going to be cold, but not super cold for what it is. Uh, so a little snow at times accu- accumulating to an inch so light snow you know how cold, nothing crazy you know how cold it's been recently when i was working my other yeah. job i was sweating when it was 20 degrees yeah because you have to put the way- layers on I'm telling you. yeah it's been so cold that i actually have to uh uh heat up water to open up my car because it's frozen wild. it's That's bad it is bad Roderick wants 28 in the jersey thank you Roderick. 28 going off the ticker for our Jersey series, only Fred three left. Jackson, right? Fred Jackson. Fred Jackson. No, also, I'm sorry, not Fred Jackson. Well, Fred, Fred Taylor. Fred Taylor. Fred Taylor. Fred Taylor. Fred Taylor. I get those guys mixed up all the time. Yeah. So I'll put this McCaffrey right here. Three Freds in the kitchen. A lot of Freds. It is the game of the week. I think it's the last game. It is the game of the week. Uh, it's at five thirty. I think it's on CBS. Uh, but it's kind of like that prime time slot. Uh, all the other, you know, conference championship games will be set. The last one's going to be Buffalo and Kansas City. It's going to be electric. Wait a minute. When do the when do the did, when does Detroit play? Twelve. They play two, I think. So they're doing two and five instead of three yeah. And seven. I think it's two and five thirty oh. on Sunday. I'm gonna I'm gonna miss like almost every game, man. Not the Chief and Bill game. I mean, you'll miss some of it. Yeah, maybe like the first quarter or something. Not yeah. Maybe. Well, you can watch some of the Texan Raven game three thirty. Yeah. Yeah. Is that the one I'm looking forward to? <laughs> yeah, right? Of course. Go figure. Uh, go figure. Uh, so, Roderick, Nick, Dustin, we'll get you guys set up. Nine clicks here uh, for our jersey break. Yeah, I'm pumped. Allen versus Mahomes, round three in the playoffs. Uh, last time they met, it was that 13-second miracle and the overtime win for the Chiefs. 
Yes, it was indeed. Uh, so don't talk about no job either. A Jort, you don't like Romo and Jim? I like Romo and Jim Nance. I'm a Romo fan. A lot of people don't like Romo and G- Romo and Jim Nance. I love them. I I I love Romo. I like Nance. I like Nance. Uh, I mean, I'm more of a Romo than a Nance guy, but they're good. Uh, honestly, what do you like more than Nance? Call me crazy. I don't like. I don't hate any broadcast team they have. No. A lot of people will say Joe Buck. I'm like Joe Buck is good. Collinsworth's a little ridiculous. Collinsworth sometimes. is a little bit. He's, he's a, a little, little over bit top. over the top. Although he's in love. What can I say? He's in love with these players. Yeah. Uh, so, he likes your guy. Uh, <laughs> he does. Why. He does love Patty. Yeah. Uh, Roderick's got the NFC North, NFC South. Dustin NFC East, NFC West. Nick AFC North. Dustin, AFC South, East, and West. Feed me the rock. Do you have... Ah, I can get them from the other room. I need more post-it notes. Oh, yeah, I can get them. Uh, thank you, sir. Oh, we got 28 coming up. No, you know, you'll like it better. Marv Fleming. Wow. With the Super Bowl cool. champion inscription. Uh, Daniel likes his Packers. Marv Fleming, JSA certified for... Roderick Egmata. I'll be right there in a second. That's my phone. Oh, you're good. I take this. I, every day I go to bed at 10 o'clock on the weekdays. Ah, so that's a, it's... My, my uh, go to sleep. Go on. to sleep thing? Yeah. God, I'm so bad with my sleep schedule. I'm on that, like, 2 or 3 to 10 or 11 sleep schedule. Dude, what? Uh, well, I, I get out at, like, midnight. You know, I'm home midnight True. a lot of times here. Uh, so I need a couple hours to wind down. Sure. Yeah, you gotta wind down. You I, gotta even wind I down. agree with that. I agree. You with need that. to wind down. Uh, so George is not a fan on Romo and Nance. Okay. Wild and interesting. I mean, it's all a matter of personal preference. Yeah, of course. Everyone's got their guys. A lot, a lot of people say they don't like Al Michaels. I'm like Al Michaels called the miracle on ice. Al Michaels is a legend. I know he's he's lost a step or two. He's a little bit older, but it's Al Michaels. It's Al Michaels. I, I like Al Michaels. Uh, you know, people don't like uh, my favorite guy, because uh, I'm an energy guy. You know me. I yell myself. Um, why am I blanking on his name right now? Uh, the number two guy for CBS. Not Nance. Why? Well, I'm having a oh, dumb moment. Oh, you're talking about Tariko? No, no, no he's on NBC. NBC. He's on NBC. Um, why am I having a really dumb moment right now? He's a great... He's a basketball and football oh, uh, oh, play-by-play oh, guy. Oh, yeah, um... I'm having a really dumb moment it's right now. Kevin Daniel. Harlan, is it? Kevin Harlan. Kevin Harlan. Yeah, Love yeah, Kevin, Kevin Harlan. Harlan. Kevin Harlan's cool. Uh, Kevin Harlan is fantastic. Uh, Al was great, says George. Uh, say Al Michaels is a legend, that's for sure. What? Um... Now, Kevin Harlan just, he's got a lot of funny stories. Uh, what that's for was sure. That with Fleming? Marv Fleming. Marv Fleming? Yeah. Super Bowl really champion it. inscription. Marv Fleming. You're probably too young to watch him play, right? I mean, you hear about him. You hear, uh, when you I went stuff. to the Super, Bowl, when I went to Lambo, they got like all the guys from the Super Bowl teams and the Lambo leap or the Lambo leap, the Green Bay Hall of Fame. So yeah, you read about him. You read about him. Yeah. Uh, so good job, Roderick. Uh, three boxes left. Uh, still looking for Brian Erlacher in the jerseys. Then a fresh series coming up after that. What's everyone's favorite broadcaster team? For NFL games or any sport, quite frankly. Um, I don't know if I have a favorite. I, I really liked John Madden and Pat Summerall. Those were the first Those guys the I listened to. Ever. Those guys were great. John Madden was an incredible color commentator. Yeah. I, I don't know if you could top those guys. No, it'd be but those, those were the first. Those were the guys when I first started watching. But, like, as a combo, uh, that was my guys. Oh, Ronnie. I, I don't miss them, certainly. That's for sure. Ronnie and Salako. Uh, I guess let's do a top-to-bottom rundown. Steve likes Doc, Doc Emery. Emery. Yeah, God yeah. bless you. We are, the Hawks made the for, playoffs for hockey, so many times. He's great. I used to watch him all the time, man. Uh, visited Lake Placid, says George. Should be a national landmark. That's cool. Yes. That is very cool. 1918, man, I'm telling you. Uh, so let's do a top-to-bottom rundown. You guys keep telling us your favorite play-by-play color guys and more importantly let me know what else you guys want to break tonight because we still got a lot of great stuff so the new diamonds we've done uh how many i think i think we've done three today right yeah uh, and we did one earlier today so 26 left uh, that includes a dual sign DAC and cd flash authentic who would have thought before the season started 
Dak Prescott, first in passing touchdowns, C.D. Lamb, second in receiving yards. Can you believe that? That's nuts. Uh, What a great combo. Uh, We got ourselves Bo Jackson on that Salute to Service Speed Flex, the new Salute to Service. Uh, Bo knows. Uh, So no Funko of that one, Ronnie and Salako. In Ronnie's dreams, though. Yeah. Uh, Ronnie is requesting a Stormy Daniels Funko. That's back when they were terrible. They had terrible Uh, music, bad quality. It doesn't even matter anymore. I think he's talking about, isn't that the porn star? That's what I'm saying. Yeah. yeah that's what I'm saying. Rotting in Salado. That's back when it was in its, like, like that's like playing 50s NFL football. Yeah. Like, you know, they're legends, but they're not as good as there, there, there could be one, Ronnie. You never know. Uh, Bo Jackson definitely out there, though. Bo knows. Uh, we got the Mike Evans Chrome Flex. The most consistent wideout ever every single year. Over 1,000 yards. Uh, he did also get himself the NFL lead in touchdown catches this year, yeah. tied with the cheetah, Tyree Kill. Mr. Hill. Uh, Ray Lewis, most tackles ever, the scariest linebacker of my generation. No I know the previous generation had Lawrence Taylor. This one has Ray Lewis. Uh, it's like, you know, both are terrifying. I would not want to get tackled by either. I would say, like, you know, 500 bucks or get tackled by Ray Lewis, I'd say. Uh, I wouldn't take the money. I just have to run away. I'd run away. Uh, I'd run away from Ray Lewis. Uh, DK Metcalf, Speed Flex, uh, one of the most uh, athletic beasts. I actually saw something on social media. DK Metcalf showed up to his uh, pre draft interview in Seattle without a shirt on. Yeah, well, that's because he wanted Carroll to show took off the shirt his off. body. Yeah. yeah, and it worked. it worked. They picked him up. He's done well for him. Yeah. Uh, DK Metcalf. He's a, 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 a beautiful part of speed and power yes really. he's got it all he is uh warren moon he's a pro football hall of famer also a canadian football league hall of famer he is i, I looked Won that up five great cups five, five great cups That's in canada crazy so here's a stat for you daniel if you add up his canada yards and his america yards he's actually fifth all time in passing yards that's uh, it yeah i thought he'd be higher but still though that's oh, amazing. all time all time i mean we're yeah. talking brady we're talking breeze, breeze. Manning and Favre, Favre. yeah, and that's it. Uh, so great. No, hey, hey, listen, he's great. He, I think he's the only black quarterback in there for being a quarterback. Yeah, but he certainly is the first black quarterback of all time, which is still amazing. As well. Yes, the first the uh, Hall black of Hall of Fame quarterback, uh, the Pro Football Hall of Fame. Adrian Peterson, uh, yeah. the last running back to win the MVP, yeah, could I be the last guy to ever win it. Uh, Madden was a legend. Cosell Monday Night Football halftime highlights. Of Sunday games was epic, says George. Worked in the booth with Cosell. That's awesome, George. George, you worked with Howard Cosell? Or is he talking about or, John Madden? Or Madden. Yeah, I don't know. If you worked in the booth with Howard Cosell, you need to say it right now. Yeah, that's pretty cool. That is pretty cool. Legend. Uh, two to go in the one and four. Two to go in the one and four. Uh, got the Giannis basketball in there. Uh, he's an absolute a fantastic basketball player. You know, it's kind of special when... One of the best scorers in the league is also one of the best defensive players in the league, uh, Giannis Antetokounmpo. There was a Mahomes I mean, and a Manning Wilson in this thing, yes. too? Yes. Oh, I wish I could have seen and that. It got ripped apart the first night. Like, oh. th- this is this is this this series is moving. It's going well. We've done seven, eight. Yeah. But, you know, you've been here and we've done, like, 20 in a, in a night. We did a whole series one night. We did a whole series in yeah, one night. Series. Exactly. Mm-hmm. The only reason why it's not flying is those were, like, in the first, like, four boxes. That's wild. It was crazy. Uh, so, Kit Harrington, King of the North. Jon Snow, one of the most iconic characters in television history. Yes. Uh, Cal Ripken Jr. Uh, man, this guy was... Uh, you may look it up, Daniel, but he played in a million All-Star games, it feels like. I think like. it's like 17 or Something 16. like that, Cal Ripken Jr. Not, so. uh, Mark McGuire, one of the best power hitters ever. 70 home runs was the most in baseball history. Until Barry Bonds hit 73. Steroids or not, you hit 70 home runs. That is just unbelievable. 19-time All-Star. 19 times for Cal Ripken. What? Nuts. Uh, Randy Johnson on that Seattle Mariner uh, batting helmet with the big unit inscription on Randy Johnson. Uh, that is, uh, He's actually a photographer now. Do you know that? Not sure. He, he works as a photographer. He's like a- taking photos at sports games. So cool. And other events, yeah. I think his company is like, it's a, it's a play on on birds. Actually, when he hit the bird, <laughs> I can't remember what it's called, but it's a play on on that. Uh, we do have Marshawn Lynch still out there in this series, Beast Mode. 
Uh, we still have Julius Irving, Tom Glavin, Saquon Barkley, Vladimir Guerrero Jr. Uh, got a lot of incredible stuff left in that one in four series, guys. Only two spots to go in the single, two spots to go in the double. Uh, seven spots to go in the diamond helmets, 174 bucks a spot. You get yourself the NFC East. You get Saquon and Dak and CD. You know, well over a thousand dollar value, uh, just for 174 bucks. I mean, Ray Lewis Hydroflex, Mike Evans Chrome Flex. Uh, those are easily worth more than a thousand dollars. Some incredible helmets in that one as well. Uh, so come and get the diamonds. One in four, two to go in the single. Uh, look at this Jay Jetta's lid, uh, Daniel. This thing is just. I don't know. I don't know. It's a half LSU, half Viking rip speed flex. Uh, one of the most talented receivers, really, of all time, Justin Jefferson. Oh, Those Minnesota Viking receivers grow on trees. Yes, it's like do. your Packers. You got your you know, quarterbacks, Bart Starr, Rodgers, Favre, now Jordan Love. Well, in Minnesota, uh, you know, it's Chris Carter, it's Randy Moss, it's Justin Jefferson. Heck, even Jordan Addison now. Yeah. Uh, they got some great wideouts out there in Minnesota. Uh, we got eight to go in the Move the Chain minis. One break left. Uh, still got Amari Cooper left. Uh, one of the best route runners in the game. It is a guaranteed headliner in that double box break. Amari Cooper still available in the minis. Uh, Rep Helmet, seven to go. Only two boxes left in that series. Jersey seven to go. Only three boxes left, including the Brian Urlacher. Mm -hmm. So, guys, it is 10-10 right now. Uh, let me know what else you want to rock and roll with. This break is happening for sure. Uh, the one in four single and the one in four double. These are both one away. Uh, after that, we'll see what else we'll do. But those two are definitely happening, Daniel. Yep. At least three more boxes. I think we did seven one in four. Uh, that leaves us with 22 boxes left. We got ourselves one, two, three, four, five, six photo headliners, but we also have five secondary headliners. So we have, with the secondary headliners, an 11 and 22 chance at a headliner. That, my friend, is 50%. That's kind of good odds. 50%? Yeah. Uh, that sounds pretty nice. Uh, so, guys, let's get that done. And let's rock with the diamonds. Four to go in the diamond double. This gets down to, you know, two or three left. More than halfway there. Uh, this could break tonight. Uh, so, excellent show as always. Had a blast ripping through boxes. A lot of great one and four items. A lot of great jerseys. Uh, we got Mel Murdoch here. Still keeping the party alive. Who's going to join him? Uh, Nick is in those jerseys. All right, Nick. Uh, so Mel is in here, Adam's in here, Frank's in here, Ronnie's in here. Uh, let's keep those orders going, guys. As long as the orders are coming in, we are still breaking boxes. Right, Daniel? Yes, it is. Uh, that is the game plan uh, for sure. Definitely 2-1-4. and four. Uh, Diamonds are the chase, by the way. Yep. So you want to get in that chase wheel spin? Let's close up that diamond uh, break that has four spots left. Uh, hit of the show tonight. Uh, I think the CMC jersey is nice, but for the top hit, it's got to be Randy Moss. Uh, this is a beautiful, authentic, uh, one of the best receivers of all time, Randy Moss. That famous Thanksgiving game that kind of announced himself to the rest of the NFL. The three catches, three touchdowns, like 150-plus receiving yards against the Cowboys. Uh, that was a rookie Randy Moss. After that... You know, it was great. It was. Uh, the mooning, wasn't that isn't the Packers when he mooned them? Yep, at the Lambeau. He didn't actually moon them. I think he did like a, a fake moon, yeah, right? Yeah, a fake moon. Which is crazy because back then it was like people were freaking out. Outraged. <laughs> it was like, oh my God. I know. Like it's, I mean, he didn't actually moon them, but that was like a, a pretty famous uh, Randy Moss moment. Uh, so uh, let's get some more heat. Uh, I actually think a Randy Moss, Justin Jefferson hit video could be nice okay. two to go on that diamond double so looks like we are gonna rip at least two more diamond boxes uh we are just two to go ronnie and salako and dustin rose making the moves michael bennett says shut it down one and four 
Asta Luego. One and four is ready, Daniel. I know, I'm Let's sorry. Let's go. Oh, you're good, no problem. Uh, it, it literally sold out 20 seconds ago, so yeah. you're fine. One and four, single number four. Go ahead and drop me a box number. Is it time for Jettas? Little it? Justin Jefferson in the break room. You know, I, I got spoiled last night. 17 speed flexes, uh, you know, in like five hours, Daniel. No speed flexes for me today. No. I, I'm missing out on speed flexes. I want to see Jay Jettas. I want to see Mike Evans, Chrome Flex. Bo Jackson, Salute to Service Flex. Ray Lewis, Hydro Flex. Uh, a lot of great speed flexes still out there. Uh, let's get them opened up tonight. Uh, Metcalf also a speed flex as well. Lunar Flex. Uh, Michael Bennett wants 11 in the 1 and 4. Packer fans, Moon Vikings bus. So it was payback. Thinking Viking, Vikings to draft Harrison, says George Rodin. Marvin yeah. Harrison? Yeah. Uh, they're, they already got enough receivers. Wait, we're not going to draft Marvin Harrison. I don't know. That's what, that's what George so is saying. The original saying. Marvin Harrison, senior, right? I don't know. Some of senior. I don't know. It says thinking Vikings should draft Harrison. Oh, I don't know. So, they, I don't know if that's gonna happen. <laughs> uh, that that no, it's not. They're gonna have not have the draft pick. They won't have it. Marvin Harrison is probably going number two overall, most likely. Yeah, no, maybe I three. You had, yeah, I was like, wait, what? No. I don't know. I'm that not, would be amazing, though. I mean, that would be certainly something. It wouldn't actually be a bad move because it would make him unguardable. It would uh, be. So Michael and Adam in here. Adam's got one. Michael's got three. Uh, one and four on the way. Michael's like, I, I, I can't wait for this. I want to get this done tonight. And I don't blame you, Michael. With the stuff in this series, I don't blame you one bit, brother. Uh, so we got five, six, seven, eight, and nine clicks. So Michael's got the top three spots. That's the NFL, NBA, MLB. And the everything else spot is Adam. Uh, we got box 11 here, called out by Michael Bennett. What do we have here in this excellent, fantastic 1-4 in four series? Haven't really missed with this one tonight, Daniel. No. I mean, like, the fillers, like, brought back childhood memories, Robert Ori. That thing was cool, remember that? Yeah. And that was, like, the... The bad hit in the one and four. Uh, that's how nice that series is. Another basketball here. Another basketball. Ah, put the goggles out. Former NBA champion, Horace Grant. Grant that yeah. That's cool. uh, he was actually the third best player on that Bulls team in the early 90s. It was Magic. Not Magic. It was MJ, <laughs> Scotty, and then Horace Grant. I know we had a little bit of a falling out with MJ. Uh, but former All-Star, played well with the Magic as well. Uh, had those big goggles. Uh, NBA, Michael Bennett with Horace Grant. He says, thank you. You're welcome, man. Heck yeah. You are welcome. Yeah, so, very cool. Horace Grant. Horace yeah. Grant. Four championships. Yeah, with the... Uh, he won one with the Lakers, Lakers. too. Lakers yeah. later on uh, with the Shaq and Kobe team. Uh, four times on the NBA All-Defensive Second team. Oh, yeah. A uh, guy played some defense, Mr. Horace Grant. He's like, I mean, I don't think he's a Hall of Famer by chance, but he's Hall of Very, Very Good. Yeah, I mean, the Hall of Very Good. Uh, really? That's, that's, that's true. So, I mean, I always think of, uh, you know, the guys that have won the championships, and I think of Horace Grant. I mean, he's played with Jordan, played with Pippen. He's played with, Actually, I think he played with Shaq with the Magic he, and the He was Lakers. on that team that beat them when Jordan came back. Exactly. Yes, so played with Penny Hardaway, yes, uh, played with Kobe, Shaq. Uh, you know, Phil Jackson coached them. Just the stories he can tell his kids. Oh, that one time where Michael, you know, hit that shot, you know, he dunked on a guy. Then Kobe went off that time. Uh, it's just uh, such a special, special scenario. Uh, Horace Grant. Uh, all the guys he played with, man. Played with some legends. So, good job, Michael Bennett. Uh, very nice hit on the Horace Grants. What? 
All right, so what are we doing next? The one in four double is right on, on deck, right? Yes, it is. I think we got to be... I think we're sold out, actually. Yep, we just did. Michael Perfect. Bennett. One in four double just sold out. Let's get that diamond double done, guys. Let's make a push. want to get you guys in that wheel spin. Two spots to go. Uh, would be a shame to not knock out that diamond double. Uh, JSA certified on your Horace Grant ball, uh, Michael Bennett. We got winners today. It's a theme. Horace Grant, four titles. Uh, Robert Ory, seven titles. Oh, uh, man. I like this. I, see, I like basketball. I'm a big basketball fan, and the only time I get to see basketball is the one in four. Yep. Gets me pumped. That's cool. I mean, it's it's one of my favorite sports. Uh, that, definitely for sure. Uh, so, one in four. Double is next. Mel, Patrick, Mel, and Michael. And all of these guys are pretty much on winning streaks right now this is like the heavyweight break right here yes uh go ahead and drop me two box numbers guys what other basketball did we pull earlier uh, ori ori robert ori yeah cool yeah i was putting basketball uh five and 19 says michael peggy fleming gold medalist says george rodine there you go george uh let's see five we have on the ticker, 19 looks like we have as well. 5 and 19. 5 and 19. The Joe Montana Chief number. So Mel, Patrick, Mel, and Michael. Good luck, gentlemen. Uh, let's see. Maybe it's time for Jay Jettas. Who knows? Could be that Jetta moment. And we are mostly open on the break page after this. Again, that diamond double is going to happen, Daniel. Two spots to go. That bad boy's happening. Mm -hmm. After that, let's jump right back in to keep the night going. I mean, the one in fours, those can fill up quick. We really don't only need, like, one or two people to play that. Yeah. You know, one person gets two spots. The other person gets two spots. We're off and running in the one in four, just like that. Nine clicks. George, who's your favorite athlete of all time? There's a George Roding question, because that guy likes a diverse por portfolio of guys. Curious to see George's favorite athlete ever. Uh, nine clicks, Patrick Woods in the football spot. Mel Murdoch, the NBA. Uh, we got the MLB as Michael Bennett, and Mel in the everything else. A lot of MLB headliners left, uh, that's for sure. Big Mac, Cal Ripken. Uh, Randy Johnson. That's probably the spot with the most photo headliners right now in that one in four series. Cool. Ah, here's a good one. I think you said this earlier. I think it is correct. The last 300 game winner, Tom Glavin. No, no, no. Randy Johnson. Randy Johnson was the last. Was the last. He's the second. One. You said the last two. Last is that what so you that said? said last, last yeah, two. you may confirm that, but Tom Glavin. A very different pitcher than Randy Johnson. More of that crafty lefty. Didn't throw as hard, but he was almost as effective. Uh, that's the MLB spot. Michael Bennett with uh, Tom Glavin. Yeah, Tom Glavin. All right. He got his... Uh, he was the second to last guy to win 300 games. I think he did in 2007, I believe, with the uh, New York Mets. Unbelievable player for the Braves. Uh, I think he's a two, one or two times Cy Young. I got it pulled up. Two times Cy, Cy Young award winner. award winner. A World Series MVP. Yes, he was. A World Series champion. Ten-time All-Star. Four Silver Slugger award wins. 305 wins for his career. Tom Glavin. Uh, nice, says Michael Bennett. Nice indeed. It was the Maddox, Glavin, and Smoltz trio. A little bit surprising. They only won one World Series together. Can you believe that? Uh, Tom Glavin had one, two, three, four, five 20 plus win seasons. 20 or more wins. He had five of them. Oh, yeah. Uh, Tom Glavin. He was incredible. Uh, fantastic pitcher. Uh, most of his career with the Braves, briefly with the Mets. Then he actually came back for one season uh, with the Braves at the end. 13 starts. Yeah. Uh, kind of. That was kind of when he was kind of done. He was quite done. frankly. He was done. Uh, but nice hit right there. Michael Bennett. Um, one thing about Glavin. He's a part of what's probably the most famous uh, commercial 
in Is the chicks dig the long ball? MLB history. Yeah, him and yeah. Maddox. Yeah, yeah. And chicks dig the long ball. I love that one. Remember Baseball Tonight? Remember that show? Were you too bit, young? Yeah. I used I to love that as a kid. Based, I think it's like not a thing anymore. No, it's uh, not. But I but, thought it ended like in the like 2010 or something. Well, not right? Baseball Tonight. There was the Baseball Tonight's on ESPN. There's one. It was the Fox show. What is it called? Uh, it was like a, I don't know. It was a show they had on like Saturday afternoon on Fox. It was a baseball show. It was I watched really Around good. the Horn. That's uh, okay. That's and then also I like. Uh, Diamond, you know, I don't, I'm not, I'm, I was never into shows. I was into watching games. Yeah, you know, uh, John Rocker was definitely a lunatic. Sean, he was also a lefty pitcher, uh, a little bit crazier than Tom Glavin. Uh, Twins beat Glavin one one zero in the World Series. Says George, talking about Chicago, Chicago and Kirby Puckett. Yes, yes. Uh, nice hit, Michael. Those Braves teams were good. They were great. Twins uh, teams with Puckett were great. Uh, NL East, they won that division how many times in a row? Probably like five or six. No, it was a Long lot Mets, more. Ten. It was. Let me look it up. It was. I think it was double digits. Good Braves day. consecutive division titles. It was like eleven or twelve. Fourteen. Fourteen, Fourteen straight division titles. Ninety-one to two thousand five for the Atlanta Braves. So that means that, and and he was there for almost all of them. He was the Met for the last three, but he was there for 11 straight division titles, you know, Tom Glavin. It's crazy to think, though, that in 97, in 97 uh, the wild card from the AL East won the championship. Florida. The Marlins. Marlins in 97. Yeah, so, yeah they did. Doesn't always, the division titles are great, but he won the World Series, which was awesome. Yeah, I mean, he, he was a great pitcher, Tom Glavin. Yeah. 14 straight. That's consistent. That is incredible. Man. I noticed that. That is, uh, I mean, it's almost like the Packers. I don't think it's ever going to happen again. 14 straight division titles in baseball? No. Maybe the Dodgers with Otani. Yeah. I mean, maybe. San Francisco's a good team, though, too. 14's a lot, Daniel. That's a lot. You got to stay lot. healthy. A lot of things got to go right. It's nearly a decade and a half. Uh, that is a lot. Ten innings, epic win by Jack Morris, says George. Kirby's my favorite. He's Jack, a Minnesota fan. Hey, Jack I Morris, you. shout out the Detroit Lions. Oh, Detroit Lions. Detroit Tigers. Detroit Tigers, yeah. I love Jack Morris. I have Jack Morris' rookie card. You do? I do. Nice. I have a, dude, that's my thing, baseball cards. That's your thing. That's I get it. Uh, good job, Michael Bennett. Tom Glavin, a secondary headliner, uh, but a very good one. I got Rhinos, too. Uh, Ryan Sandberg? Ryan Sandberg. Nice. Yeah, he was awesome. One of the best second basemen of all time. I got like four Reggie Jacksons. Three of them are on uh, California. There's a lot of Reggie Jackson stuff out there. I know. There's also a lot of autographs by him. Uh, he was in... We had him in the Hanging Headliners. The Hanging Headliners, We actually yeah. pulled him. You know? Yeah. <laughs> we did a couple of those last night, but I think uh, those did you know tail off a little bit. Uh, we got ourselves box five coming up next. Five of 40 and a one in four. We got it. It's another baseball one. Tell me he's doubling up with this. Uh, he is doubling up with a really good baseball player. Could be a headliner. It's not in this series. Gary Sheffield. Sheffield. Fair enough. Yeah, it's a good one. More than 500 career home runs, Gary Sheffield. Five? I think it's 5'11". Five, no, it might be, yeah, 5'10 or 5'11". Uh, yeah, whatever. Gary Sheffield... Uh, was a tough guy, right? Great hitter. Yep. Played on a bunch of teams. The Yankees, the Mets, the Marlins, uh, the Rangers. Actually, the Tigers, too. Brewers, too, right? The Dodgers, the Brewers, the Padres. Nine All-Stars, a World Series champ with that Marlin team you talked about. Yes, yes. Uh, five Silver Slug Award winners. He was a batting champ in 1992. 292 career average. 509 home runs. He's one of the Gary first Sheffield. guys that came from the Little League World Series teams mm. that made the uh, pros and was a great player. See, I like this uh, that fact. I also like 509 home runs, 292 batting average. Hit for power, hit for average. Gary Sheffield. Oh, a great player. Uh, this guy is definitely a future Hall of Famer, Gary Sheffield. I have his rookie card in Milwaukee. There you go. Very nice. Who was the highest paid NFL player in 1989, says Ronnie? Was it Joe Montana? I don't know. Great question, Roger Ronnie. Roger Craig? I don't know. I mean, um, the Brian Bosworth got like a big contract. Was he around then? Yeah. I don't, I don't know. know. 
No, that's a little earlier. It was Warren Moon. Warren that's Moon? what Ronnie Warren says. Could He's in the Moon. diamonds. Not shocking. Warren Moon. Not shocking at all. He was uh, so good, man. I actually have seen that clip, uh, that clip George Rodine, uh, that you're talking about. Which one? Uh, the the ten inning win by Jack Morris. Uh, so crazy. Elway had to be paid a lot as well. So good double up, Michael Bennett, Tom Glavin, and Gary Sheffield. He was kind of intimidating that swing. Uh, he kind of like he was tough. A lot of people said back then, like you know Barry Bonds was number one feared guy, but Gary Sheffield was up there among the most feared hitters for pitchers to face. Uh, so good get right there, Michael Bennett. I mean, like I said, people are focused in on the photo headliners, Daniel. Uh, you know, they look at that photo graphic, and there's good stuff lurking in all these series. Lurking. Especially in the one and four and the diamond helmets. All right, we'll get this one put away. Uh, that is JSA certified, by the way, Michael Bennett, on your Sheffield. So let's see here. What are we doing next? Refreshing that break page. Uh, two to go on the diamond single. Wide open across the break page. Jerseys are two away as well. So here's what we'll do. It's 10.30 right now. At 10.40, we are doing the diamond wheel spin, Daniel. Which means that the earliest we can go is 10.45. Now, these guys want to keep rocking and rolling. We could be here till 11. Could be midnight. Could be 1 in the morning. But I am going to put a little timer on this thing. Uh, the diamond wheel spin is at 10.40 with or without the, the guys in that double. Uh... There's two more breaks we're doing almost for sure, though. Jersey single, two to go. Diamond double, two to go. Yep. Otherwise, excellent pre-fills for the guys tomorrow. And we are literally on the doorstep. We have two minis left, three jerseys left, and two reps left until new series in the break room, Daniel, mm -hmm. which is great. Uh, this stuff is great. We'll have a college series in this weekend, maybe even a practice squad. Uh, practice squad will follow... Uh, the one in four, I think, is the plan. Or the reps. The one in four could close up first, actually. Good. Uh, with uh, when we get on a chase on that one. One to go on that diamond double. Let's go. Uh, I mean, it's going to fill. But if it's not full by 1040, you will not be in that diamond wheel spin chance at a bonus gift card. I think we need some more stuff for the hit video. I mean, the Glavin's good. We had some good stuff, but that's not quite hit video. Uh, we only have Moss, McCaffrey, and Diggs right now. Who on that board remaining on the diamonds is above Moss? I'd have one in mind right now. Dak and CD, I would say, is above Moss. I think simply because of what the lids are. If we're talking about a normal one and one I mean, like Mike Evans is not above Moss. But he's got the but that's a chrome, chrome flex. flex. Chrome flex yeah. So that might be better. Ray Lewis. Hydroflex, Hydroflex, that's pretty close. Uh, I mean, maybe Bo, it's a salute to service. I love that. Uh, Speedflex. I, I think a lot of those are on par with Moss, maybe slightly above, slightly behind. Yeah. Uh, I think a Dax CD uh, might be a little bit better. I think a Bo Flex, Evans Chrome Flex, uh, maybe. Stefan's still up here? I th we might do him because he's, he's current. He's a big, you know, his team is still playing right now. Uh, the Bills, I like to do three to four at least in a hit video normally. Yeah. He's in right now, but I'm not sure if he's going to survive, Daniel, once we get that diamond double done. Beckett certification, guys. Yeah, very nice. Uh, game six is where Kirby hit the game-winning dinger, Jack yep, Buck, the... and we'll see you tomorrow, tomorrow night. night. Yeah, epic play call. Uh, Jack Buck, Joe Buckstad. You know, Joe Buck said the same thing, though. I'm sure he did. Oh, wait, wait, he said, we'll see you later today. Okay. What, get, what David Freeze at the home run against uh, oh, the, the Cardinals. Rangers. Yeah. yeah. Uh, that was the World Series the Cardinals should have won. Shouldn't have won. Nelson Cruz in right field, lollygagging. Should have caught the ball, ended the World Series. Uh, but that's not what happened, Daniel. Yeah, I do remember that. He, but he did not expect a triple from Freeze or, you know... I mean, it wasn't, like, the worst air ever, but he should have caught it. He should have caught it. Professional that, baseball player. Took a bad route. Yeah. Should have caught the ball. Tough uh, play. But that's how it goes sometimes. Now, uh, Tali Feliz sure. should have closed the game out. <laughs> that, too. 
That too. Neftali Feliz was so good that year too. Uh, let's close out the diamonds. Diamond double. Need a closer, baby. Uh, enter Sandman. Who's going to do it? One spot to go. Diamond double box break. Hell's bells. Who's going to be the hero? I Who's mean, Enter Sandman? Who's the closer for Enter Sandman? Uh, that's Rivera. That's Rivera? They Did played the song. Really? I thought that is it. Enter Sandman, yeah. Those Hell's Bells for Trevor Hoffman. Yeah. That, that's but Enter Sandman, the two best closers ever, arguably. Both were Metallica songs? Yeah. That's kind of big. That's pretty that, cool, That's actually. how it goes. That's it's cool. the closer thing. That's cool. Uh, let me show off these diamond custom lids here. Maybe this will appetite these guys a little bit. Yes, yes. Uh, look at that Mike Evans chrome flex. That thing is so sweet, man. Look at that. That is just the red... It's like in kind of in one word describing that helmet. Perfect. Perfect. That that's the word I would use. Uh, that is still out there, guys. Uh, the Ravens Hydro Flex Ray Lewis is still out there. I know it's a Lunar Flex, but that's DK Metcalf. That is a Speed Flex. Uh, the Bo Jackson New Salute to Service. That is also a Speed Flex. Uh, one to go. Who's getting it, Daniel? Mel Someone Mur in? Mel Murdoch. Thank you, Mel. He's like, give me Mike Evans, diamond double coming up. So after this diamond double, we'll do the chase wheel spin. Uh, then we'll probably do the jersey break. And then we'll see what else we may or may not do. I got, I uh, diamond I gotta, double, just... I got to duplicate it one sec. You're good. No problem, brother. I think this is technically one in the new series. Because I know we had the combos earlier. Oh, uh, yeah, I guess so. All right, so then I'm going to retitle it then. You can call it live break too. That's fine. No, I'm gonna um, I'm gonna call it free play. That's right. Yeah, free I think play. it's titled right. You're good. Free play, double number one. No, I'm saying at the bottom of the of the live break. Okay, two spots, guys. Let me know. Hit me with those two box numbers. Uh, what do we got? Let's end with a diamond magical hit. Now we could keep going. We could keep going in one and four. We could keep going in diamonds. We don't have to be done, uh, but generally how the flow has felt, uh, unless you guys really start jumping in there, this could be the last high-end break of the night. Could be. Although that jersey break, I think, is going to happen uh, with two spots left. Mel is ready. He wants 8 and 16. He wants Steve Young and Joe Montana. Yeah. On the same roster, those two. Can you believe it? I know. Well, uh, same roster, Brett Favre and Aaron Rodgers. Yeah, exactly. Yeah. It's weird. Yeah. Weird. The Bears never had anybody one. that good. McMahon, if he would have stayed healthy, would have been good. Yeah. Um, eight and sixteen. Oh, hold on. Eight and sixteen. Yep. So six to seven, and then we have nine to fifteen. Thank you, Mel. Mel's a man on a mission here, eight. looking for that Mike Evans Chrome Flex. Mike Evans, I would say maybe Mel could correct me because Mel knows Bucks history better than most. I know Brady played there for a little bit, but if we're talking about the history of the franchise, Mike Evans has to be the best offensive player in Tampa history, right? Tampa Bay Buccaneer history, better offensive player than Mike Evans. Nobody, right? Be hard pressed. Maybe yeah. it's Giles. That's about all I can think of. I don't think so. No, not, not as good. As yeah. Him. No, I think you might be right. Uh, Mel says I agree. So yeah. my favorite uh, Buck offensive player ever, Mike Allstott. Allstott. Uh, but I think Mike Evans was the best. I uh, got the CMC earlier. Had to stick with the San Fran theme. Says Mel. <laughs> Makes sense. Makes sense, man. Omar, Mel, Ronnie, Dustin, Ronnie, and Mel again in the free play diamond double. I guess it's called free play because you have a free play, you throw it up to Randy Moss, Mike Evans, uh, you know, some of C.D. Lamb, yeah. Stefan Diggs. Yeah, I think that's... Uh, that's probably why the series is called that. Uh, definitely good name some pretty good guys to give the ball to on a free play. I mean, heck, even if it's not a free play, just throw it up. Yeah, Those guys up, might get it. it. It's, it's kind of a free play for the quarterback because they'll get ba bailed out. Uh, so... Remember when Marshawn Lattimore and Mike Evans would get in full on fist fights on the yes, field? That was I, that, crazy. That is That's awesome. why I like Evans, because he's toughness. He's, he's a very tough. tough receiver, which I have a lot of respect for. He played with Johnny Menzel in college. He did? A&M. Yeah. Uh, yeah. Mel's got the entire NFC, which would be Mike yeah, Evans. Evans. <laughs> would be the Dak and CD. 
would be the flex for Adrian Peterson. Uh, Metcalf, Peterson, Saquon. Yep. Uh, got a lot of good Straight spots. Hand. <laughs> uh, Omar's got the Ray Lewis Hydro Flex spot. Ooh. Dustin's got the Warren Moon spot. Uh, Ronnie in the AFC East and AFC West. Bo. Bo Jackson Bo. Uh, on the new Salute to Service Flex. Uh, so here we go. Oh, and, and Sauce Gardner. Sauce Gardner, a secondary headliner in this series. Let's get started with box eight. My favorite number here, the eight new age out of Roger 30. Number. Yeah, yeah, or that. The Christo Stoichkov number. Stoichkov. Bulgarian legend, baby. That's why I like the eight, because that yeah. was my first Stoichkov. love for sports. Oh, 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 okay. Okay, Mel. Uh, you've got the Derek Brooks NFL Defensive Player of the Year in 2002 inscription. That's cool. Uh, the 11-time Pro Bowler, Super Bowl champion with the Bucks. Here's a better question. This is a good one. Who's the best Bucks defensive player ever? It's got to be either Derek Brooks or Warren Sapp. I know Lynch was great, Barber was great, but it's Lynch or Sapp, right? Brooks or, Brooks or Sapp. Or Brooks or Sapp, excuse me. Um, That's tough. I would just go probably Brooks. Derek Brooks? Yeah. Probably. Well, oh, no, I'd go uh, Warren Sapp, man. Warren, I, mean, they're both so I don't know if Warren Sapp had 11 Pro Bowls, but I know he was on the 1990s and 2000s All-Decade team. Uh, both Mel, of them, yeah. Yeah, Mel both says nice. Uh, Mel Murdoch. A Brooks sap a close second, says Mel. Yeah, I, I think that's a good way to put yeah, it. That's it's like totally tough to pick. Uh, I mean, I, I like Warren Sapp because he was fun, but I like Derek Brooks because he has a nice auto. Actually, didn't do the smiley face on this one, but still looks clean. 11 Pro Bowls, baby. Mel Murdoch with the Derek Brooks. And that's just the filler. Hanging out there. Not a headliner. Not a secondary headliner. Uh, probably a top five linebacker ever. Yeah. And just hanging out in the diamonds. Uh, nice get there, Mel Murdoch. Uh, great hit, uh, says George. George is talking about Buck. The Twins are going to win the World Series. The Twins have won it. Isn't it crazy? Brooks from Pensacola, okay. Florida. Plays on Tampa Bay. Has a great career. I think that's awesome. That's almost... Oh, wait. Play, then went to Florida State. He's like... Uh, Butkus. Butkus. All Florida guy. All Illinois, all Florida. All Florida guy. That's Derek cool. Brooks. That's cool. Yeah, man. Uh, you'd be pretty hard pressed to say anybody's better than Brooks. 11 time Pro Bowler, 5 time All Pro. Mm -hmm. Yeah, he's incredible. Incredible. Defensive Player of the Year in 02. Put it there on the helmet. I know. Walter Payton Man of the Year Award in 2000. So he's a good guy as well. Awesome. Yeah, he might be the second best defensive player from Florida State, though. He's third. Prime time. I would have to go with Jared Brooks. Or Brooks. Really? I think prime time was great. Don't get me uh, wrong. I think he's a Hall of time. Famer. But, like, I think there are better guys than prime time. Okay? Like, okay. I, 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 but he's a great great for the game. Great talker. Great he returner. He's a great man. returner, too. Great returner. But All right. I think there are better defensive backs than him. Ah, he's up there, man. Who played for Wa Green from Washington? He was good. You would be hard pressed to find somebody as good as a corner as he was. Champ Bailey. Champ Bailey. I mean, Daryl Darrell Rebus. Rebus Island. Rebus Island. But I, I mean, I love him. But you know, I'm just saying, like, I'm a primetime guy. I like. Bill, I like primetime. He's cool. Paul Krause too. Don't forget nah, Paul Krause. Old for that. Interception leader, baby. Yeah, but Paul Krause. They used to play the ball over the man now they play the man over the ball yeah george they do have great linebackers as well uh shaq barrett very good yes yeah, shaq barrett uh 16 of 30 coming up next uh look at this mouse says Derek brooks give me mike evans next wants to double up with a couple bucks that'd be awesome the bucks are one of the most common filler hits in the diamonds they are uh they're not often headliners but uh, Warren Sapp and Derek Allstott. Brooks. Uh, Allstott lurk all the time. Let's see here. Let's see here. Ah, this is beautiful. A nice looking lid. Another win for Mel. Saquon Barkley what? on the Giant Flash. Ooh. The entire New York Giants offense, baby. One of the best running backs in the league. He was an offensive rookie of the year, set the single rookie record for catches. 
He was top five in rushing yards two years ago. He's incredible. I think he'd be even better if not for those injuries. I think he's maybe lost just a half step. Even with the half step gone, still about a half step better than most of the running backs in the league. Oh, yeah. uh, Saquon Barkley for Mel Murdoch. Uh, so, a White and David, you're right. Uh, definitely right, George, on those two. Uh, good job there, Mel. Saquon. A little Barkley in the break room. A little Saquon. Uh, Penn State star. Nice hit, Mel Murdoch. Oh, yeah. Got that uh, you know, blue and orange theme. I mean, he might be on the table tonight. We could do two running backs, two receivers uh, for the hit video. Who's he? Oh, Current he's guys. Kind of yeah, yeah, I think. I mean, tonight he might make the hit video, Daniel. Saquon? Saquon. Yeah, he's okay. great. He deserves it. I like that. That is that the Flash for the Giants? The Flash, yeah. That's the Flash? Yeah, I thought there was clean. a blue Flash Giants too, no? That's actually their normal helmet, the blue one. It's just the normal one? Yeah. That's nice though too. Right. I think they have like a blue, blue is the Chrome Flex maybe you're thinking of. That's pretty cool. Too. For the Giants, but. Regardless. Saquon. You're welcome, Mel. You are very welcome, man. Uh, great get on Saquon. Is he the offensive rookie of the year? He was. He was the offensive rookie he of the year. He was, 92 yes. catches that year or something like that. 92, that was I think the record, Daniel. Yep. Uh, Saquon Barkley. 91. He was, he 91. 91, yeah. Gosh, you were close. <laughs> uh, he was... You have a, you have his page pulled up. Is that football reference? I just didn't know, yeah. Uh, he was... Uh, what was he? Fifth overall? What was his draft pick? One of the last running backs drafted early. Uh, he was the... Wasn't he third? Or third? Second. Second, second overall pick? Huh? Saquon Barkley. 20... What are you? 2018? 2017? That was 2018. 2018. So that was... Saquon. Be, yeah, because it was Mayfield and then Saquon. <sighs> Mayfield's pretty good. Man, May, yeah, Mayfield's playing still. He's still the playing. The big show. Hey, he's man. still playing. And he's he's been in this position before with Cleveland. He has? Isn't that he's, nuts? He's won playoff games with Cleveland and Tampa. People uh, love two, to write him off. Two franchises that are not historically great. Uh, he's won with both. I mean, Tampa, Tampa has, what, two, two championships? Yeah, I guess. They've had a lot of bad years. They do have two titles. Yeah. You know, somewhat recently. One of them very recently. Yeah. I, I know the Browns were good in the pre-Super Bowl era with Jim yeah, Brown. Yeah. But that's the Ravens, technically. But they, they haven't been good since. Yeah. Yeah, you're right. Because it's so confusing. No, yeah, Teams yeah. move. The nicknames move. Yeah. Then they left and they came back. It's just strange. The new Browns haven't done much. The Cleveland Browns. The, 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 the yeah. The new Cleveland Browns. The new Cleveland Browns. The new Cleveland Browns, yeah. Because they left and they came back to Cleveland. It's all confusing. And then they left again. Yes. Well, that's what I'm saying. Baltimore, yeah. It's confusing. Yeah. Uh, but, yeah, they have not won. They, they're they not a winning team that even Bill Belichick couldn't win with them. Yeah, no. Let's put it that way. Uh, got that Chrome Flex Barkley last week, says Mel. Uh, the biggest Saquon Barkley collector, the Saquon Goat, oh, yeah. Mel Murdoch. Is he really? I mean, he's got two <laughs> You know what my favorite one with Saquon is? What's that? My favorite Giants lid? Is the um the camo Saquon Barkley? Those are nice. I love those. those One nice. spot to go in the jersey. I think we do need a fresh diamond double, Daniel. Do it. Uh, I'll do the wheel spin. If you want to get, you have these guys in the wheel spin. This most recent break. Uh, we will do the wheel spin. Yes. Oh, uh, I'll do this one right here. Yep. So. Okay. Perfect. Oh, wait. Do I have these guys in? Give me a second. Murdoch six six four. So I think there's gonna be. We did how many of the doubles earlier? We no, did. No, yeah. yeah, I got to do two more. Actually, we did quite a we've bit. Only, we've basically only done doubles except for the first one. Yeah. So, perfect. Chase wheel spin. Let me know when it's ready. It a lot of names go. in here because the folks in the double get their name in times two. 72. 72. Because we did have one single. So, we got to have the single, one single. for one. Oh, that's it. Uh, so, jersey break is getting done, guys. After that, get those orders moving if you want to keep the night going. One lone spot left in the jerseys. Cool. Doing it big in the break room again tonight. Uh, I mean, obviously last night was, you know, historic night. But just another great night here at UA. Uh, fantastic stuff. So nine clicks, top name after nine, getting a wheel spin. 72 people. Who's the, who's the lucky one out of 72? We got Mel Murdoch. Another one for Mel. Three wins in a row. Uh, last night, Daniel, uh, we had the high roller was the chase. Uh, there was like 120 names in there. 
Mason House had a 1 in 120 chance at the wheel spin. He had one spot in the whole series, and he got it. That's, that's but he astronomical. Didn't, he didn't get a high number, but still, that's What'd okay. Get? 12. <laughs> uh, but Dude. <laughs> I know. It's, it was bad. Dude. It was bad. You should really consider doing something there. I, I've been spinning really high lately. So okay. spinning really high. Oh, uh, he that's... goes high or low. I'm high or low. That's the way I am, Daniel. All right. Uh, so, Mel, what number do you want to start on, sir? Otherwise, we'll start you on one for your wheel spin, Mel Murdoch. Oh, I spun on accident, so Doesn't don't count. worry, Mel. That's not your number. I, I spun on a random number. He's not getting five. Whoa! I dude. spun on accident. That's good luck, Daniel. Mel. That's good luck. Mel. This got the bad one out of the way. Got the bad one out of the way. So we'll start him on one, unless you have a specific number that he would rather start on. He wants to start on fifty. Fifty. That's cool. Right, 50. For Brooks, right? Uh, Brooks. Brooks was fifty-five. Was fifty-five. I think. David Robinson was 50. Oh, David Robinson. 50. Starting on 50. Oh, well, we're almost kind of back at 50. Uh, we got the Jerome Bettis, 36. Okay. Uh, that's not, not terrible. Could oh, be a good luck number for Mel. That's a jersey, no that's a jersey break. Uh, 36 bucks, Mel. Uh, that money headed to your account. Uh, nicely done, Mel Murdoch. Right, nice. I mean, I do say this all the time. You'd rather get yourself the headliners than the, jer uh, the, the wheel spin. Like, pretty much nothing we pull in the break room is worth less than $100. I mean, no, no. very rarely. It does happen once in a while, uh, but, I mean, 100 is also the most you can get. So, you know, you 50 is you the shocked. average. If, if if I saw somebody pull something less that's worth less than $100, I'd be pretty shocked. It would be like a jersey filler. Yeah. It, 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 that, that is possible, but... Very few things in the break room None are of these. worth less than a hundred bucks. None of these. None of the headliners. None that, of the head that's None of the sure. helmets. Period. So you'd rather the helmets impossible. Impossible for the authentics because those are like three hundred something unautographed. Yeah. Uh, so, uh, but would you rather have you know ninety bucks on a wheel spin or would you rather have a diamond headliner? You take the diamond headliner, I which could be worth ten times that, Daniel. True. Uh, so, good job, Mel. Uh, ten fifty one. Taking a final peek at the break page, giving you guys a last call for orders. Again, seven to go on that diamond double. Still got Dak and CD, Bo Jackson, Mike Evans, Ray Lewis, DK Metcalf, Warren Moon, and Adrian Peterson. One in four photo headliners left. Giannis Ripken Jr., Kit Harrington, aka John Snow, Randy Johnson, the big unit, Mark McGuire, and that insane Justin Jefferson. Ripped speed flex, half LSU, half Vikings. Eight to go in the diamond double, four to go in the one and four single, eight to go in the diamond single, seven to go in the minis, two boxes left, one break left. Amari Cooper is the last headliner guaranteed to be in that double box break. Seven to go in the reps, and then one spot to go in the jerseys. It is 10.52. I'm going to give these guys until 10.55, three minutes. If the jersey break is not full in three minutes, oh, wait, uh, it's going to be a pre-fill for tomorrow at noon. Uh, let's talk hit of the show. I'm going Randy Moss is definitely number one. Uh, I know Saquon and Diggs might be worth a little bit more because it's authentic, although it's probably close with CMC. But I'm going to go with McCaffrey second best. I mean, it's really? the second best player. It's CMC. We don't get him in the room as much as those other two. This is going to be my silver medal. Got to mix it up, Daniel. That's fine. I know authentics are worth more, but McCaffrey... Well, there was such a big chase for McCaffrey. There was. It, was, uh, it's uh, cool. it told the story of the night. So CMC is going to be my silver medal. Mm -hmm. I'm going to go Diggs with the bronze. I think Diggs... Well, no, actually, change that. I'll go Saquon because I I like the flash better. Oh, yeah. uh, it's tough. If those were both standard lids, I may lean Diggs, but given it's a flash, I'll go Saquon 3 and Diggs will be my honorable mention tonight as our fourth best hit. What do you think? You can disagree. You can go Tom Glavin jersey if you want. It's your personal favorite, Stanio. What do you um, think? You're going to hit me with something like the Sting Funko. No, no. This, no. No. You know, I'm not a big WWE fan. Okay. Um, I got to go... No, number one is Moss. Moss is the clear number the clear one. clear number one. It's not really a My debate. second is Saquon. Saquon. My third is Mc... McCaffrey. Okay. And I have two honorable mentions. Okay. Stefan Diggs. Yep. And because I'd never seen it in the break room before ever, 
Steve Aoki, I, music I, item. That's what you should have gone. I knew it. Yeah. I had a feeling that it would go with something also, unique. And also, I mean, it's. I would like to mention Martin Bordeur, also really cool. Oh, too. that was nice. The the photo. The, the photo. Yeah. yeah, that thing was nice as well. Uh, so, I mean, the DJ Moore was a nice hit as well. We did get the jersey break done. Thank you guys. The last break of the night. Unless there's a mad rush of orders afterwards, right? Yeah. If we have some movement after the jersey break, I'll give you guys a little bit more time. If no one else orders, uh, looking like this will be it uh, for the jerseys. Uh, and that new series will be coming up soon in the jerseys. Uh, we do have a one in three chance at Brian Erlacher too. So uh, that's not bad either. So jersey single. Go ahead and drop me a box number. The last break of the night, unless you guys start attacking. Now, there is 27 people watching, which, you know, we had about, believe it or not, earlier, we had, last night, we had like 94 watching at one time. Yeah. Uh, we had a 40 or 50 most of the night tonight, 60 at some points. Uh, but it has, you know, 27 people is enough to break boxes. But it is a last call, guys. Get those orders in. ASAP if you want to keep the night going. Rocky. Uh, Skeebs 87. Is that Nick Skeebs? Is that you? I think that's Nick. I think Nick was a new Memorial? guy yesterday. I uh, just wanted to make sure because you can only call out the number if you're in the break. That is Nick. Uh, he wants eight. Eight works, Nick. Nick Double K. Nick Double K. What number does he want? Eight's gone. Oh, no, it's not. No, it's not. No, it's not. Eight is there. I was going to say, what? Should be, th should be three and five left, three, right? Five and eight. You can add up to eight. Ah, nice. It's got to be Brian Erlacher, right? We want to end with the headliner. Uh, we had a... Should I erase him now? <laughs> no. Uh, probably not, Daniel. That's it like is... Steph Curry looking away from his shot. Yeah. Night nights, baby. Night nights. Well, we pulled a sick Erlacher chrome flex in the high roller last night. Really? It was aesthetically looking... One of the top three or four hits. Yeah. It was nuts. A Brian Urlacher, incredible lid last night. All right, good luck, guys. We got ourselves nine clicks. All right, Dustin's got that Urlacher spot. Actually, Dustin has the entire NFC. Ronnie's got the AFC North, AFC South. Dustin, AFC East. And Nick looking for that box number mojo. In the AFC West, box eight. One in three chance at the Erlacher. Here it is, Brian Erlacher. Let's go. Uh, former defensive player of the year. Uh, one of the few guys all time that is a pro and a college football Hall of Famer. Yes. I actually love loved him as a bear. My favorite defensive player on that great defense. Uh, there's a lot of great stories about him in college though, Daniel. In He's college, big sky, right? New Mexico. New Mexico, but he played everything there. He played linebacker, safety. He was a kick and punt returner. I think he played like some receiver, some tight end, some running back. He played on both sides of the ball and special teams. That's how well rounded, how athletic, and how talented Brian Erlacher was. NFC North, Dustin Rose. Yes. Congratulations, Dustin. Uh, very nice. What do you mean, Ronnie? Randomizer acting weird? I'm confused. Randomizer is always uh, interesting. It's uh, random. <laughs> it's random, baby. Doesn't get random. random. More random than the randomizer. Uh, good job, Dustin, on the Erlacher. I mean, Dustin had five out of eight spots. You can't say the guy didn't earn it, right? He had better sure. than a 50% chance sure. to win, and when he did, uh, Dustin Rose. Yeah, it, Ronnie, you never know. Uh, four yeah. spots in a row. The, I got, like I said, the randomizer could be weird. Yeah, it's a... uh, Ronnie's, uh, Ron saying, Ronnie's saying it's a 4% chance. Ronnie's got the odds maker uh, well, out there. I mean, Mr. 4% Ronnie. Statistical anomalies do happen. They do. Yeah, I, I, that n total is in over my head, Daniel. Yeah. I have no idea if Ronnie is right, but I can tell you this. I've seen the randomizer do... A lot of weird things. Uh, that is for sure. Wait a minute. Let me check, let me check the live break and check the math. Uh, great way to end the night, says Dustin. Yeah. Thanks, guys. Great job as always. Thank you, Dustin. Congrats on your Erlacher hit.
No. Uh... I'll give you guys two more minutes just in case. If you guys want to keep the night going, get those orders ASAP. If no one else gets in, we'll hop off here at 11 o'clock. Uh, call it an even five hours for the show, Daniel. What's up? Oh, I was just going to say, uh, I mean... Uh, are uh, you crunching the numbers? No, Rose oh. Rose won the last one, then Murdoch won the last two, technically, because it's double. Yeah. But then the one and four double uh, before that was Bennett, Glavin, Sheffield. Yeah. So... I, I think Ronnie thinks it's kind of spooky that, you know, Mel, they all got NFC North through NFC West. That is oh, pretty rare. That is pretty. The rare. way the randomizer clicks. That is nuts. I that randomizer that. is goofy. Well, yeah. uh, goofy, goofy. Uh, the randomizer. It is. So last call for orders, guys. Real quick, Daniel. I want your four winners for this weekend. I've got the Ravens, even though the Texans cover. I've got the uh, Niners, even though the Packers cover. I've got the Lions over the Bucks, winning and covering, and the Chiefs over the Bills uh, for my picks this weekend. I got the Ravens over the Texans. Okay. Uh, by, what's well, nine and a half, right? Nine and a half. Nine, nine and a half. It moves a little, but about nine points. Probably cover. You'd say. You Texans, think the Ravens will cover? The Texans will cover. Texans cover. Texans cover. But lose. But lose. Yeah. I got the Packers in an upset win well, of against course, the 49ers. Of course. Okay. I'm not going to not go with them. Okay. Uh, <laughs> no uh, shocker there. I have the Buccaneers beating the Lions. Another upset. Another upset. And I have... The um, Josh Allen-led Buffalo Bills over the Kansas City Chiefs. Uh, that's all right. That's your pick. Uh, Going to be an awesome weekend of football. It will be. Uh, refreshing real quick the break page. See if anything else uh, happened here. Uh, last order was Dustin for that close. And it was a little bit before the one before that. So that'll do it. Five even hours. An awesome, awesome show tonight, guys. Thank you so much and a great night. Thank you, Daniel, for producing getting the orders in co-hosting doing a great job as always thank you to the customers you guys are the best in the business without you guys this break room is not possible uh you'll be back tomorrow at six with joe i'm back monday at 6 12 p.m 3 p.m 6 p.m central time every single night have a great night guys and we'll see you soon